Okay. There we go. All right, for the gifted sub, always worth it. You'll pay me to keep playing the song? Well, I want to make sure that people come through on their bargains first, you know? True. Don't he has one minute there. to pay me. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First chat message is bring back Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Sykuna was playing chat. Is he? Yeah, and he's actually goaded. He, he, <laughs> you're trying to, oh, wow, that's crazy. Groove, thank you for the gift. And see, now someone else can gift a sub to keep it going, and we alternate, and then I make the money. It's kind of like how we give subs to each other when we do bets, and then Amazon makes the money. This time, I'm making the money, chat. Ozymandias, thank you for the gifted. Dive down, BL. Uh, yeah, we're doing Get Smart Saturdays after this. I'm going to do, I started a little early. I was going to start, like, at 7, but the boys wanted to play a little plate up, so... Who am I to say no to the boys? You know, we're trying to make a little mamma mia pizzeria. So we'll do that today. Uh, make a little money, make a little squish. Dive into the restaurant industry. And then after that, get smart Saturdays. It sounds fun to me. Here's the main thing. We need to test if we get any Fs this day, today. Well, I paid for an upgrade that supposedly should stop the Fs. Or at least make them extremely unlikely like maybe one per stream um so we'll see if it doesn't happen i need to know so that i can begin a unholy conquest uh what's up tyrannosaurus brett what's up richie pete what's up what's up fellas what's up happy cat no you guys are saying it but you're trolling <laughs> you're trolling um dr battle What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? That's fine. All right. So, hey, how did your oh, how did your? Oh, uh, Sakuno burned us. Uh, Sakuno burned good. us. Yeah, which is fine because we took a long time. Um, uh, yeah. It was good. I lost to Myth, but I beat Vale and Peter, and so I'm on to tomorrow winners bracket. Oh wow, you beat Vale. Wow. Uh, ooh, Put that in the he's disc. actually thirteen hundred. <laughs> So I was pretty proud There's of no it, but world thanks that for Vale is thirteen hundred. There's no world. Yeah, Vale is not thirteen hundred. <laughs> uh, Sakuno bailed, Lud. So it's just us three. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Well, yeah, that's why I was stalling. Damn. It's why is everyone taking my thunder today? <laughs> you make fun of me for beating Vale. You make you say, "Oh, I knew that." I'm just, uh, just trying I don't to want talk a to fucking my fucking ringer showing up, dude. We're trying to build a fucking uh, empire here. Actually, true. Uh, I'm gonna hit the start recording button. Please don't say any slurs. Uh, do you guys want to go to a call instead of this pew we're pew room? Both live. Yeah, we're also uh, both yeah, live. Yeah, but you. <laughs> Both I went say to a this lot of chat slurs. for the reason that Saikuno said, yeah. go to this chat so maybe I can hop in. And then we uh, kicked him from a group, so I would feel really mean if we kicked him. And then left you know here. What I, mean? and then, I yeah, thought he said he's not coming, so I... He might come. He might come. I got it. And the chance he comes, I don't think being here is a problem. I need to be here if Saikuno comes. <laughs> I don't want to miss him coming. I yeah, it would just be uh, I would it, life affirming. Are you experience. guys trying to talk about whether he's showing up or is there something more devious what? going on? No, I want to know? know if he'll ejaculate you guys... <laughs> live on stream. I want to know if he's gonna fucking there blast the on. hose. <sighs> you call his dick the hose? Uh, well, yeah. Who does it? Really? Massive. Yeah. You know uh, what I'm, uh, I'm gonna definitely do an intro. I'll be right back. One second. <laughs> oh, he's doing an intro. Oh my god. Yeah, he's doing an intro. Can't organically get an intro from our conversation. Yeah, you know, that would be wow. fun. You can, but your editors won't put it in, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, wow. Yo. Anyway, I'm from France. Yeah, don't. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. You know that? I'm not, like, I'm, not, I'm not saying it in a way where it's like, oh, you're dumb. Like, we're all giggling. No. I, I think you're dumb. I think you're Yo. stupid. You're not Wait, being nice what? because. Wait, why are you being mean? Me? He's, I, well, he's being mean. And first of all, you didn't pay me back for dinner last night. You ah. owe me $150. What? Mm. Actually, actually, I think Ludwig does owe this? you if you yeah. play per hole. How stands is an absolute like piece of shit what? when it comes to mm. mini golf. Hey, Track, do you believe that or no? As I the have winner? the backup stands here except for one situation. I'd say 99% uh, of the, the time, the time the you were in. talking about rules and they seemed fine and Ludwig was yep. being a big crybaby bitch. True, but true, true. then there was one time where he was like a foot from the hole ready to tap yeah, in. Yeah, 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 and yeah. he said, can I tap it in? And he said, no. <laughs> 
And then yeah, his ball got bad. fucking scroinked, dude. <laughs> and he got yeeted. And he yeah. almost uh, slimed it. I actually agree with HRAC. I was 99% accurate, which is good. It's better than the, you know, yeah, industrial prison complex. Yeah, but on complex. game day, if it's Super Bowl day, Better you than know. the Supreme Court, you know? <laughs> we played mini golf, and then Stance <laughs> plays a rule where the person who has the lowest scores shoot next. Which is fucking confusing. I'm sorry, the golf a problem. Rule? It wasn't a problem. I'm, so, I'm sorry, did you, you mean was. the golf we were, we, we, It was literally a problem because we didn't follow it. At Guys, that. let me tell you what happened. We played mini golf the other day. Uh -huh. And hole one, Ludwig's having a good time laughing and joking. <laughs> By hole two, we've decided to use Stanza's system. Coincidentally, yeah. but unrelated, Ludwig starts playing like absolute shit. <laughs> Yeah, it is he's unrelated. like fucking no, 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 knocking no, 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 balls no, 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 off the no, court, no, no, getting no, fucking no, eight. You actually and it becomes a big old sourpuss, dude. Yeah, he just becomes yeah. a big old sad sack sourpuss in a five-man whole... mini golf game. And he starts listening. <laughs> it was hole three. All right. So there was the chip in moment where I asked it to just put it in. He says, No, you can't put it in because the whole point of the game is that someone's gonna hit your ball. Yeah, that's the point of the game and, of mini golf. And, and so I'm a foot away, and he forces me to watch my ball get hit okay. by someone. You should have, you should have been able to tap I, it in. That was a mistake on, on my part. I'm with you. To six stroke it. Okay. You did tilt. You tilted off the face of the and earth. Then, and tilt. then, and then, and then I was like, you know what? Hold it in, Ludwig. Hold it in. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He did not. No hold it in. point. He did not. Did you hold say it hold it in, Ludwig? Hold it. I'll be good. At one point, he said, "Let's fight right now on the mini golf course." He said, "I'll fight you." You know why? Because the next thing, the next thing that happens, is I'm two feet away from the hole. Okay. Mm. And there is a ball in between me and the hole. Yeah. All right. And it's about a foot from the hole. And I yeah. say to Stans, I go, yo, do I have to hit this? Because I'm the farthest away. And Stans <laughs> always says, the farthest away has to go. Yes. And he looks at me. <laughs> and without this, he goes, yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so there is zero way, zero for you me can to ricochet. get it in. Uh, ricochet without, is a big part without, of mini golf. Without, ricochet no, no, is a big no, no, part no. of mini golf. Zero way to get it in. It is, a, it is the easiest putt of all time. And, I, and now I meant to make what Well, it's not because there, there was a ball a, in the a way. So it's shot. not an easy putt at all. I say, can I do a marker? He goes, no, no markers. No markers. No markers in mini golf. And so then, and so then I, I just fucking oblige. I hit it. <laughs> it hits the ball. It bounces off. I get like three more. <laughs> And then right after I get it in, he goes, oh, yeah, she probably got to hit that in. Oh, I didn't know she was in tapping range. She didn't ask. She didn't ask if she was in tapping range. Tapping range. I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't ask for her. You don't speak. You're trying to speak for women now, Ludwig. I like to let Damn, women speak for themselves. Let them speak for Stans themselves. Stance is, is, yes, he is lame when it comes to fucking being <laughs> No. He's don't read lame. the one chatter. <laughs> mini golf is fun. <laughs> mini golf uh, he might have even made up that chatter. Fun. <laughs> mini golf is about having fun in good you lives. Did. All of us had fun. <laughs> I had zero fun. You cannot say that your goal is to have fun and have good vibes. Going in? You going were the sourest bitch the sour. whole you night. That's you were sour. sour. Two events oh, happened. Then you, you were raging. You were lying. And then you were fucking newsing me. changed me. Those Holy rules, shit. Those, those instances changed who I was. We didn't change it. What happened was Ludwig went, we have to get to a dinner res, so I'm just going to play through. <laughs> and so he went and played mini golf alone for the last two holes <laughs> with no one in the way. We did actually do that. That's uh, the hey, only thing we gifted. Mm -hmm. Sakuna, what do you think? What do you think about all this? Um, yeah, well, I think Sakuna, uh, um, uh, Sakuna here. I think Sakuna's just like a, a huge fucking piece of shit Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. wow. Oh. Like, all right, you know what? I wasn't poignant against stands before, but after Sakuna's like, poignant sorry, point. Yeah, up, you do want to be on the right side of history. Uh, sorry, hey, uh, big H, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, well, now I, <laughs> okay, never mind. Fuck now Sakuna, I don't know what to think. He's kind of being an yeah, asshole. He's yeah, coming yeah. in so fucking well, hot. Spit, spitting facts today. <laughs> um, I think <laughs> if we want to, we're continuing our save, right? Do we want to? I think we should explore new horizons. I it's up to you guys. We run a new one and try to go to 100, okay. and we go as long as we can. Yeah. Okay, then Ludwig, you want to host? No. Uh, okay. Let okay. me open up. Play it up. Let okay. Because if I host, we up. lose our save forever, just in case we ever want it. Wait, why? Hey, um, truck, did you listen to the new JID album? Save at a time, you? <laughs> you mean me? Number one JID fan in the I world mean, now? We'll ever go back to I've that. taken that slot. You think we'll ever go back to that? I you became a world recently no. converted JID fan. You think I didn't listen okay, to the new album? Guess what? Fine. Dude, my I didn't. So miserably. I am the number one fan of the world, obviously. I haven't listened to it yet, yeah. though. I didn't have time. Damn. I will be listening to it today. Oh, my plate up crashed. I'm like crashed salivating. Salivating? Excited, though. Very uh, excited. I am number one JID fan in the world. Mm. JID crazy, they call me. JID personally called me and said, I know okay. you're my biggest fan. Um, Can't wait for you to hear the album. And I said, and I'll get to and it. And also booting? Uh, let's get the plate up here. Dude, it is so hot today. Whoa. Kitchen gets hotter. Get ready, bitch. 
<laughs> Damn, thank you. I needed that. Um, I am inviting my friends. Are you online? Bro, I gotta tell you guys, Ludwig was a fucking online. sourpuss. I don't see you, but I could be fucking in that you. mini golf. <laughs> Are you? And we put it. We put 150 bucks. I'm sure we put 100 bucks on it. Obviously, I won by a fucking country mile. And then, yeah, <laughs> we did a 50 dollars instant payout <laughs> one hole chat, that I also won. I, I got a hole in two game. on that. He got a fucking fucking hole in nine. <laughs> Just the game looks zoomed in. Chat, yes, we're, we're way too high. Uh, I actually don't see. But maybe, but zoom out a little bit. Message. Zoom out a little bit. Brandon, zoom out a little bit. What? It's 150 dollars. No, I don't see him either. Wait, I'm I'm online. Are you sure? I yeah. think you're offline. Oh, did you unfriend me because of mini golf? <laughs> no. That would be crazy. Sure. If he locked on that night to Steam, found <laughs> your name, and unfriended you because of mini golf. Mm -hmm. uh, you're offline, Sans. Yeah, I'm online. I'm offline. I can see my friends. Are you sure? Mm, you're I offline. I see Lud online. And I invited Atrog, and I'm in a lobby with him. Oh, then I'll go online, and you can invite He's me. He's exaggerating. Maybe? I'm not in a lobby with him. <laughs> well, uh, friends network you. unreachable. Oh, retry connection. Oh, I see you guys now. Okay, I can invite you. Why do people saying I've turned up Ludwig already a million times? If someone says it I've turned him up too. He just keeps going quieter and quieter. I don't know what the fuck they're saying, and I'm not gonna turn him up. So suck my absolute ass. I invited Atrog. I still don't see El Ludwigo. I haven't been invited once. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. You're in. You're in. Okay, let me fix the resolution. Is there a played up Twitch integration? People are saying that. I don't know what it is. I don't trust it. Um. Yeah, me neither. Well, you're YouTube. Really? <laughs> Social <the> fuck up. <laughs> oh, true. Oh, it's just usernames for guests. That's kind of cute. How do you set that up? I don't know if that works since because I, I clicked it, but it didn't let me join. Wait, I want to set oh. it up. Wait, the, the, the link? How do I do that? Let me do it right now. Um, um, I don't know. She, 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 can she, you she, do she. it in multiplayer chat? Viewers can visit and order. But can they fuck us? I don't want them to fuck us. All right, Sans, I'm inviting you. Oh, this salad fuckers. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got the invite. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I think um, I only have steak. Extensions. Uh, really? Play up. Fine. I'm down to make steak. Ooh. I'm in. Played up. But anyone who knows me knows I'm assless chaps. Do you know what it's called? What's the extension called? Thank you for the gifties. God damn. What's the extension, what called? extension called? <laughs> sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. <laughs> well, that's a nice color. Oh, you do only have steak. That is a nice color. I love that. Is it called Welcome Damn. to... Yeah, I think you... you. I don't get it when I play with you. Right, so we have to get you to level 15. So we can't even pick the goaded floor plan for the automation. Should we go back to you then? Uh, I think so. All right, switch. Connect. Be time to set up the extension. What was it called, Big A? Wait, 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 wait. What's up? I have an EXP grant. What is that? Hold on, I'm setting it up, chat. No. I'm setting it up. <laughs> I don't even know how to. Uh, uh, I'm setting it up. I think you have to do it in game. Uh huh. It's in game settings. Options. Advanced. I think I have salad. Oh, Twitch integration. Found it. But I don't yeah. think I've go to floor plan. Opens the chef application. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Okay, I have salad, burger, steak, and three floor plans. All right, invite me. Uh, one second. I'm, I'm logging. Am I literally, legitimately. Don't remember my Twitch password. Okay, I got it. No! What's my fucking Twitch password? <laughs> I haven't logged in on here in a fucking moon. I'll put it in general. So wait, you got new internet? Is that what happened? I upgraded to a different package for businesses. Mm, that's supposed nice. to reduce my chance of getting any Fs. Oh, I hope you don't get any Fs. I pay for that too. It is, I think, a total scam. Sheesh! Really? Excited. Excited about that. Wait, so did I fix the integration? or? How about you fix that invite? Yeah. I oh, know. authentication. Oh, wait, I can add your guys' channels, too. HR, I can add you. Bro, the, now they just keep spamming fucking fake Fs. To... <laughs> okay, no, no worries. HR, I can, no, I can add you. No, stop trolling me. You can add me no, into not, this I'm not trolling you. Yeah, I, can, I added you. You're in. HR, I can stay. Can you add me in? No, because you don't have a Twitch channel. I guess I could. And people could go to your offline chat. <laughs> I did. I added you. <laughs> okay, All right. Mm. Invite me, smile face. So are we in? So we're getting... Uh, so are, my chat's getting included? Uh, yeah, your chat's getting included. Now, what what do I have to hit? Oh, it's, it's fucking gone. Log champ. You hear oh, that, chat? I, You're gonna get I to go to salad it? fuckers. This. Straight up. How do I... What, what do I have to click now? Did I do it? 
We're gonna go from scratch, I think. Okay, we can go from scratch. I just want to make sure I set up the thing so that Aatrox chat and my chat can can do the thing. The other Stop typing visit chat and fucking tell me what to do. <laughs> free labor. You're not you're not working in it. You're not free labor. You're gonna you're gonna visit and eat. You're gonna consume the fucked <laughs> salad. Or steak in this case. Okay, you guys have to stop saying visit. We're not even in the game. Unless the extension is showing for you, and then maybe we are. Can I Everyone's just typing invite? visit. Yeah, one fucking second, brother. Whoa. <sighs> He's oh, happy. never mind. They are joining. They were right. Okay, never mind. We're in. Oh, fuck. We're in. Oh, shit. We're Exclamation so point visit. In. Is that what it is? Exclamation point visit. You should actually be typing it, chat. <laughs> It'd be brain dead if you weren't. Do not type that in my chat. Where, type I, it in Ludwig's offline chat. That's how you get in. I don't see you guys. Oh, no. I'm inviting you right now. Oh. Okay. I invited you both. Join up. Okay. I see green. Who's green? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be blue. I swear my shit broke. My shit broke, your shit, dude. Your shit broke. Yeah, when you invite me, it doesn't work. Try it again. You can suicide your saved run to finish in overtime for EXP. I think it's fine, chat. I don't give a shit. We're fine. We're having oh, fun. Yeah. Just three bros having fun. Sans? What's up? It didn't I invited work. you. It didn't work? I can invite you again. Multiplayer? All right. Invite friends. It's L. What we go. In game played up. I sent it. No, I, you sent it. It just didn't work. Okay, I sent it again. How about I'm now? Back for I, the might restart. I might restart. Oh, experience uh, unlocks new dishes. So maybe we should continue. But how do we continue? I don't even know if that's possible. No, continuing doesn't help. No, it says it'll help us unlock more dishes. Yeah, but well, we got you get dishes. max experience by doing new runs uh, day 15. Yeah, but we haven't ended that run. So I don't think we got experience. We got the dishes. Uh, I did get Here's it. Here's the dish. It should be on the right. There should be something called the fuck in the game. package. You know what There's I'm saying? No, I don't have an experience package. I just have a recover save. No EXP. Uh, I think, I mean, you definitely got experience because you have the ability to do burgers, right? True. Bruh! I so muted him. What's up, there. chat? All right, I'm done to say fuck it. Oh, we're gonna I don't want to suicide. It makes me feel bad. All, All right, right, we have steak, salad, and burger. I think we go salad fuckers right off the rip. I think okay. we've never done steak, and we're scared of it. I'm not even close to scared of steak. Yeah, I'm scared of it, so I want salad. <laughs> oh, my God, this guy. <laughs> it's the return of salad fuckers. You guys want to do steak fuckers? You guys fuckers? want country, city, or... How about this city? It's kind of nice. All right, people actually do want steak fuckers. Fuck it. Damn. Oh, the people ask for it, and you do it, but I ask, and it's fucking... The people are determined whether we have a successful restaurant, Ludwig. Wait, how? Because oh, they do they do. they're our the customers. They yeah, are our customers. Can they complain? Uh, uh, I, I mean, mean not to where I care. <laughs> <laughs> they want steak fuckers, all right? It's a brand expansion. The fuckers Saikuno business said, is blowing up. Oh, by the way, I want you guys to know, Saikuno said we were loser piss babies for having two head chefs. <laughs> <laughs> he said you have to have two people delivering, otherwise you can't even get a four-person table. What do we Wait, want? I didn't know. How do you decide that? How did? How does it? No, I mean like the fact that both of us were in the kitchen. He said was embarrassing to him. How do you even get four people? Like you got to level and though? get more more shit. He plays know. four man know. though, doesn't he? Oh maybe. No, no, no. Yeah, four he man's, would be a four, four man. Man's, four man's worse. Interesting. Ooh, wash basin kind of go. Do you want to take that with uh, us and have the run? Wait, what are we thinking of as far as design here? Let's be clear. City right here for sure. You think wait, that one? The city so much. No, I think I mean, you, you want think this fat country. You want the you want like the. Aren't they both set eight by whatever? Yeah, but the splits. What's important? Yeah, is the split better? I feel like it's oh maybe. I don't know if this is great. I feel like you want fat rooms. The one we had last time. We can look at all three if we all stand by one, and then we can choose. Yeah, what are we thinking? <laughs> Okay, uh, these are the exact same city and country. Yeah, city and country are the same. <laughs> city and country are the same. So what's about the other one here with the long... I actually like... Uh, I like Aatrox, or whoever blue is. I like the blue one. Interesting. Now that I look at it. Now that I look at it. All right, let's boot it. Root it, boot okay. it. Welcome to Steak Fuckers. Hell yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Damn, Ludwig chat. You probably have primes available, huh? You know, Aatrox and me are streaming, imagine. <laughs> don't want them. <laughs> two for two? You don't want them? Don't want them. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ludwig's chat. I do. <laughs> Fuck Atrioc. <laughs> I will take them because I love them. Nom, 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 nom. Move this. <sighs> okay, we're going to put You guys that don't exclamation point visit yet. There's no, it is not open for business. No, it is. It is open. You can exclamation point visit for sure. Why? Where do, where do they? I it don't... saves in the extension. That's it's it's good. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's get this kit. <laughs> there we go. There's the primers. I knew they were coming. 
Mm. No, don't put the table back. This is the this is the goaded run. What are you doing? What are you talking about? You fucked me. Put it back in the corner. Sam sucks at mini golf. This is not a. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that's so close to the window for pickups, right? Yeah, I suppose. Um, but I think this should be dishes right here, right? The way which one? This is the big dishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Camera left side. Yeah, for sure. Couldn't make a chat. Put this over here. Okay, let's turn this fucker upside uh, down. This city. Let's, think, let me think, let me think, let's think. own this city. What? Uh -huh, wait, uh -huh. what is the name of this? <laughs> Goat fuckers uh, allowed. <laughs> Goat fuckers allowed. Is that, we weren't screening them at the door before. <laughs> we didn't well, ask. Hey, I, do you fuck goats? And then we said I know, no. But, obviously, but yeah. you, think of this as a as a targeter. Yeah. We have to capitalize on a market in this new city, right. and I feel like all the goat fuckers in the city might not feel comfortable in right. certain places. And they want like a place of business. No, I, I sort of see what you're saying, but I also think maybe right. that's not a big enough demographic. You know what I'm saying? Goat fuckers? You don't think no. there's enough goat fuckers I'm, in the major metropolitan area? Uh, I mean, let's let's find Holy out. Holy shit. Let's this find out if there's know. enough goat fuckers in our chats. I think we're going to be overrun <laughs> with goat fuckers. I think that you're going to see goat fuckers as far as the eye can see. We're going to we find are the Spartans out and they are the how Persians. many of our chatters are goat fuckers when they show up. Expect to visit if you're a goat fucker. I'm going to so RT plus one what Stan said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready to start all day. I'm ready. All day. Sorry. We're going to have steaks all day. What are you working on, chef? Cause I'm I'm sh I'm cooking here. Well, head chef, so cooking. I'm I'm head, I'm head chef actually, cause you know because the assless Where's chaps. Where's the hat? Uh, Why would the head chef wear assless chaps? The hat is chaps. for people who are too short and trying to look taller. Uh, ready up, lad. Oh, Here's the problem: it. is we don't have a four-panel window. Hey, like don't do time. don't do more than one, um, because they might want it a different. Uh, don't do more than one cook, because they might want a different level of rare. Chain Muwu and Darth J, two goat fuckers here, <laughs> for a classic goat fucker steak. Plating it. Can cringe. you just put it down? Can you? Can you? Do you really have to come all the way out here? And, <laughs> what do you? What was that? What? Do you, <laughs> Wait, I don't know what what kind they Plate want. Plate it. Do not, please Double. do not. You just gave him raw food. <laughs> Is he having a stroke? I don't know. I don't even see him. <laughs> I, I'm too busy cooking. Someone's got to do some dishes, though. Imagine. Oh, what do you want? Is it dropping in? Dropping in. Marin, Karen. Uh. You want a steak? It's like you're, it's uncooked. like you're thinking subs. This is uh, uncooked. Okay. It's not uncooked. No. It's just partially that's... cooked. Uh, <laughs> Don't act like that's fucking. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. He I feel wants like it I'm medium, and we give it to him blue, dude. Oh. Okay, tell me what, tell me what you'd like. What are we fucking calling like? No, that's good. That's good. We should call people. We need money. We need money bad. No, what we need, we need is uh, cooked we steaks. Need, we need something cooked. <laughs> we need steak, cooked okay, steaks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's I got you. I got you. What are you talking about? I'm here. That's cooked. Yeah, HR, stop saying it's not cooked. It's it's legit. This one right here is not cooked. We need a well done and a, and a, and a raw. What are you what are you talking about? A well done and a raw. Okay, raw. Well done on the way. Oh, no. Well done, you said. Nice. Got it. Perfect. Well, can you get the fuck out of the way? Can you... <laughs> no, it's just going swimmingly. It's not actually. going swimmingly. We need, a, we, need a, we need a well done. Okay, well done on the way. Well done. One well done all day. Coming. Well done. Thank you. Washing. No, no well done, sir. Uh, that's not well done. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize, chef. That's oh, I, I beansed it, chef. I, 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 that's my fault. Uh, running out of time. <laughs> no, no, no. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. We actually have plenty of time. I have no plates. We actually don't have plenty of time. Food was kind of mid two out of ten from a shatter who was there. <laughs> why would you, why would you? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice job. Well. A little bit of tension, but we got it done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, they get to choose the order? Oh, they get to choose that the makes order. Our life worse. That's what I said. They said they couldn't, but yeah, that's if that's they all choose well done, we're fucked. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> oh, I think we take research. Yeah, you're right. I think we take research table, right? You just grab oh, the table instead of research table, desk, and we can't afford the did research you, desk. Did now. you throw? <laughs> oh, you threw. Kind of far from the window. Kind of far it. from the window, King. I accidentally bought it. No kizzy. That's all good. That's all good. No kizzy. Yo, what about um, table service? I'm gonna save plates then? Oh no, we have to save the other thing. Damn. What do you think about table service? Uh Where? I can I can drop you table can't. service. You can double table service. Yeah, put one on the left and one on the right. No 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 no. Like where Atrox standing and then right there. Yeah, yeah. No, this and is And then bad. they have and then middle missing, middle missing. And then put the other one to the top right. No, keep it keep it there. Wait, what are we what are you talking about? And then move that one to top right. The one that Atrox has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's only a wonder. That's fine. I can table serve both these. Boom, boom. Okay, One, two, wait, two. Th there's no t space for us to get a fucking... 
Yeah, you can't what, pass what you, orders to a. No, I pass orders. Them. I pass orders, and I can grab so their dirty plates people. too. Yeah, you, you can't. You can only do it for those tables, and so the, for the third table, we'd have to walk all the way around. Oh, fair. Actually, fair. Yeah. Actually, fair. But I think one there is fine. Stack all three tables next to it. We'll have a one, one, right one there, two. One right there, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this doesn't make any sense because no, just drop this chair. We need actually no because two counter spaces. Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, right. I've been waiting for a long time. I'm, I know this game, <laughs> okay? And I don't like having this chef guy out here running around amok. I'm I'm just cooking just cooking some steaks, chef. This guy, this guy right here. Oh, well, sorry, that guy. There's not enough room right now. <laughs> oh. All right, started. Oh, like. <clears throat> Let get. Let, 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 I gotta do something. We don't Doors have enough counters. Open. Welcome don't, to Goat Fuckers, Newt, Big Mac, and Saniva. Welcome to Goat Fuckers. Actually, goat I don't actually know loud. what you're doing. Why are you Why are you overcooking that? They always ask for well done. I need a they well don't done. Always ask for well done. I need a well done. They well ask for it. You need a well done. Oh, fucking shockers. <laughs> oh my god, you got lucky. You got lucky. <laughs> what? You're taking my job now? What do you want from me? To do my job, chef. We need two cooks. Head chef, sous chef, sit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. Hello, weird Ari and Mrs. Sprinkle. You want a regular and a well done? Got it. Well done on the way. Well done. Ready? All this yours. Is... Just cook them to this level, and then we'll we'll chill on it. You know. Uh, we we have ten. Please stop. And well, you've got to stop Zandirian. overcooking. Just I did. cook them. Just cook them to this. Two level. well dones, please. Overcook them. <laughs> Two well done. Two well done, please. Or don't. Hey, or don't. Or don't. And we got two dirty dishes in. There it is. <laughs> okay, okay. 13 Probably ducks and just tenderer. Probably need to call in some Welcome. I didn't know you guys fucked goats, but it turns like you do. Can we get an order? I can't uh, order. We have mediums here. Mediums. Two mediums. I got it. I got it. I got it. Good. I love that we slap the fucking well done steak on the counter. The dirty oh, counter. I, I, I miss clothes. Unplated. Okay. I do need a second medium and I need. Cleaning, cleaning behind you, chef. Watch your feet. Watch your feet, chef. Medium. Thank you, chef. Next order, chef. Uh, next order, next order. Yeah, next order is two wells. well done. Uh, one well. One two well wellies, right please. Uh, that, no, that's a welling tin, chef. Uh, this is, do you want well done? And I'll give you two well wellies, done. Two wellies, two wellies. Two wellies. No, 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 not two wellies. Not no, two wellies. wellies. Clear. This is two well done steaks. We're we'll calling wellies. And we don't we call we, we call Take wellies. the wellies that goat fuckers allowed. Uh, yes, the these guys are off though. Is rampant. Yeah. Uh, that was maybe. our last orders. No, oh, thank you. I'm, we I'm gotta get me. the classic Wellington one boots. Me. One for me. One for me. I'm hungry. People I'm who work hungry. at steak restaurants definitely don't get steak for themselves at the end. Uh, yeah, they do. It would just be so much. You just overcook one. Time. Oh, my bad. And then you just throw it. Yeah, it seems like a classic. Actually, makes me really hungry for steak right now. Uh, research desk. Yeah, for sure. Isn't that what it was before? Yeah, we didn't oh, we, we didn't upgrade, upgrade. it because you no, know, you need to buy it. You need to buy it and then put we it next to that. Got to thing. buy yeah. it. Oh right. And now I think we upgrade plates and we get some automation going. I think we should upgrade dining table for that romance table. Hey, hey finally, you man after my own obsessed. fart, dude. You're obsessed with the romance, A romance table. table, please. I'm obsessed with with efficiency. I also, buy the romance table right is now. pretty sick because. Yeah, we're, we're not guaranteed the romance table. Wait, what the about issue. a floor buffer? Wait, are you just swapping him? That's fine. That's oh, is, fine. That a no, Kumba? Like is the floor buffer a Kumba? Uh, floor uh, buffer could become a Kumba, but by itself is not a Kumba. No, we and we need well. I think wellies and dirty and, is and, always. And good. we're yeah. and we're broke. Look at look at the money. We are fucking mm -hmm. broke. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boot it. Uh, boot it. Boot it. Uh, okay. Boot it. Don't root it. Uh, it's it's a shark. Let's go fucking official with this. All steak right. Fuckers? Oh, he loves steak fuckers. Ready? Yeah, the HR? fuckers industry. I'm ready. <laughs> you weren't? You weren't? And that's okay. Big day, big day, big day, big day, big day, big day. New performing R dubs! Welcome to Steak Fuckers. We don't fuck the steak, we just make it fucking good. Yeah, I gotta clean, I gotta clean. Don't take the order yet, I gotta clean, I gotta clean. Yeah, oh, sure. lock. Take the order, take the order, we got it. We need okay, okay. two. Oh, just don't tonight. play that, don't play that. What if it's not? Okay. It's perfect. You're, I looked, I looked. I you're looked, risky. Looked. Did I you? Looked. Risking. You just looked. We need two it's meads. Like two meads on the way. You pull the right, you pull the right. Oh my god. Never mind. I got meant it. to. It's fine, it's fine. Two meats coming. I got two meats for you. Nut likes nuts. Okay. <laughs> From the chef himself. He would like a lightly done. Light, light touch. Uh, a rare, 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 rare. I feel like throwing the Keep the tail on, you know what I'm saying? Dangerous. Dude, I'm fine. You just keep moving shit in a weird it's way. Just dangerous. 
No, just don't play them. Just don't play them, and then we can do whatever we want. There's no danger to it, though. There's no danger whatsoever. Bit of a stranger danger. Look at I'm I'm ready, but I don't have to play it. I think what I'm worried about is the danger aspect. Gutsy would like a welly. You got it. Gutsy's getting a welly. He wants the steak fucked hard. Thank you. What does Swordman and Livy Luna want? They want a welly and a light touch. We got both. We got both. Light touch is ready. Welly on the way. It's not a welly, by the way. No. Oh, 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 not a welly. He wanted a medium. He bad wants a medium. It was a bad call. Terrible call. Nate uh, Dog wait, wants a little tickle, and PJ Sam wants a more of a You're insane. raw dog. You're actually <laughs> the worst person. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Raw Thank you for pulling that, Chef. We can together. Right. Our friendship. <laughs> Clear Prune would like a just a little, little lick. One kiss? One kiss ready? Well, yeah, a kiss on the cheek. Kiss from a rose, uh, my favorite seal song. Oh shit, we should have called. Oh, that's alright. It's alright. We can get there. Cowardly. What if I give it to him raw? How does he feel about that? No, get it. Feel good about it. <laughs> With no plate, you mean? Is that what you mean by raw? <laughs> yeah. It's a Joe Rogan restaurant. Clear prune, eat up, get out. Romance table, come on. Oh, Romance table, table, baby. It's a bar table, I see. How do you know? How do you know? You, oh, can, you, see, do you know. can see it. You can see it. Yep. Fucking yep. L behavior. Yep. Uh, Crazy. Can you re-roll it? Can we just put it back in and fucking... No. 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 Can't so put it back in the oven. Cringe. Wait, what if you re-roll... What if you take More it out? More customers? Seems wait, 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 wait. Or onions. If you re-roll an upgraded table, the blueprint, do we get a different upgraded table? No, you can't... I'm gonna oh, you, I'm sorry. You mean if you take it out and then roll? Yeah, if we take so, it out, put it on the floor, and then re-roll. You want to try it? Let's try it. Fuck it. Okay, we'll learn. Oh, what did you guys morning want? Rush. Every, 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 every morning day morning rush, rush we, dude. I feel like morning rush is going to kill you. We want we more customers rule. anyway. The morning rush is the same as just calling on the phone. I don't like the one rule. Saikuno told me we need multiple things. Saikuno? He's is my lord and savior. Saikuno guy too much. Yeah. Yeah, because he seems good. I don't like how it's been making you talk lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I just, I really like hanging out with Saikuno a lot. All right, re-roll. <laughs> re-roll. Yeah, <laughs> what a giggle. <laughs> No, no, don't put it in yet. What? Did, why'd you put it back in? You said you said you want to reroll. Oh, well, this is the dining table I'm putting in. Oh, I guess that's fine, actually. <laughs> why? I think we're wasting our research juice on dining tables. Oh, we're not... it does work. No, it doesn't. What did it get? No, it yeah, didn't. It went prep station. station. Is that upgrade? That's, no, it's a level it's not, one. It's not upgrade. It's level oh, one. It, it was work. bad then. It was yeah, it was, really it was bad. a waste. Yeah, it didn't work. But we got a floor protector, which is actually kind of goaded. Oh, Ooh, that's so right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We want that. Floor protector is goaded. What about yeah. ordering term? Not useless. I no, very useless. I don't know what the tile is that gets the least cleaned. I assume it's this one. Um, yeah, because it's by the three hobs. I think you're right. Good call. And the other one has a sink, so it kind of cleans. IMO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can store stakes. Oh, I actually said I don't think that's worth, but that's okay. Crazy, I'm gonna the 18 months. Two yeah, store. Uh, we can store raw. Uh, sorry, we can store. Uh, what do you we call can it? Store like the meat. Rare. Too. Store rares, and you can recook them later. Call me crazy. We store well done. Uh, I think if we store rare, we can just cook them later. I, th I think both have merit. I'm, I'm with you. I'm ready to run. I to am run. also ready to run. Welcome Do you want to me to work some well done fuckers. Or? Let's no, start getting no. some shit oh, ready, yeah, yeah, dude. Throw them in, throw them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Acid Dookie. I'm Shane. hi -oh, hussy. I'm going to work on some wellies. Okay. Uh, Acid wellies Dookie would love a uh, medium. A uh, medium? Medi medium on the way, Chef. I got it. And no, I'm sorry. Well done and two, two mediums. Medium, two mediums. Two mediums. Okay, one more medium on the way, Chef. God, we yeah. just need one more mat. Sorry, medium on the way. Two mediums ready. You got it. Uh, I'm going to clean this, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Shit. NordVPN. <laughs> what, what? What? NordVPN, oh, dude. No. Oh. What do you mean, oh no? I love NordVPN. <laughs> We're doing I'm well done like, in the storage oh, no, chat, yeah. so we never have to well done in our lives. You watch that one? Watch that one on the right. Uh... I can right, what do you need, need? A, need a light touch and a medium. Light touch? Light I got light touch. I got light touch. I'm going to take some orders down here. Okay, thank you. You can call in. I think I think we're good. Uh, we need a medium and a well done. Okay, medium well done on the way. Mm, need a light touch. I don't want plate. We need a plate for the light touch. Medium first. Plate touch. Fuck, uh, we, light lost. Touch. we lost. No, we didn't. Do we? Yeah. We're bust out. it, bust it, bust it, bust it. Medium, medium, no medium, go, go. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, go. Plate, bust plate, it. Sink, 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 sink. For what? For what? Clean the sink, clean the sink. We gotta put dirty plates down. We don't have a medium. You're insane. You put a oh, there's a clean in there. Uh, I don't need a medium. I need a well done. Okay, well done on the way. Well done. Well done on the way, chef. Well done, ready, chef. Well done, ready. Okay. Get me, get me, get me. 
You left to. You, you left and you didn't wash the dishes when you left. <laughs> no, no, the dishes was clean. You just need to be removed. What do you want? Oh, oh perfect. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. My bad, my bad, my bad. My Take my clean shit. plate from bottom. Take it. We're clutching. Yeah. Wait, I need to put this in the sink. Sorry. Uh, let's get some some lights done. One rare need a light one. Need a light one. Yeah, rare, 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 rare. rare good. All right, need a missionary. What was it? Use words. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. A missionary? I need a missionary. He needs a missionary. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, peck on the cheek is a rare, missionary is a medium, and a fucking he raw dog. Needs a <laughs> Wait, Pound so from the back is a fucking well one? done. Okay, I see, I see. Missionary is medium. But What's then the raw logic? dog is. Oh, I feel raw like Raw dog's works. well done. Why is a raw, a raw <laughs> dog is. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Raw dog's well done. Peck on the cheek is raw. <laughs> Keep up, baby. It's All the right, fucking we're kitchen. Gonna, we're gonna fuck this, but I'm in. I'm in. I like our, our waiter's got some stank, and I like it. Uh, all right. Oh, good news. What? We got what? table fancy tablecloth. What does that mean? It's not that good, is it? It means table, customers oh, pay fifty percent more. more. That's nice. Oh, is it a table or just a cloth? I think it's the no, cloth, it's a, so we can put it on a table, table, which is better. No, it's a table. It's a table. Nice. It's a table. It's a full-on table. Hey, new counter. So, uh, uh, put we it closest to the window. So we do uh, open those, HR. You got two letters. We just got. We got an oven. You want to upgrade it? Uh, uh, I think we for sure upgrade plates for all. Table. Well, upgrade another table. Let's try to get romance table. We're all in now. In for a penny. In for a pound. <laughs> I fucking hate romance table. I hate. Uh, romance I think we should table. get a, another sink. I would. Love mm, we have the biggest sink. sink. I think we're good. Oh, I was gonna think of an auto. We're kind of trying uh, to get auto sink is slow. Romance table. Wait, what does upgrading counter do? Doesn't that get you a um, conveyor? Uh, up, uh, does it? Does. Yeah, I think it does. We should do that instead of that. Conveyor's table. good. Conveyor's good. Yeah. yeah. Yikes! I really think we need that romance table though. We have one. No, no we, we have don't. A, we have a fancy table. We don't have a romance table. Oh right, romance table. Wait, counter goes to prep station. Upgraded counter is freezer or fast chop. All right. Oh, we don't want we don't want either of those. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. What? Yeah, he did. We're good. All right, let's go. Run it. My gut Booted. says upgrade Booted. plates, but hey, that's just me, you know? Yeah, well. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Steak fuckers, we are open. Vasily Sitnikov is our first guest. What will he like to have here at Steak Fuckers? <laughs> he wants a kiss on the One cheek. Pack on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek coming. Kiss on the cheek done. One call. You watch that, Chef? Yeah. Sagarine guest from Dork Man. What would you like? Full house, full house, full house. Uh, two missionaries, two mediums. Okay, thank you. I got one. You got the other? Nice job, I'm cleaning. Call to church, we got too many missionaries. Missionary on the way. Need a missionary and two raw dog anals. I like the Missionary and two raw dogs? And a raw dog is a well done? Just to confirm, Chef? I need one more raw dog. I need a raw dog! Raw dog is here. Uh, I need a, a I need a missionary. So <laughs> missionary. <laughs> missionary done. Okay, I actually need. Uh, Thank you for watching this. Oh fuck! What do you need? What do you need? Pick it need up. A, need there. a raw Pick dog. There. Need a raw <laughs> dog. No, that's. Not, okay, you do, you, we need have a raw, raw dog, dog. A missionary, another raw dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> yeah, give me these. Thank oh, you for the raw dog. I have an extra one. I backed it up. I need nice, a nice, nice, nice. Well done. Need a raw dog. Coming. Oh, I'm bringing raw dog. I'm losing. I'm, 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 I'm play, too stupid. I'm actually too stupid, chat. <laughs> That's the problem. I need a kiss on the cheek and a raw dog. Uh, kiss on the cheek and <laughs> raw dog on the way. Raw dog uh, heard. Up, chef. <laughs> so uh, need a kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the cheeks there. Uh, can you plate it? Uh, sushi and a raw dog, please. Don't call me. Ever again? I'll call myself. <laughs> right. I'm gonna wipe this. Any wipers? Uh, coming with uh, raw dog. <laughs> Rubbing all the way around. Uh, need a missionary and a kiss on the cheek. There's a whole lot of come out here. I gotta be honest with you. Missionary up. Missionary up. Missionary up. Coming the cheek out. <laughs> 
Thank you for the dishes, chef. Potatoes are so bad. <laughs> oh, that's hard. That's actually hard. It's like Simon says. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, because you have to learn new words. <laughs> but the words are also Welcome the opposite. Welcome to the kitchen, dude. Welcome to the fucking kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this is called comms. Oh. Uh, exclusive all day. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which one of which one of them lets us have the cum floor? Uh, uh Are you sure? Affordable? No, exclusive. I thought dud. But is exclusive fine? Okay, I don't I'm think, down. I I don't think sure. either one. But yeah, we can do exclusive because it helps us a lot. lot. We just can't have formal. Bada bing, bada boom. It's not gonna I get demonetized. What did I just say? Raw dog four hundred times in the video. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. uh, good news. Another fancy table. Ah, that's All right. money at least. Well, at least that's we're making that's good. Schmun. Okay, we gotta stop upgrading tables. Like we have tables now. <laughs> well, I wish I get one more. Huh? Statue. Always get the statue. Uh, statues of three. No, yeah, I, I got the fucking table. candelabra. Wait, why'd you buy the wrong thing? Ooh, they were stacked. Oh, then I'll buy the tour. I have precious flour. Don't buy the statue. All right, buy the tour. I hate that. Oh, I can't buy the tour. We don't have enough money. I hate that. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, you I'm bought the candelabra? Wait, we couldn't afford the statue. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. We had 60. What do you think about wood floor out there? I Love like it. it. I like it, chef. Love it. Love it. I'm throwing away a table, by the way. No, wait, what? Go don't throw it away. Just put it, it away. No just cheers. put it in the bag. We're going to need it. Oh, there's a letter you didn't open. To your right. We just got a letter candelabra. Okay. Oh, this looks nice. Steak fuckers. What dude. are we? What are we saving? Shave the statue. It doesn't. We're not, are we gonna buy it? It's a three. Or we only need to buy a two. Or shouldn't we save a flower? Uh, well, it's still we the most efficient. We should still save anyway, it. Right? Yeah, we gotta get six. Save the statue. Mm, do we? Save the statue. We had to call enough people to get. It is bad that he bought it, but he bought it, and we should live with his. We're gonna go to six eventually. Part of our team. Okay. Okay. Don't I'm hear down. that back talk from the sous chef. <laughs> Ready? Uh, ready up. Don't Corner call house. me the sous chef. I will kill <laughs> 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 Fucking sick and tired of steak fuckers. I miss salad fuckers. I uh, hate the green. Love the deep burgundy. Kind of love the Any green. Any wellies? <laughs> that would be sick. I would love some wellies. The cum is going to get out of control mm. with the six table setup. What about yeller down there? Why you is Lud turning so? tables off? I have no idea. Ooh, uh, that's nice. What do you uh, want turning table? He is turning tables off. Those tables in the bottom. I think 14 the tables plus in the bottom four, be 18. I think that's just dumb. What? Yeah, it's three sets of two. If we're going to want way. bonus table, at least one bonus table. I think it's just harder to reach and unnecessary. Hmm. Because we should also that maximize that people go to the fancy tables. And if there's four options, then they'll go to it less. We'll try it, but uh, I feel like I'm we're going to crash and burn. I think if we crash and burn, it'll be all your fault. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. I think it's gonna fuckers. get really hard for Hrock because he's gonna have to be in the cum without uh, wellies. I don't sink in the cum. <laughs> I come in the sink. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Five locks and ruin out when a raw dog and a missionary. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. No problem. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> literally what a raw dog is. Would love a raw dog. Would love a raw dog on a plate. Raw dog on a plate. Okay. Uh, okay, he, Give me a raw dog, no one. Jimmy, please. There we go. Thank you. Okay. What's a Jimmy? <laughs> with, with no plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're laughing, uh, but I don't know I why. I need all three. I need a triple threat. I need an orgy. Okay. Or orgy on the way. Uh, you got that one? Nice. I got this one. Can you plate that, Chef? Thank you. Oh, it's hey, truck. Hey, truck. Put it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. back. Bring it back. Well, that's not what I need. I need a fucking medium. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you could have just plated that. I, you need I, all three. I, I don't think you can I put couldn't six have there. It. I think a truck will just grab him. Okay. Oh, a truck, I, you got to stop guys. grabbing him. A truck, you got to stop grabbing him. I had to grab it because I need you to put the other thing down. What do you need? You got a, you got a well done already. We, oh, we need a well done. Got it. We got it. Uh, medium on the way. Medium on the way. Uh, we need to kiss it. Uh, kiss, uh, kiss, uh, 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 kiss the cheek. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we need two kisses on the cheek. Okay, kiss on the cheek. I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't we worry. need a nice just date. Plating. Just plating. Two ki three kisses on the cheek. Call the first date. Call grandma. First date one. What? <laughs> first date two. What did you say? First date, yeah, first date three ready. Ready, chef. Yep. Uh, we need a... Uh, wish we had we more tables. Kiss cheek. Another kiss on the cheek. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just sorry, just watch, just watch. Can, can I have the whole thing? That's delicious. Are you winning? Um, yeah. kiss on the cheek on the way. What? You have no Need our orgy. Need a raw dog and a medium. Okay, raw dog on the way. Need First a full on orgy. Raw dog, uh, medium on the way. I got a big cum stain. I'm sorry. For me? Uh, I, I can't. I can't. I got Go for a medium. Come. Need a medium right now. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I got it, I got it. Plate moved. Plate moved. Plate Plate it. I got Put it. it down. Need him delivered? Need a raw What's dog. Next? Or actually need a... No, you don't need a raw dog. We need two kids. If you're going to do a dumbass <laughs> thing, you have to be right about it. <laughs> yeah, you can't do a dumbass thing and be wrong. Move! Oh, Dad, we're boys! Dead. We're done. Boys, we're done. Hey, good, good, no, we're good business. We're what dead. What are you talking about? Go. go! Go, 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 We're literally dead. I can, call, I can time it. <laughs> Unless... Oh! Imagine. God, you so we, you, you gave up. You gave up. I, I didn't give up. Place. I literally clutched you it. You gave okay, up. Medium you gave up. You medium. actually gave up. I didn't. I clutched it. I pulled you the last. You gave up. I did a medium. I actually need a uh, missionary. <laughs> medium. What's a what's a missionary? <laughs> medium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we gotta work up the names. After this, I refuse cool. to use the names. Say a word. Medium say a word. Say a word. Medium. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Medium. No. Uh, shit. You said well done. You said You. I You said well done, dude. What was that? Well done. It's a missionary every day of the week. <laughs> oh, no, Holy would not shit! Have a missionary is a medium. Missionary would not have helped. Missionary was the correct name, but he said, "Well done," like a fucking oh, show, dude. Oh, oh my god! You guys I, gave? I, oh, not you guys. I, I, I refuse. Hey, you gave up me. I didn't give up. I got the. I clutched it. You point, said we're dead. We're no, I've loudly. seen these. But I didn't stop playing. I didn't stop playing. And I got the fucking plate. You, did. you oh. said at one point I can count down our loss. <laughs> you did. But I still kept playing, and I got the plate. Oh. <laughs> you also gave up on your own names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to go salad so we don't have to do those names. I kind of want pizza. Mm -hmm. We've never done it. The names aren't stopping. <laughs> uh, pizza's good. I'm down with pizza. Let's do it. Mm. This is so delicious. Yeah, I can't do cooking so and we washing. We should do chocolate bananas because they're fucking amazing. Uh, <laughs> boys. What? What'd you say? I can't do cooking and washing. Yeah, we gotta do the old split. The old split was better. The the, the kitchen was not conducive for the old split. Uh, let's get a better Correct. kitchen then. What we really need is a four panel opening. So find us that. No, I think the one I have it. is good. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Is there a four yeah, panel yeah. one? Basically, we can double we can double dog dirty dare it. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, yeah, we, we can. can. We can double dog dirty dairy. We can try. Oh, I guess we can. Maybe we'll find out. We hated pizza, but it was our first one. I think we can figure it out, chat. We can figure it out. I'm not worried. Pizza, pizza. Mm -mm. Damn, chat really loves backseating this game. <laughs> They're losing their minds. They do love to backseat. All right, in all right. General. Don't say Elwig throat rock and Stan's giga chat because that's just false. <laughs> just Stan's don't say just, that. Uh, he because just dominates. Tried. Yeah. Let's try. Stan's dominates pizza one roll in the kitchen. It roll. doesn't. Yeah. I did dishes and you. Fuck you. I have one roll. Well, also, a little slow, chef, and a little slow, the the, and also couldn't figure out the the very yeah, obvious clues actually, that I was giving. The very obvious raw things. talk equals well done. That's hard in the new name. moment. New name, new branding. Okay, pizza sluts. Pizza sluts it is. <laughs> um, okay, let's think about where we want everything. Um, dishwashing. This is a bad setup already. I think you're just a running. negative Nancy. I'm not a negative Nancy. I just want this us to be real. Room. Is this is this, this setup? No, is I think good. us being able to serve in so if I can serve one and wash like last time, it's goaded. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. agree. So then, actually, open this door up probably. Put the put um, the put no, the no, thing no, wait, down what are here. You doing? Yeah, because then you can serve one and wash. You walk out by serving. Yeah, put the wash right there. Put this no, down I here. I can serve because it's a bar table. Yeah, oh, a bar sorry, table. sorry, sorry. My my apologies, chef. My apologies. Wait, I can't get that. I can't get that. I can't get that. No, nope, that's not gonna work. I can't get to that sink. I need to drop the thing off. No, you don't need to. I need this to touch a, one, a sink. A, it's a one sink. It's a one sink. Oh, then sink. then you can do then you can do this, but no. Put the sink if, if up here. Sit there. I'll throw it here. Put the sink on the corner. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm I'm down. I'm down. I have respect to the gambit. Uh, don't need the trash gambit. You, you know I don't burn things. You have to have the sink from the you fucking counter. You know I don't burn things. Mm. Hold up, hold up, Sims. All I request from you. Yeah. You mm. place everything else how you want it. Uh huh. Oh, place you just block him in, dude. <laughs> And, and dishwasher there. Hmm. Okay, I respect it. I'm a little Do you want me to? This. Actually, actually, you should swap plates in this because I can pass you a done pizza. So you can yeah, put that up here, and then I can, mm -hmm. I can, no, a little one higher. Mm -hmm. I can pass you a done pizza on there. Mm -hmm. I think, right? How about this? Is that cringe? I, res I respect whatever way you want to do it. <laughs> what is the order for pizza? Active cards. Mm -hmm. Pizza's main. I'm a little. Oh. How do I see recipes? This just in. Excitement for new restaurant Pizza Sluts has Cleveland a buzz. <laughs> Cleveland. I've always we're, wanted to live in Cleveland. We're a Cleveland-based pizza slut. Yeah, but what's the order? It's it's pasta down oil. It's on the menu. I couldn't find it. Where is it? I have heard of this legendary strategy where you put plates in the dining room and then you yeah, plate in the dining room. They would not shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> 
plates in the oh you just plate out oh, the sorry, dining room. Oh sorry, I didn't see recipes. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah, know plates and that. sink out there. Plates and sink. Because then you can you can serve and wash. One of the people serves and washes. Interesting. Feels so and cringe. The, and I'm the kitchen slut. And then I think we don't want this anymore. Boys, our our restaurant just hit two stars. Oh, <laughs> you killing, killing it. Doing? Or is, well, um, we're doing well. We're doing, doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just you know, it's like Kuno. If I asked you, uh, if yeah. I asked you to give me a raw dog steak, how how well would you cook the steak? Raw, I guess. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I rest well, my case. It's actually I rest well my case. Done. It's actually well done because the raw dog is the most. The answer was for some reason well done because it's the most intense sexual that you position. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, okay. exactly. One of them the kiss on the cheek. That's obviously a raw doll. That's, that's, that's raw. <laughs> you, I would have been with you if you didn't fuck it there. <laughs> oh. Wait, so a raw dog steak is well done. A, a, a raw dog is well done. Is a, missionary a missionary is medium. Is medium and a kiss on the cheek is raw. Dog is well done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get it. And it was bad. So it, was, you, it was. You guys, uh, you guys said you're running a restaurant or a, <laughs> a brothel. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Have fun. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank with you. your re restaurant, you said it was. Yes, it yeah. was a restaurant. Oh, I mean, hey, that's and it's, what it is. Is it a restaurant? Is it like a front for something, or it's nope, a restaurant? it's not. Like, you know, I don't know. Could be. Could be. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, good. Good luck. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll get. <laughs> Alright, let's boot it. Let's boot it. I was gonna ask him to be an investor, and now I'm not. So he just misses chance. It's kind of mm -hmm. you that needs to boot. Also, I'm him booting. investing is not an opportunity lost. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Pizza. We sucks. can handle this. Pizza slut slut slut. I got so, it. I got it. Just... I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Give me a pizza. P I Z Z A. Give me pizza. Zandrian and Ellen Yar. Basic pizza. Slice please. for each, I think. Uh, how do I cut it? Sorry. A slice for each? Got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. You stay, oh. stay out of my kitchen, Jeff. Dude, Dude plates down here is a problem. Why is it a problem? Well. It's just a lot more walking I have to do now. I have to give the plate over. I keep thinking this thing is a plate, and it's actually so funny. <laughs> okay, I need to start another pizza. Uh, we gotta go. No, this, uh, this, not, this, is not, this is not working. It's not good? Nope. There's no, a plate for you? Just let me handle it. What do you mean? I'm... <laughs> There's a... Just, you, We're you already dead on, on day Stop, stop, stop. Give me a plate. Oh, oh, okay. I think we might be... Oh, I, I <laughs> saved it. No, stop. No, 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 that's not the sink. You, now we oh. have to put it somewhere. Oh, no. Okay. It only does one. It only does one. Our sink only does one fucking dish. Yeah, that was tough. We that was a tough one. Honestly, awful. it's no one's fault. It's no uh, one's fault. You guys want to go back to salad? <laughs> no, I like pizza. I think we can figure it out. Okay, okay. HR, can, can we separate our roles here? Can we delineate? Yeah. The way we had it at Burger Stop Fuckers touching is my the way to dishes. do it. Okay? We Keep can't the dishes get back there. Move in on. the kitchen. Keep this. <laughs> no, this is in the kitchen. Yes. What if you do dishes right there, Lud? Here's the thing. And then I no, can crank it. That's a pain. It's just more work for me. The no, it's one door. Yeah, but then I. The ultimate way we had it was where I can you pull can pick up and drop off plates at the same location. So plates and drop offs. So I can drop the dish off and pick up a new order. Okay, so you're going to what? Get rid of Maximum this chair? Efficiency. On top? If you get rid of chair on top, then I put the sink oh, right wait, here. We're resetting this fucking same thing. We should go to salad, dude. <laughs> this fucking piece of shit sucks ass. <laughs> All right, we, we can learn. We can learn. <laughs> Then you drop. How do you drop there? And if you don't, so you're saying move this? No, no. Let's I see. think keep that. I need that. We want salad. In salad, we crust. Is what I'm hearing. Really crust, like like the pizza crust. <laughs> We're gonna add pizza crust to our salad. That's our unique ingredient. Mm, like croutons. Mm-hmm. That actually would not right, be that right. bad. Like this, I think we could do it. Okay. I don't. Are you love ready? That. So what, let me what? give you an I need example. Let's say Let's this see, table has two shopping. dirty dishes. I'm gonna grab them and put them where. Here, here, here. This is the table. This is your dirty dish table. You want me to the put it on the bar table. table so you can one by one run them back to the sink? Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, bad. there might one be a sink. customer there we eating. We don't have a four sink, and you're acting <laughs> greedy. We have a one sink. You have to live with the life we have. Wait, wait, wait. This, this just solves the problem, and then remove the bottom chair and put the side chair. And you can still serve that table. Let... Put the bottom chair in the side chair. What are you talking about? Just remove one of the bottom chairs and then put that one in. Yeah. Now you can put the thing in the sink like you want. Okay, he's, he's kind of gutted for that one. <laughs> Ready up. I'm ready. I'm, I'm the pizza king. We can try I'm fucking this. so ready. We can try this. In salad, we bust. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Dude, fucking someone give that person. That's our next one. Wait. That's great. We never got the table. The, the table? desk. 
Oh, we didn't buy the, the phone. Move. Get out of my kitchen, Jeff. I had to fucking walk High security, where are you? Back I again, huh? It's my cleaning uh, place. my... Stan, you get an ego when you're in the kitchen with your pizza. Two regular slices. I, oh, oh, this is not right. This is not right. <laughs> so you do pla you do pizza, plating, and I just clean? I don't- I think so? I don't know. I don't really know yet. Uh, I feel like he can- wait, we should just split the kitchen down the middle. You only make pizzas. He plates them. I was down, but- No, I'm gonna- good, 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 good. I'm just getting a goaded amount of pizza. All we need is the counter space and we're juice. Bro, someone's gotta plate and clean, someone's gotta cook, and someone's gotta serve. I'm good. I'm serving fucking looks right Stan now, dude. Stan bad at giving up responsibility. Yeah, so because I don't fuck it up! Clean. Look at me! Look at me! I'm you just gonna up. clean dishes. No. Okay, that was crazy of you. Uh, two slices for Midnight and Falcon X. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the plate, Chef. Uh, what we actually need is a way to handle cum. Yeah, I actually completely agree. Uh, might need a ring a ding ding too. We have a phone. There's no ring. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. Can you grab that? What? Over the wall? No. Uh, this is not bad. Nice job. Bing, bada bing, bing, bong, bing, 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 bing. Philly rocks and flash. Welcome to pizza, uh, <laughs> and pizza we crust. His name. I, I like a pizza we crust. Uh, I think it's dumb. Okay. <laughs> Take it away. Let me give us a name for the future. Give us a name. name pizza gonna... we trust. That's, well, I just going all that's in. So much worse. <laughs> we almost got a pun now. You just removed the pun. <laughs> Yeah, I almost think it's a we try. All right, can I can I grab the oh, oh, wellies? We should save those. We should grab a research desk and save wellies maybe? Yeah. Cuz we, we can't afford them. Yeah, save the wellies. We need the we don't have the call center. We just lost it. Yeah, we lost it. Wait, That's what? Bad. That's terrible. Yeah, well, we, we didn't pick it up. We started. We should <laughs> On restart. pizza we bust. <laughs> On pizza we bust is great. On pizza we bust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's really good. <laughs> that uh, booms us. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Grace and Dave with a prime. I need a missionary. I think it would be more helpful to upgrade the sink than go for wellies. I. You gotta get oh, wellies. I think we have to get wellies to win, though. We're just. I don't even think we can get enough money for wellies this round. Okay, yeah, yeah you're right. I'm down, I think I'm down. we should go full on reset, try to get the phone and get a better layout. Play for I'm also down to reset. I agree. Let's play for a 30 round, dude. Okay, how do we how do we reset? Sorry. I'm just gonna hit. You get. Abandon. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want to abandon? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is, this is the big run. Let's try and go fucking, let's play whole hog. Okay. Right. Let's break our well, record. Let's, let's do it. Let's do steak. I got a lot of good ideas about names. I, th <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to do steak. I thought you wanted to play it. <laughs> yeah, let's play it first. I refuse salad. to do steak. Let's return to the salad fucker classic and let's really go as far as we can. Now, I think the long ones suck. Let's get fatty. We do well, better look at it. Look at it. with look fatty. At eyes. Yeah, look at it. That's just less counters. I think the long one's better, right? There's, there's uh, three passes here. There's three passes versus that one is two passes. I oh, no. think the, this one I'm down with that I'm, I'm down with covering either. is kind of throated. It's like the one we just had. That one we just had kind of... Oh, I guess it's interesting because it's got a different office. Wait, actually, uh, kind of like Because it. Lud couldn't cross me up in the hallway to... I'm actually to down to try Lud's. I think it's cool because the office is not I'm connected, down. so that could be good. Right, right, right. We can get more direct access to the kitchen. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is it. Salad fuckers, let's go, baby! Let's go. Okay. Easy clap. But we have to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank, All right, thank we you. got the phone. We'll Sorry. put it in the office. Sorry, Chef. We okay, got the desk. We'll put it in the office. This is nice. I like this is, ni oh, this is a nice one. Here. Put a, put a sink I over need... here on this door, right? Do we even need to get out of the kitchen? Uh, I'm down to lock myself into an eternal torment of kitchen. Uh... What if we put the sink right there and then the plate machine right here? Can you do that from the dining room? You have to plate it in that case. Yeah, I plate, but I have to. I I pull. I always have clean plates, right? Is this not Omega Juice? I'm not sure. This feels Omega Juice to me. 
Especially because salads are so easy. This needs to be like Wait, offset. What? what? How is this juiced? Oh, you wash and you place. Oh, you can't place. Sorry. Uh, wash and uh, wash yeah, and plate this, right there. <laughs> salad fuckers too. <laughs> oh, actually, you could do technically. Oh, no. That's it. You're right. That's good. That's good. That's good. This could be There's bad. There's no advantage <laughs> to this, but we could do it. Uh, we, we will, I will never have to deal with washing, and I will always have clean plates. <laughs> yeah, that's still possible without this, right? Like, blocking the door uh, is not advantageous in any way. Why? What would you it. rather do? I, like, I, like, just, it's just not. You can, yeah, you can pass over the, of course it is, you can pass over. You don't have to open the door, which sometimes bumps you. I, yeah, I guess if, the, if you're worried about that micro two-second interaction... I'm worried about that interaction a little bit. Uh, that's fine. But then I think you just think I'm dumb. Because <laughs> you're saying that me, who will clean the dishes in this door interaction, is our fail gap in not you doing all the cooking. No, the cooking is salad. It's easy. I think we should put the plates closer to the past, too. Hmm. I'm down either way. I mean, rem I'm just thinking, remember how good we did on burgers when everything was... Separated. We don't have the items for that yet. Different. We don't have the items for that yet. It's okay. Hey, no, let's hey, run do, it. Day one. Anything. We just gotta get items first. Let's run it. Day one. Let's go. We can always handle day one, boys. We can always handle it. Salad fuckers two. Here we go. Hey, you want to cut one? You can do it if you want. <laughs> sure. Top, 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 top. X Porzi. Give him a baby. Uh, regular. Leaf. Up. This is a baby leaf, and this is a bleeding heart. <laughs> you said you wanted to win. You said, hey, let's actually play. I want to win. <laughs> and now you're saying a baby leaf and a bleeding heart. Mado? Mado on the way. Uh, I like when uh, waiters have their own unique way of calling back to the kitchen, you know? Right, 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 right. I agree with them. <laughs> you know. Two toms. Mado? Mato one up, Mato two on the way. Mato two ready. Bing, bing, Did we order bing, max bing, customers? Bing, I think bing, we should. Bing, 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 bing. Gonna have to watch this. Gonna get the biggest thing toms. we need is a four man sink. Two toms. Two toms ready. Two toms and a little foot. <laughs> <laughs> little, little leaf, little leaf. Two toms and a little leaf ready. Well, it's a little foot because land before time. Yeah, three star. Uh, yeah, but how does that <laughs> help help us? Three star. It's a star leaf. Yeah. The, yeah, the uh, tree star. Tree star. Cringe ass. Star leaf. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Totally. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not even the way there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, let's go and run around and around. What a what beautiful we feeling! I finally when is found you it's a peaceful <laughs> valley, and everyone's having a good time awesome now. Damn, Lim for time music fucking slaps. Floppers? Uh, research yeah. desk. We need to get. That's what we need to get. Yeah, we have to buy a research desk. I did that thing where I didn't yeah. buy it. Oh, you just snap bot plates without even asking? Mm, I forgot dude, that you. Why do we? We we're throwing on level two every <laughs> day. We're level one. <laughs> we can make a comeback on that. That's not a big deal. We'll just get it Truth. next time. When Truth. Harry met salads is a very good name, chat. <laughs> so dated. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good. Part of like a '90s movie. Yeah. Who cares? That's funny as hell. It's all right. It's a decent movie. I'm ready. Harry's kind of, Harry's kind I'm of ready. Weird. Sorry. 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 Shoobity doop doop. Thank you. Oh, I actually don't want to Calm up. Weird Ari, back again. Kind of stopped. Weird Ari actually day. just hungry. snapping. Hungry. You seem pretty hungry. That's like your third lunch today. Give me a little foot. Little foot. Little foot up. Give me a little Tom. foot and a. Tom and little foot up. Tomcat. Cleaning. <laughs> you don't gotta add cat. <laughs> you gotta add cat. <laughs> What do you guys need? Gold? We need a better sink is what we need. Oh, we're gonna mm, sink like, like a sink on the outside, mayhaps. <laughs> no, we need like a four. No, it's, the sink. problem is not the... We need three speed. Tomcats. Three Tomcats oh. on the way. Don't serve, don't serve, don't serve the Tomcats yet. We have three one more. Okay, ready. The problem is there's not enough room to put... Oh, do we need one more Tomcat or are we good? No, we're good. We'll know in a second. Damn, call, 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 call light truck. Tomcat. Call. Tomcat up. Call. call the phone, call the phone. 
Max, Max phone, Max phone if you can. That's it. We got one more. What do we want? Uh, Tomcat and a little foot. Ready. Nice. Good shit. Oh, that cum is going to be an issue, huh? Yep. Wellies will help. Yeah, but we need double wellies if we're double outside. I assume. Kind of worried. worried. Well, we'll see what we get. Well, it depends on how big the sink is. If we get a bigger sink, there could be more water. Yeah, dish rack would be nice. I do know friends for dinner. Friends Don't wanna be dinner. friends for dinner. Don't, Don't wanna, wanna be, be spike on the mode or liver of duck. What? Did we buy two research? I bought we'll it and then you shame, bought it right we'll after me. Shame, we'll eat Bro, it all we have, up. <laughs> we have two reasons. You guys are you actually after me. I bought it two first. Stooges. Bro, we, we saved this stooges. one to buy, so I ran up to buy it. Why would you buy yeah, a different you, one? I bought it before you. <laughs> you didn't say anything. You didn't communicate. I did. I did. You, you did. were you, said, you waited no, to finish your song. No. You ha you have to live a rub duck. <laughs> we'll no munch shame. We'll crunch shame. We'll eat them all up. There's no point in having two ever, unless we get another desk. Unless we, we get another filing cabinet, and then we double upgrade, cabinet. which I don't think is that good. Not even that good. You can't afford anything. <laughs> Honestly, this is a restart. <laughs> uh, what if we made the comeback uh, of the we sense, do though? Whatever. We could do whatever. We should, we should actually play it out to get experience to get more food and stuff. And more Fuck it. I'm going to make an instant call. Ready? Can you upgrade? Fuck it. Get no. some toms ready, just in case. Yeah, dude, don't, don't tell me. Come on. Get some toms ready. Don't you immediately you. get some toms ready, please? Oh, you wait. Did you call when it was raining? You're yep. insane. Well, the rain. Oh, we Falls actually lose. We instantly lose. Wait, we lost. Oh, I'm in a regular. Tom Instagram. 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 Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom, little Tom, 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 little foot. Uh, Tom, cat, little foot up. We have no counter space. Call we need. Call we need. Call we need. We need. Tom, cat, little foot. Tom, cat, little foot coming up. Uh, yeah, up. Clean that. Tom Cat, little foot is up. We're gonna have to bust ASAP. ASAP Rocky. Uh, I can watch, I can watch if we need to. Oh, no. Get ready to bust. Get ready to bust on this one. Get ready to bust. Eat, 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 eat. Good bust, good bust. Call Tom. what you need, call what you need. Need a Tom. We need a Tom. Okay. Give me Tom, give me Tom, give me Tom. Got it, got it. Got it. We're, 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 we're you got it, you got it. Just bust, 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 bust. Only work bus. Only work bus. Yeah, oh, call wait, on no, Rain. Starting from the beginning, we're saying it's goaded because we won't have to buy the research tables. Yeah, yeah, restart. That's actually good. That's actually good. Oh, good, good. Actually, good. it's so good. Okay, don't buy the research tables. Yeah. Do we get different <laughs> items? That's kind of sick. Uh, no. no, we got the same. Right, I'm buying this research table. Okay, and then I think uh, upgrade sync is maybe good. Uh, or yeah. we could upgrade the other research desk and go for the one that randos free items or whatever, or randos blueprints. Um, no, let's get the better. But I think sink. sink is our. I think our sink is our. Fu is Sinks our are our slowdown. Um, alternatively, we could auto plater or something. No, Up to you guys. Sink, 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 sink. Okay. We lost blood. 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 Hello. Hello, Mr. governor. Did we lose him. Hello. I have no idea. He's on the phone. Interesting. Interesting. What up? Oh, where'd you go? I just wondering where you go. I just on the phone. Oh, let's oh, go. Okay, Salad fuckers. Do we buy everything? Yeah, we're good. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. we have we have a we're sink for upgrade. Yep, we yep. need a better sink. Oh, sorry. It's our biggest sorry. roadblock. It. Yeah. Salad fuckers. Right, right, make a tom, please. Oh, don't call in rain. Don't call in rain. Don't call in rain. One's fine. Yeah. We can handle one. Batman and Diamond Manny would like a Tomcat and a Hellcat. What's a Hellcat? <laughs> Little was a little bit of a Hellcat. <laughs> Just worry about top table. I'll worry about busting. Do not bust. Do not bust. You are not Wait, understanding right. me. <laughs> do not. I got a bust. No, because the problem is then you just stand there with a the plate useless and you could serve them up. We have to. I'll the bust. I'm your bus boy. Just serve. There's no <laughs> way that's efficient. <laughs> Something. It's more efficient because you can. The double toms. Stop busting me. Is it actually double toms? Double okay. toms. One tom. Second tom up. We need a double tom again. Double tom again on the way. Yes, chef. I have to bust this. 
Have the buses. No, you don't literally have to. To get the next guys in. You be... standing there with the plate is not a valuable use of your time. Because the plate oh, is it off actually the does, table. It does insta-sync it. It does insta-sync it, which might be good. Yeah. Because we need to get people it in. It definitely is the way to do it. It's, if, if we're in an emergency, like right now, can you do it, please? Tom, Tom, ready, Tom, ready. Make sure you're calling. We need a double Tom. Two Toms. Both Toms, both Toms ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking bust. I'm busting this. Bust one, one, one. Call it, call it, call it, call it, call it. Oh, we're on last customers. It's fine. We're, we're, we live. Right. We live, but it was close. Hey, you gotta take it out. <laughs> Uh, we uh, need the two green leaves, three green leaves, and us. Tom. Good, good wait, Tom, waiter. Tom, 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 Tom. No. Oh my God. The chain of command. It's crazy. Your dad was a military man. Because you get your fingers in everything, my my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's a jack of all. He's a jack of something. <laughs> <laughs> Jack the last. Sink keeps oh, uh, customer patients no. hidden. No. But yeah. scare soup is a is a throw for yeah, sure. We always get customer patients. We can figure it out. Mm. Wait, doesn't that mean we're fucked? Because we don't. Know I think so. Lose. Yeah, we don't know when we lose. I think it does mean we're fucked. But I also think carrot soup is hard as fuck. Carrot soup's a throw, dude. Unless you can pre-jack carrot soup, but I think it's so hard. Wash, Wash basin. basin. Go. That's the four plater, right? Goaty yeah. throw. We could also use more counter space for sure. Research desk sink. Oh, are you going for the gambit? I don't think it w makes sense. I we think it does plates? with plates. No, because the plates are so far from me. Are you saying like double like this? For sure, we need a romance table. Well, I don't think we need this little guy anymore. Oh, at all? But to, to, just to hold the plate. Yeah, carrot soup's annoying for sure. I could actually, I could use it as a counter. It's fine. It's fine. What are we upgrading? Table. <laughs> We, need we could upgrade plates anyway. and then we could get some like automation going we and make our lives two plates, easier. Bro. No, upgrade right. a plates. We, we need a plates. third table and a romance table would be the scroat. Also a bar right. table. Yeah, we could just it. buy a table, upgrade a plates, you know? Uh we don't need a third plates upgraded. No, we upgrade this? it to auto plater. I think this is it. So you're gonna go all the way in? Ooh, yikes. That extra sink I'm down. is just Hey, live your life. Live your life. Overflow. Cause, Cause, then you can just throw it in here, big A. Yeah, I'm tossing this that in there. I like that. Um, we need an auto grabber right here. That'd be sweet. Yeah, a conveyor. It would. Yeah, a conveyor right here. All right, let's run it. Run let's it. Run it. <laughs> All right, salad fuckers two off to a good start. <laughs> off to something. Make me a tom right off the rip. No. Quite sure there will be a tom. Quite sure, but you never make the tom, and then if we need it, you don't. No, you need a tom. You want a good. tom. Good, good, good. We, have, we need we tom. Have no fucking counter space. We're fine. We're, we're fine. You're we're fine. <laughs> oh my god. I got a tom. Just, yeah, just, just let also... me do my kitchen my way, and yeah, you do just your make thing a tom your way. Off the rip next no, time. no, 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 I will not. Waiter I... calls tom, you should make tom. You should make he, a there was tom no customer the that wanted a tom. But Everybody... You don't know that as a waiter. Yeah, I do, because I can look. I can look at the dining room. I can look into the dining job. room and see. Doing a bit of his job. We need a uh, basic. And now we're going to need a tom and a basic. Okay. On the way. Tom and basic. is going to go up here in just a second. Need a tom. Got it. Tom up. You can watch from outside, I think. Let it come on it. This one's a Tom. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go find it out what his order is until I get a Tom ready. <laughs> Make me a fucking Tom! You don't know what's going on out there. I'm the waiter. It's gonna be a Tom. Make me a Tom. <laughs> It was a Tom! It was a fucking Tom! Tom up! Tom up! Tom up! I need two fucking basics. Two basics up. It's off the roof! It's better to not pre 
jack. Just in case. Free jack the fucking tom. It's faster. Makes the call as the waiter. You just gotta trust the waiter. Okay, I'm gonna trust him. But if we get beans, it's on him. Then you're allowed to dog him, but you gotta trust him. Yeah, but he doesn't trust me in the kitchen to make it. I trust you to make it fresh. When I ask for it, you don't make it fresh. I want to make it fresh for oh, the people. We're worried that salad fuckers isn't fresh. <laughs> yes, I'm very worried. This is my name, my livelihood. Uh, it's my livelihood too, alright? Do you need a basic berry? And Ninja Maker. I can tell one of these guys wants a fucking Tom. I can tell you that. That's why you pre it for me. I love that. Two Toms! I know Tom Sometimes right now. two Toms. And here's the deal. I give you two Toms. Easy peasy. Bring. Done. Good, good, good day out there. Good day. Fun one, too. But in, oh, is there a JMOOC set going on? I'm going to watch immediately after this. <laughs> uh, all right, we're, we're, we're five days in. What, what kind of sink did we get? Or what? No, sorry. What's in the what's in the thing table? Trainers, useless. We got a thing of fancy tablecloth. Okay. All right, fancy's not bad. Money's always good. You guys want to upgrade plates now? No, wait, wait. Table, table simple cloth. What is that? Customers share food. Nice! Nice. Oh, it's a wait. Is it a romance then? It's basically. No. It a says romance. romantic. It is romance. Wait, Where why is it called tablesome oh, cloth? It it it? Maybe we read it wrong the entire time last time. <laughs> oh, maybe actually. Maybe we called it a romance table. Oh, you want to you want to bar top that or? I want to do this. Well, no, you have to have I two tables you. for it. You have to have two seats. I, I trust you. It's only advantageous if there's two seats. Wait, you're yeah. going crazy we'll, we'll with it. Seats. You just have to make it a, a shelf, right? All right yeah, I think what you're looking for is this. Ching, no, ching, no, no, no. And then put Come that back. there. Put it back? Yeah, then I can put clean plates here. I see. But that's... Okay. And then what, you're going to plate to the pass? Yeah. Well. What do we want to upgrade? So I think right here. Corner it, maybe? I think you want the, we want the, we want the seat in the least inconvenient spot, right? Like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. And then that one's off. Bink, bink, bonk. Oh, uh, what do you guys want to upgrade? We have counter, dining table, and sink, and plates. Um, Ooh, counter is the grabber. Table. Is love, counter the grabber? <laughs> or is I would it... love to get a romantic table. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't on board until he said it like that. I think counter's a grabber. No, I actually okay. don't think we should get a romantic table. Ah, uh, cringe. <laughs> is counter a grabber for sure? No, I have uh, no idea. Unknown. Oh, All right, fuck it. We'll run it. We'll get it. it got to be something good. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, we'll see. I'm ready. Feel good about it. Preject me a Tom, please, Chef. <laughs> Heard, Garcon. Because <laughs> I can tell one of these fuckers. Izumo, that's a Tom got all over him. He's healthy. <laughs> they're thinking. They're thinking their fucking sweet time. They're thinking hard. Two Toms, actually. Double Tom. Holy Love moly. that. Don't give, don't give, don't give. Okay, now. Bing, bing. Oh, it's a romance table. Don't even worry about it. Single Tom. Oh, sick. Sorry. Uh, one Tom for this fella, and we already got a preject. Love that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Open floor plan. He's grabbing and fucking washing. The only thing that okay. fucks us right now is double Tom. If it does. Oh, no, because I can do this. Let's go. These guys. The sink. The sink is prep. Uh, they want a, a Tom and a, and a green leaf. Tom and a Jerry. Tom and green leaf. Oh, Tom and a Jerry, Tom and a Jerry. Dude. Dude. Tom and a Jerry up. <laughs> Damn, oh, I, I didn't know he was still here. I do love that. He's got it. Tom and a Jerry. Call him, call him. Oh, he's holding it. Genius. Need a Tom. Okay. Triple Tom, actually. No, nope, actually double. Double Tom it is. Double Tom, double Tom, double Tom. Double, double Tom, Tom it is. Double Tom, double Tom. Double Tom up. You got it. Let's clean this cum. Tom. I got uh, Tom up, Tom up. Tom. Tom up. Tom bow. What's your Tom bow? You got it. Oh, oh, bumpers. <laughs> what do you guys want? Uh, Tom and a Jerry. Tom and a Jerry, up. Wait, wait. wait, so if they want different things at the romance table, it doesn't do oh, it. Oh, that's so strange. Wait, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that is strange. So they can, toms, they don't two have toms. to share. Two, two toms, toms, yeah. Two, uh, two toms up. Got it. That's not coming. Blood. We lost him. Hello? We lost Lud. 
Oh, we beat oh, it? That's all right. You there? Mm -hmm. We're good, we're good. Uh, um, oh, we don't want high standard. We want whatever one doesn't fuck us on the cum. I don't know what it is, though. Formal? You have to leave the streaming room. Affordable. You Affordable makes sense, but room? quickly could be scary. Quickly, quick could be very scary. I, I trust your judgment, Garcon, but formal equals less mess. They make less mess or they tolerate less. If they make less, that's kind of goaty. Affordable means quickly as possible, though, right? And that's, that's a formal means less calm. Affordable means less weight. Formal removes cum at nine tier. Removes uh -huh. it completely? Or removes kind of like, goaty. Let's, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try formal. I mean, that, that could be a great way to handle the cum. If they make too. no cum, I think that means that's great. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, okay, we have 165. Check for the triple. Don't buy anything before we talk about it. Removes. All right. We're going, yeah, it's awesome. Do, like, do no not buy anything until we talk about it. We want the triple affordable. Uh, let's see. I got a, a brand plant. a brand mascot would be sick. I have a two tie. Do you have any three ties over there? Um, no, everything's. No, let's get the two. brand mascot, dude. And then can we one. can we get can we get the what's the cheapest three? Uh, calm painting doubles pages. Oh, that that's one. a beautiful kitchen, Ludwig. Yeah, I love that. Holy shit! Wait, indoor fountain. What's uh, that? Two. A uh, two. No, let's get the brand mascot. Uh, the calm painting is also really good. Actually, I'm not sure that's good because it makes them wait longer to to order. Uh, yeah, but they have double patient. Oh, you might be right. You're actually, you're probably right. No, I, I, I got the mascot. We need one. We need a vase or something. We need like a... A tidy plant for 30? Is that what you need? We'll just put it in there in the office. Would you like me to buy the tidy plant? Uh, no, need, uh what's the cheapest? The tidy plant doesn't give you a... 30? Oh, yeah, tidy plant. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got it. I'm going to put it in the room. Yeah, just prop it in the room next to this dog. <laughs> okay, and then we get the three bonus. We can get the fountain. What is the bonus? Um, that's nice. And a vase. Do we, we do want to get one? both? Or, uh, no, wait, no, wait, what do we upgrade? What do we upgrade? Yes. Wait. Pull it out, pull it out. This is 60 and 30. Wait, that what would is a give us bonus drop patience. Uh, oh, food. double chop speed? That's kind of goady. Just, uh, and that gives us another counter for free, too. Drop it over there. Wait, double chop speed is good for this type of work, right? Because you're chopping all the time. Uh, I think so, right? And it counts as a counter, right? Yeah. 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 I still think we should purchase the vase right now and save the indoor fountain so we have six ties next round. Um, you don't get uh, you don't get more ties till the next star round. No, but we yeah, do. You don't we get... hold it. Oh. We don't get more. We could buy it and then just get. We technically oh, would get hold one, extra. one and buy one. Yeah, because yeah, there's nothing to upgrade, right? So that's fine. That's fine. I like that. Yeah, yeah. run it. Buy the vase. So let's buy the vase. Put it in the room. You can just toss it in the office. It's funny. All our decorations are in the office. <laughs> well, I think it's just like optimization. <laughs> oh, plan is ten percent all patients. That's pretty good. I don't realize. Um, yeah, it's fine. Wait, why'd you put the dog out? I'm down with it, but... It. <laughs> I want people to see the pup. True. Okay, got it, got it. He's a brand got new it. mascot, not the hide True. Scott. I love that. So, so true. The hide Scott, huh? Salad fuckers too. we got that dog in us. Because <laughs> <Right? laughs> we do literally have that dog in us. We I knew you were the dog. marketing guy. <laughs> we got dog. <laughs> Wait, can you not put a plate on chop? Is that true? That's all I can fit. <laughs> Then you I'll can't put this. a plate on shop? That's crazy. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. All right. I'm ready to run. All right, ready. This feels good. Damn. Uh, wait, let me find out. You can't put a plate on shop. You lied you to me, chat. They lied. It's crazy Come that on. we don't have a pre-jack Tom, though, I'm noticing. Uh, because, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I was dealing in chat for lying. <laughs> Honestly, I chopped too Double fast. <laughs> Holy fuck. Double Tom's on the way. Double Tom's ready. Holy shit, I chopped so fast. I'll did worry you, about busting, did... big A, so you can worry about ordering. I love that. Sometimes you got a double bus though, just because uh, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call. I need a uh, green leaf. Jerry, green Jerry. leaf up. Uh, romance table would like uh, Tom. Let me see if it doubles up. It should double. I Tom up. Tom it does, up. It does, it does. If they're double Tom, yeah, it's a doubles up. Got it. We need two Toms. Two Toms, please. Two Toms. Two Toms. Cats. There's one. Two There's Toms. Two. No Jerry. Sorry. These guys would like a uh, mix. Split. Split. Split up. Split decision. Split decision is ready, Chef. I'll uh, just finish it off, look. Uh, I guess I'll wait. Right. You can't put it in if I finish it off. Yeah, no, but. Call what you need if you need it. Uh, we're going to need a screen leaf and a Tom. Tom and a Jer. Tom and a Jer. Did you get them both? Yeah, we Tom's got out. Still need a Jer. We got a. Jer, Jer, Jer's up. Split Jer's bus, up. Split bus, split bus. Uh, start washing. I'll get the last one in. 
Okay. Do you need a chair or do you not need a chair? We don't need anything yet. No one's open. Okay. Uh, these guys are going to order here at the bottom. Oh. Uh, we need a single uh, chair. Single, single chair? chair? Now oh, we need a Tommy chair. Tommy chair. Tommy chair. Tommy chair. Tommy chair. Chair, chair coming. Bring the chair. Jair's here. Uh, Jair's ready. Jair's ready. We need a Tom, 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 Tom. Got it. Now we need a bus. Oh, the cops getting out of control. I, uh, I can come out if you need to. I, I pre jacked a bunch of salads. I can, I can no, come no, out. You need me to come out? I'll wash. I'll wash. I'll wash. No, I'll grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab this. Grab this. There you go. All right. This will be a Tom, I'm sure. One Tom, two Tom. Uh, Tom, one up. Tom, two coming. Tom, 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 two ready. I take romance. Romance on. No big deal. Uh, all right, sick. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. Good. Nice good moves. Good moves. Nice well day, done. Nice day. Nice day. We gotta Ooh. get rid of this comb though. That's our only. It's gonna be a big problem. Yeah. So that's why we need nine we ties. Nine, that's gonna nine, be nine ties. Which is why we saved it, right? So we do buy. I think Ludwig's idea to get to fast nine ties is hype. Yeah. Well, it gets fast six. Uh, earn twenty five percent less money is terrible. Potato I, give salad. Give me the. Though. Give me this. Give me the potato salad, baby. Uh, What's money? Potato salad. Potato salad or no guts. Hell yeah! Potato salad or no guts. It's like Kuno's trying to make us throw, dude. We always throw when we add new items. Potato he wants us to throw no so he guts. can join and be the hero, which I also respect. <laughs> Come on, guys. Potato, Potato salad, salad? That's not even hard. That's not even a hard one, really. Well, we have to do it now. <laughs> I think you guys Potato. We have 30% less to customers, now. too, which is hype. Yeah, yeah. It's so few customers, it's no problem. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, all right. So we got Tom, we got Jerry, and what we call potato salad. Uh, what's the third character in that? Um, the bulldog. What's his name? Famously, there's you no know what third, third character. character is the viewer. You want me to call it the uh. viewer? <laughs> <laughs> One so viewer, cringe. not the potato salad. Um, <laughs> thought it was cooler in my head. Yeah. <laughs> That's the zany sidekick. Wait, what is this? We got a bunch of new stuff. Oh, it's potato salad stuff. Oh it's potato God. salad stuff. That's a lot of potato salad stuff, bro. They just shipped an entire FEMA <laughs> drop. <laughs> um. Okay, so we won't be able to call anyone. That's fine, because Ludwig, I think you're gonna have to pre-jack. We're some gonna lose haters. so hard. No, we're dude. not. We're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. We're doing, we're doing one food. It's you, Sans. Okay, I'm done. There's no way this kitchen's too big. Ludwig, you gotta get in there and help cook potato salad. I can do it. I can do it. Bro, hot potato add oh, to water in a pot and this, boil. Crack the egg and add of you both will bring us. Actually, yeah. Use. I mean, I, I want him. I'm down for him to pre-jack it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, oh, I, what's eggs. the thing where you can put things in? If we upgrade the counter, does it do that? Uh, it's the, um, oh, fuck, what is it called? Dish rack. I, mean, I think you can get well. it raw, right? If we roll. Wait, do we have a second sink? What happened to it? I have it. I'm going to put the, um, the oil in this. Dining table. So we don't have to waste a counter. Do we need a fourth table? Oh, yes, that's fine. we do. I have, I have this. No, we okay, don't. great. I'm going to, I'm going to boil. <laughs> no, we don't. We have I'm going to chop a potato. I'm going to. Six seats. Yeah. Crack it and have all of it. i head here, but I guess we don't need it right now. I am a reroll. What? Holy shit. We only have 84. That's a, that's a big chunk of our money. That's 10. Yeah, I know. But they This get... counter might be helpful for me. Are you down to let me rock it? Yeah. Well, what was that counter for? You for the kitchen because we have a million things to make. <laughs> Sorry, this is it's getting a little confusing in here. <laughs> is the, the one in the bottom right seems harder. What? This thing seems harder. Yeah, it is because this is here. Because it's harder to stack your plates, but I don't know how to fix that. No, I mean like this dish. Yeah, it's way harder. So let me do salads. Chat, what do okay, I call potato salad? salad? But you're also a busser, and that. Yeah, oh, so swap, oh, you want to swap, swap it? Swap everything. the two? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Swap everything. Oh, that's that's big. Yo, I think a dish rack would be fucking. Okay, uh, this is a fast chopper. You're gonna love it. <laughs> you're gonna like the way you look. <laughs> I guarantee it. Yes. Whoa! Did you see that? What? What? You can glitch through the wall. Look at this. Oh, if you drop an item, but you can't drop an item during <laughs> yeah, during mode. Hyped, that's though. that's innovative though. That's a speed my speed runner, dude. Okay, now you can put this back in here. Um, the counter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, Chad, I got you. Uh, what is this double sink situation? Oh, I need one. I need one for my oil. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I no, don't no, 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 love. No. no, give me the sink in top right. Sink in top. So, uh, I got it. I got it. This. I love the plates being here. I think we should have four spots to drop. Well, you need a place to put the plates down and wash them. And look how yeah, poor the kitchen yeah, is. Yeah. So that has to be done out here. Like, you have to bust and clean out here and then drop the plates from out here in here. Because oh. there's no way to do it. There's just no room. 
Prep station upgrades to its own frozen prep. That does it. All right. Okay, let me look at one more time. Chop potato, add water to pot. Oh, but how can... Oh, I need to add water to pot. Did you move my sink? Oh, yeah, I did. You need that sink. That's fine. Fuck, you need a sink too? You don't need it. What do you need a sink I, for? I just have no counter space. Why do you need a sink? No, I, I wanted a counter spot. Oh, you have very little counter space. That's actually going to fuck you. I have one counter spot. Uh-oh. I, I, I only have enough to do one thing, right? Yeah, we're gonna need multiple yeah, you salads. Can, well, you can. That's actually yeah, really bad. That's really bad. Um, All right, let's roll. Well, no, we got no, to no, fix no. it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good point. Okay, let's what roll, you can baby. do is you can make a tom <laughs> salad and put it in the sink. No, because I need it for water. I fucking roll. Oh, we didn't get shit. Scrubbing, Robin brush scrubbing is brush not bad. Double U. Yeah, it's a huge W for the big sink. Um. Okay, I think if you pre-jack a couple salads, I'm gonna pre-jack the potato salad, and then I can do salads as well. I think as long as do we get need a good all start. that counter space. No, take one more. Okay, that's pretty good. You happy with this? I hate the you plates this? in the in this key spot, but that's Doesn't a little better. Bigger. I can drop in the sink directly. No, because I might be using the sink for my oil. This is your sink. Is this the four man four squad? Yeah, okay. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, we can run it. I'm scared. <laughs> Who has the scrubber? Did we buy it? Yeah. Do you have it? it? Are you cleaning HR? I well. I think HR. I think you're gonna have to also wash the dishes. No, because I if if I am holding the scrubber, I will drop it on a table in a key moment. You okay, will. then Ludwig uh, preject, but then preject because I need closer. two hands. I need both hands to grab two. I'll, grab, I'll go grab it. I'll go grab it. No, no, yeah, but don't, yeah, it's too far to start because you need to also preject these. Put it right here. So grab it from right there. Yeah, easy. I'll start by we researching. Wait, oh, we research. Have, we have, what are we upgrading? Are we upgrading anything? We have Porsche nothing to upgrade. God damn. All right. Let's reroll so we can upgrade. Oh, Porsche. Wait, what is. Wait, Porsche. That's is that, absolutely that be not good? a good idea to reroll? Wait, 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 wait. Automatically perform move item on things placed in front of it. What does that What does that mean? Oh, I think it's I if you know. put a pizza on it, it'll cut it. Something like that? Ah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Portioner would work for potato salad, chat's saying. Wait, let me check. Chop potato, add water to pot and boil. Right, Crack we'll, an egg and add olive oil. Will it add egg? I don't know. We're going to hold it for now because we have nothing else to hold anyway. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Okay, right, I'm ready. Roll. Let's roll. This is going to be tough. Wait, wait, wait. Get your scrub. No, no, no. Your... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my God. Get in battle up. stations. Let's Holy go, baby. fuck. Salad fuckers, too. We got dog. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, that's my name. <laughs> No more avocado, the Bali. Welcome okay, to the Okay, sorry, restaurant. sorry. I boil, I boil these and then crack an egg pause. and add olive oil. I pause it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Crack an egg. Whoa. Two, two, sa two Irish jigs, please. What, what is an Irish jig? It's a potato salad. Sorry, what happens after crack an egg <laughs> and then combine all three on a plate? <laughs> potato salad up. Uh, that makes one? I need two. <laughs> Oh, what? what did Sakuna get us into? I thought it would make more. I thought it would make way more. All right, oh, Sakuna! Yeah, Tom and an Irish jig. Tom, ready? <laughs> uh, second Tom's one's up. up. Second one's up. Second one's up. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, Wait, no. they're not taking it. It's not, it's not, it's not done. I got it. I got it. You, didn't, you didn't put it on. No, it's not done. I didn't. I did put it on. Oh you're, yeah, you're missing something. We're you're missing something. What, what am I missing? What am I missing? I don't, I don't know, know, but these guys are gonna leave. <laughs> All of them? I actually have no idea what I'm missing. <laughs> Chef. They oh, oh onions. Jig. Chop onions. Oh, my God. What an insane item. <laughs> There's ready. Holy oh, no. shit. And it makes so little. <laughs> Dude, I can't <laughs> even put this down. <laughs> oh, no. Give me the fucking onions. <laughs> I need one more. Need a Tom and an Irish jig. Tom's up. Crying. Need a little taste of Ireland over here. I got no space, dude. I got none. I got no space. Bro, two there. more Irish jigs, by the way, at the bottom. There <laughs> we go. Oh, that's, not, that's not done. That Irish jig is not done, done dude. dude. Why, what, it looks like it. slop. I can't even tell what it's done. It's like absolute slop. What are you making in there? Oh, no. These people have to eat this? We got a bus, Ludwig. We got a bus on top left. Ludwig, you got a bus. <laughs> oh, over. Oh, it ain't over till it's over, baby. Oh, it ain't Tom. over till it's hey, over. Hey, make a Tom, salad man. Oh, we need to <laughs> fucking Irish to? I'm talking to the salad okay, guy. Okay, okay, okay. Give me an Irish oh. drink. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> Kudo sends it. his regards. <laughs> oh, ah! Holy oh. shit. Oh, that was tough. Bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sakura said, <laughs> Sakura said do math or you're a pussy. And we all said, oh, that would be cool. <laughs> we fucking, uh, we shot up right there, dude. We had no fucking uh, principles. Ooh, we got a wash basin. A starting wash basin is goaded for the run. That's awesome. All right, last run. Last run. Okay, right. okay last run. This is goaded run. Goaded run. Let's you guys want to do the plain burger gambit? Come We're on, good baby. at plain burger. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, bring, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> All right, oh. let's try and give us a nice. I like this one. This is. This is what uh, we we also have wash basin. This is huge. We got a wash basin. We got burgers. Burger fuckers to the moon, baby. Mm. We, uh, we we don't need candles, do we? Or we, we can't do the upgrade kit because we already. This is already upgraded, right? Oh no, wash basin's upgradable. If you drop that, what happens on there? I can't. We can't take. I think you have to hit X. Can you can you merge them? That is what yours is an upgrader. I can't do it. Wait, drop it. What does it do? Yeah, you can. Uh, no, the, the upgrader. What is? Sorry, I can't read this. Just um, drop it right here. Combine right? with a plus crate to upgrade it. Just combine it. No, you can't drop it on this. This is, a, oh, this is an drop upgrade it item. On this it. thing. Oh, yeah. Well, we can take it off. Oh, put it at the top. We can put it at the top. Okay. okay. No. Oh, put it in. Put it on. Put it on the one. Put it on the. Oh, what a oh, stupid mechanic. Just let me fucking... Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Just let me merge it. Oh! Dishwasher! dishwasher. Yeah, All right, we automate. We're going full Elon Musk. We go full Elon Musk from the beginning. And okay. Free candle box, right? Why not? Because uh, it takes up space and it's not... Oh, it's up to you. You're the garçon. You have to what set What is up. it? Place on table to increase all patients by 20%. We don't need patients on tables ever. Not only. We only need patients on the, on the outside. Oh. Give them candles. <sighs> Okay, by the um, by the you desk. Know, we should sure. almost like fucking. Oh, wait, this is such a small restaurant. Yeah, but we're only doing fucking plain burgers, and we yeah. have a dishwasher, which is kind of good. Is there any way we could make the fucking over here the restaurant? <laughs> or, yeah, you like, can just swap rooms. But make, why would that be? Can better? we make That's the worse. top left your kitchen? <laughs> yes, actually, I I love the way you're thinking. No, no, I it actually think sense. you might be the it goat. Doesn't make sense. No, 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 sense. no, no. It makes sense. It doesn't it's sense. only plain burgers. We should maximize other space, no? Have uh, two dining rooms. <laughs> maybe later, but uh, right now you want to have the serving. You have to have four tiles for serving, right? I don't know. I trust you. Well, there's no door over there. This is why this is dumb. Okay. There's one yeah, door over back, here. Go back, go back. There's one door. We, 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 we could lock them in the top left. For customers. We have to walk through the kitchen. That's fine. No, they'd walk I this way. It, the, if the dining table's to the right, they'd have to walk it like this. Um, well, that's we're talking about two. I think the far right room would be empty right now. That's fine. Let's just do the office. We'll just, we'll just yeah. Let's give. Put this one. One. Oh, hmm. Move this. One second. You're the. I'm bun trying to think if me. if I can go sicko mode. This lets me drop three. Kind of in a weird way though. When can we get bigger group sizes? That's what I want. Are you are you uh, plating for me? What is, this thing? what is this thing? What? How do you how do you want to do this? I feel like we're not talking. This is the dishwasher. He's making a name. Oh, this is something we didn't open. Booking desk. Don't need that. We need a research desk. Where's we that? We need that. Yeah, it's free. It's free. Booking desk is free. Please buy it. We forgot some. Yeah, but we need a research desk. Where's that? That's no, round two. We get, get research desk. Oh, uh, you can't. Uh, that's too much mess uh, if it's the table up there. I also, we're serving at the sand, bottom. Sand, sand, sand. You should get yeah. this plate. This dishwasher should be for you, for you. Okay, sure. As a okay. plate. What is this thing right here? That is a, That's dishwasher. a dishwasher. Uh, move that table up top to the bottom because it's getting extra mess. Oh, we don't have the fast burner. That's kind of a bummer. Wait, so when I dishwash, where does it go? Does it go to this plate? No, you have to pull it out and put it in. You hit the button. You put them in, you hit X to start it. Wait, what? I'm, oh. I, want to, I want to try an outside gambit. Oh. Okay. All right. There's no difference. Could be in the future, as we automate. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm good. Wait, could we double outside gambit? How does that help? If you want. Just less space uh, for us. I think you are the one who doesn't need space, though. So the outside gambit only it doesn't make any sense. Okay, hey, I'm hey, just, I'm hey, just hey, to get hey right. we're just trying out stuff, but 
end of the day, we're making plain burgers and giving them to plain folk, you know? We don't gotta Okay, be careful. It. You can start the dishwasher again when there's plates in it. So don't clean plates twice. I would say the dishwasher is worse. Plates are way too far. Plates are way, way, way too far. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Uh, we um, need two, uh, two plain birds. <laughs> yeah, the only thing we have, to be clear. Yeah, it's not as fun when there's no other options now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, <laughs> to be clear. Dishwasher probably sucks ass where to scrub your brush. Drop it. I'll wash. Oh, there's... Okay. That is slow. Yeah, but it does four. Once we get more plates, we'll be fine. This is dumb slow and Bro, dumb that is bad. slow. Any, any callers? Any callers? Oh, it's raining. Oh, we're going to lose. <laughs> well, why'd you call four? Because I it just started raining as I was fucking doing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, I can, I can pre-jack. We're good. I'm pre-jacking. I need a burger. Gonna need plates. Gonna need plates ASAP. Thank you. I'll, I'll grab. I'll grab. I'll grab one. Yeah, you get that. You got a fucking insta-bus. We just need more plates so the dishwasher is actually efficient. Yeah. With eight plates, it's, it's better, but we'd be faster for now. I also just use it as a rack to just hold the some. dishes. Oh, interesting. But then that's such a waste of... <laughs> well, well. Just... Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like the ingenuity. The ninjinuity, I call it. Mm. You've been watching his master class. Oh, prep station. Huh? Prep station. Uh, research desk. I'm going to grab it. Is that cool? Yeah. We need it. It's free, right? Oh, okay. No, it's 40, but we okay. need it. We are broke. Dining table. Yeah, we'll pay too. Um, okay. Romance. Romance. I think a little romance. Prep station's probably better. Uh, I don't think frozen prep station is that good because it's only plain burgers. It's only plain burgers. Counter could be good. We always use counter space, but... I think I'm going to keep this open and I will clean... What are the dishes? options for... Yeah, frozen prep is okay, but it's just plain burger. Plain burgers are fast as fuck. Sorry, say again, you're gonna leave it open? I'm, I'm down with that. Maybe sink goes out here. If you're forced into something else, then prep station is good, but we've never been forced into anything else when we really force plain burgers. But how do we get, how do you get plates back to stands? Can you put the plates in Exodus? Yeah, which, which side, lower or higher? Higher. Can you hit that? You can't hit that. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can hit that. I can hit that, Yang. You can hit that. Okay, and that's <laughs> where you guys want to, what are we upgrading? Enough? Dining table? Okay, I'm down, I'm down. All right, boot it. Ready. All right. Give it a ring, too. A rain, rain ring? ring? One rain, rain ring for the fans. Kitchen's getting dirty. Um. Thank you for the plates. Midnight's here. Midnight. Midnight. A definite top 20 stands mod. Damn. Okay, I do like the idea of just using the dishwasher as a rack. I think it's for now. Yeah, we'll later we can make place. it better. But like, if you get a scrubbing brush, it'll still be fucking 80 times faster. Oh my. A quadro rain, rain. rain. Quadro rain rain? We need money. Yeah. Stop grabbing without plates. I didn't even know this surge is here to be honest. You didn't even notice what? Someone's like, why didn't he greet surge like that? I didn't see surge. Alright, alright, alright. That was good. That was good. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. That's a flow state. That's we a flow are state. One trick burger users. Yeah, we, we <laughs> It's where we shine for sure. Oh, uh, scrubbing brush possibility? Let's see what kind of table we got. Bar table. No. Yeah. Bar bar table's bar. Fine. Do um, you want me to buy plates or upgrade plates? Uh, we should buy that. Okay, I'm done. And do you want it? You want it where it was, right there? Uh, should we set up the bar table instead of the dishwasher? Because I can just do this. Uh, I can also serve bar table. Put it bottom. But bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah, yeah. I can just serve that there. Gotta buy it. 
Not an issue for me. Like oh, wait, cause this, can the seat not go anywhere? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's fine. And the seat over here, though, right? No, 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 you can, you have to, I don't oh, think it does, you can only door. go up. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, No, we can't so do that. Just put it up. Can't no, put I can serve it, it's fine. Cause I need that table, that's, that's, that's No, you can stand right there, space. it stands the same spot. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, oh, I see kind of what you're talking about. I see kind of what you're talking about. Maybe do this, that's better. But then I can't serve it. Can you move that counter space above you or something? This one? Mm. Or yeah, yeah. Sure, I can serve it. No, we need to have two counter spaces for the waiter. For Ooh. sure. Yeah, that's fair. Then maybe just move this 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 one right here. You can get two. You can do two and I'll just do this. No, no? no just put one, put one in the corner up here. Just, if you put one up right here, Sans, <clears throat> not you. HR, put, put that back where it was. Uh, everyone's grabbing things. I don't get it. I can't go through, <laughs> but put both <laughs> tables here. I don't and know what you want up, from me. The one up to your right. Compliments to the chef in my plane. I, right. I, I I have no idea what's happening. To your right. Up. There's a counter. And then put that left. Um, I don't think you have to be able to serve this. We can just put this plate uh, bar table I, down I, here. I think you can put that one up here, stands where there's an empty hole. And then you yeah, can and then we just had it at the table right here. That's fine. But then he that the whole no. problem was HX said he needs more. You can't do it. Yeah, he has I need two counter spaces. Uh, okay. I'll let you guys. This I'll is, let you guys do, figure it out. So okay, okay, we can do this. Oh no, you, you can't. can't you can't. Door. You can't block the door. So we thought, but. Uh, I I think a human doesn't stop you from grabbing. Right. I mean, this is kind of fine, I guess. But yeah, all right, this is fine. We could try it. I think we'll. we'll yeah, my only issue is plates are kind of far, and that kind of fucks. Here's the me deal, though. I have to go down here, grab a plate, four, come over here. You can put the four wherever you want. Why well, don't we have yeah, the but, dishwasher? But no, because like... you have to reload it. I can't, because you're yeah. the only one who can reload it. Well, you can reload it. No, I can't grab from the dishwasher. You can grab from the eight to put it to the four if you want. I can restock the eight. I think this is Goaty. I'm fine with this. But no, then we lose a table for him. What? Hmm. I see what you're saying. Like, you mean do something Shift like this? counters down one. Shift both counters down one. Then he can't serve the bar table. I mean, you could do this. I can serve that. And then move the plate. You can serve that? I can serve that. Easy. Hmm. That's not and then bad. You put your dirty dishes there. Yeah. He's just messy, though. Messes up, for sure. Oh, because of sink? Yeah, because of sink. No, no, no way. it's got to be near. Yeah, I mean, it's better to be messy and close. Because you're going to have to restock Wait, these Wait, what if I put this down here? I put this down here. Like right here. Hey, take your scrubbing brush too, probably. Oh, we have a scrubbing brush? Yeah, it's right here. Get that. You give, that to, give that to a load. Yeah, I can't drop it over. Uh, there you go. We can't afford it? Upgrade it. Save it. We need that. 20. We can, we can, buy, we can buy a scrubbing brush. It's 20. Oh, just, just buy it then. Yeah. Easy clap. It cleans the floor faster. This ain't bad. Oh, I, I I'd probably it. just move the bar table down. I don't know. What are you upgrading? Do you want to upgrade counter? Uh, Maybe sink? To get a what, what can counter give us? What are the two options for counter? Uh, I don't know. Wish I could see the tech tree. Chopping? It's like faster chopping and... Faster chopping, I, it would be a throw. But the other one, I don't know if the other one's conveyor. No, I think conveyor comes from something else now, I'm thinking. Freezer and fast chop. Freezer sucks. Um, so yeah, we don't upgrade counter. Dining table, put it in. Okay. We're gonna need four anyway. Gimme. All right, boys. Okay, there's a base item. All right, it's ready up. Let's run it and gun it. I would love Danger Hob too. What's Danger Hob? The one that cooks twice as fast, burns twice as fast. Because I just helped this. Don't forget your brush. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, they're what coming. But I don't love it. Oh no shit! Wait, oh, it actually doesn't work at all. Uh oh. Where do I get the hide back there? Maybe I don't know. Do you want me to grab that one? You want me to? I can. I can serve that, man. Oh no. Damn, we didn't think about that at all. What did you not think about? Oh, sorry. Whenever a person sees that table, it just straight blocks. Mm. Burger up top. Come in, burger up top. I got it. I got it. Just keep making burgers. Oh, no. Okay. I'll just keep making burgers. 
Dude, the, the comp plus the far play is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Well, I guess this is doing fine. Come, come, come. We scrubber. all fight our own battles. Can you scrubber that? That come over there? Nope. <laughs> it would be awesome if you could scrub it, though. They have that potato salad, though. It was oh, awesome, dude. Thank it went you. Went awful. Oh, nice. I knew you guys would be able. <laughs> no, to do it. we made so much money. We it's made like no we money. We collapsed so immediately. Oh. Come. Well, these things happen. <laughs> <laughs> these things happen. All right. Okay. Right. Yeah, but plates far and come is an issue for me. But other than that, we're good. I feel like the bar counter is m more hurtful than helpful. Okay, then let's let's put it somewhere else. Yeah. Just put it against a wall somewhere. Do it. Use it as a normal bottom. table. Um, no cheese board. We have to make less money. I just don't. Okay. We don't fuck it with a burger. <laughs> we don't do burgers and cheese. You know what? Let me change the restaurant name. <laughs> what did we upgrade up there? Oh, no. oh shit. What is a metal table? 50% less food and patience. So we rotate through them fast? Hmm. Um, sides are optional. We don't have any sides. I don't know if that was good or bad. Metal table's bad for us. Uh, hmm. We can grab a second scrubber. We can grab another counter. We could upgrade a sink and print. No, we have two sinks. We could upgrade a hob. Good. Seems like a bit of a re-roll. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. Mm, what's a metal table? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't re-roll yet. Don't re-roll yet. What is this? Sides are optional. It doesn't do anything for the game, right? I think, yeah. I mean, was it the only thing we had? Oh! Well, he's... Uh, okay. How do we want to do this? How do we want to set I up this restaurant for success? Right the problem is... Well, we do want it. We still want another table. We just can't optimize our... I think we may have to get to a world where the kitchen is all in the top left. I legitimately... There is think. a world where, Ludwig, you plate instead of me. And I just put done burgers up here. And you're just washing and plating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What is an upgraded oven? Could that help us at all? Can this counter turn into a door or no? Uh, which counter? Right here. Do I no. I... The double wides, no. No, no. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is happening? What, that's going to be I'm a... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. Clock. If you're going to play, I think you want to be that? close. What about this? This works. Be close. Bing, bang. Uh... No, because how are you going to grab my done plates that are way over here? Huh? Yeah, people are going to sit there. You could put it in the... Also, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I kind of like that. Go back right to the corner. Like, uh... Like, corner, just, but... Yeah, yeah, it goes right the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, pretty good. Okay, are you down to plate and wash, Lud? Is that too much work? Hmm. Well, he's got uh, a scrubber. Can we get the small plates, then? And then put them in this bottom right corner, and then Atrioc could use the small plates when he needs. Oh, oh I see he can plate as well. Okay, both dirty, you guys The problem is getting dirty plates to this dishwasher. Yeah. With this as an obstacle. So I almost think like this is better. Just make it a one-seater down there or some down shit. Here. Yeah, or that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think I completely agree with you. Mm, okay. It, it, it opens up the world. Here's the thing. You kind of want the dishes to be... I can't pick it up. Oh. Hey. Here. So I can... Yeah. Yeah. That works. Oh, you can move the sink closer than two. Might as well. Brink, brink. There we go. All right, so we're just saving wellies. I think that's good. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's run it. Boat. Burgers. Burgers. <laughs> Plain burger fuckers. <laughs> now, you have a wand too, right? Make sure you oh, yeah, get wand it up. We got to plate these. Oh, are we no, plating them you, now? You have to plate them. You have to plate them, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm not used to that. Yeah, this is the new meta. This also would mean if we did have to, if we got forced to add something, I think I could do it, because all I have to do is cook. I don't have to plate. Like, born to shit, forced to wipe, you know? Born to shit, forced to wipe straight up. We can pre-jack all these tables with birds. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> well, what we're actually, what I think we can do is swap the cum. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Hey, Tiki. I need to swap the car. Baby. I fucking love this. I'd like to get your promotion. I can promote you to cum swabber. Because you have the cum swabbing tool. Wait, are we actually getting nasty here? I feel like this is the easiest run yet, and we called a ton of people. Yeah. We've called one. Oh. This is a tight slur. I got my brother a born to ship forced to wipe shirt for his birthday. That's hype, chat. Oh, dude, you gotta. I think. Man, I'm worried about this. What? Uh, you know. You have Welly's next turn, bro. Ejaculate was big. You, you have, have Welly's next turn, straight up. Yeah, you gotta do it. Couple Welly's will do the body good. Oh. Well, this is hype. I actually. Okay. We have, a, we have a little something. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, don't buy anything until we look, even Welly's, just in case there's something goaded. Nope. Just Welly's in case there's something goaded. No, don't just just wait half a second. Wellies for the fans. Okay, instant Wellies, instant Wellies, instant Wellies. Uh, you could also we could get upgrade plates, get an auto plater, and then I could plate some. You know, like all of a sudden, where everything's getting plated easier. I do like having some pre-plated. Pre romance table. Romance table. Oh, I hate, just buy the regular table. Uh, I hate romance, romance table. For the we always go for it, and I think it's a throw. It's not well, a throw. It's we never get it. We got metal table and we fucking that sold means it. That so we Have we ever gambled? We're, we're due. So we're so due. We're due. I've never been more due, due in our lives. All right. Whatever we're you guys want. We're due for a little romance. <laughs> Don't forget your scrubber. And I won't forget my wellies. <laughs> we got a fancy tablecloth. Not bad. Nice. Isn't that isn't that romance kind of sometimes? I don't get it's, it. It's no, it's it's money. Money. it gives extra money. Oh, uh, versus dining cloth or whatever. Born to shit, forced to wipe. the dishwasher oh you you oh we ran it oh we ran the dishwasher uh -oh. the clean button is the same yikes all right oh, so much cum. Wait, the cum's out of control. yeah we're gonna need you have wellies we need it's lud's the only issue right i know but if it slows down a little bit i bump into him Saved by the fact that this is such an easy thing to make. <laughs> uh, no, but I think actually I'm the one that has the most time. I can I can do anything. I'm just literally pre-jacking infinite hamburgers and waiting. If I had to add onions or cheese, I don't think it would be hard. My dog's pretty You said that every single time. And every time we add something, we always lose on the first round. Mm, only when it's a hard thing like it's like Kuno forces us. <laughs> I can't get the last burger. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, oh, he can't. Oh, he's coming. Oh, there's too much coming. Uh -huh. I know, they're pushing me out the restaurant trying to get it. <laughs> Conveyors would be hype. We get a little sushi burger restaurant style, you know? I would visit your place, but your place is kind of dirty. <laughs> Don't fucking come. Wait, wait, which one helps? Standards aren't as important, or people wait a long time? Which one's better? A uh, long time. Exclusive. Right? We've never done charming. All right, fuck it. Standards aren't as important to us. I'll give you that. We're going to charm them. Enter. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Uh, bookcase, calm painting, barrel is one house, fireplace is two houses. I have a two house. What does the rug do? Is it no come? Highly flammable no, notes like one. Was, uh... The biggest we have is two. Plant might be good too for a patience or something. I don't know. Barrel is two for a hundo. 
Fireplace is two for a hundo. Uh, that sucks. We can only get two. Well, I guess we I guess we buy two, save one, so we can get three as close as soon as possible. Wait, wait, fireplace sucks. A hundred for two. Uh, there's I guess there's right, no there's three. Th there's no three for these. Yeah, I know, but barrels just more cheaper, effective. Yeah, it's eighty one for is two. One cheaper. Oh, you want to just um, fit? Oh, we have to fit as many little ones as we can. Is the efficient way to do it. It is the efficient way. Well, to we do have it. this office is a big space, so let's just get a bunch of ones then. We'll get the rug. So we should buy. Yeah, we should buy like a barrel and. A... We should buy rug, calm painting, and no wait, we we have to get three, so we, we have to buy. Case and wait. We don't have to. We can save one. Oh, yeah, sorry. buy bookcase and rug and save comp painting, right? No. No, comp painting doesn't do shit. Uh, it's um. No, then we have to buy a two. We have to buy a two. Well, we can't afford a two. We'll save, save it, it two. Just save it. We'll save it two. So what's this? We'll save the fire. Tablecloth fancy. Oh, we need tablecloth fancy. It's um. Customers pay fifty percent more. Are we gonna buy this? Yeah. Buy it now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So even with the comm issue. Bar table. Should we, keep uh, we should make it the close one. There you go. Yeah, make it the closest one, and then, and then make that a one-seater. No. You can't walk no. through that. You make it the corner, then? And make it the only two-seater? I mean, no, no. Sorry. No, we, like need, we need at least two two-seaters, or we're going to get... Uh, I trust you guys to figure out your kid, your thing. <laughs> All right, let's think here. I can move my shit Wait, out. why is my shit fucking orange? Fugly orange. <laughs> I want fugly orange. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Uh, this single bar table on the bottom left makes no sense. Let's let's rearrange here. Rearrange. We definitely don't need a three. -er. Okay. Wait, that's kind of goaded. What? Remove this. Can they even get in though? I have no idea. Um, no. What well, does it matter if they can or can't get in? They'll Are figure sure? it out. They'll get there. Will they get there? Yeah. They, or will we lose because they're waiting because they can't get in? They just tumble for a bit, but they get there. The problem yeah. is if we can get there. You're, you're gonna make no, a fucking. We can... What is? What is? That, what is? That, the... That's insane. I think that's terrible. No, I'm I'm hiding it. Oh, hiding oh it? I, I love it. Actually, three. I think you're a genius, smart savant. I'll just change your tune. Okay. I was wrong, and you were right. Damn, we just have a small ass restaurant. Well, we have to make use of some of this kitchen up here. Here, but we can put up. Give me a bar up Bro, in here. Just put a table up here. Myself. Just put a table well, up no, here. Well, no, because then I need, I need plates. I need plates. You have plates right here. I can't reach them. You can't reach those? No, I have to go outside. Door, well, I guess could. I could go outside. I could go outside. Yeah, do it. Give me a table. Give me a table. Fuck I it. I think we need it. Well, I'm a little worried about cum, but well, let's give him the bar table then. Yeah, go bar table. I guess you have to pick up the order. Okay. If we move plates down one, then it's harder to um, for them to grab. I don't know. <laughs> That's up to you guys. I think they would bump each other while plating. No, I like the the brown. Wait, what, is that, what is that? What is that? What does the dead fish mean? Uh, uh, increased mess. You're gonna have a cummy filled kitchen. No, no, I'll just put them far away. I kind of like this blue. What do you think, a truck? Yeah, I'm done. There you go. No, no cum kitchen. I like the blue. Shouldn't you have them face away so it okay, doesn't but, come on you? Sure. Think about this. You're gonna have to go up there with a burger, then get okay, the actually, plate, yeah, a... bring it back, get it washed. The washing's all done over so here. So what if what if we do do plate right here? Is plate right here gonna fuck you guys? On uh, grabbing burgers, probably it is. Yeah, 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 for sure. What we can do is this then, and then just pray we don't need more than four, or you can restock me or something. Can we yeah. move the washing into the top of this kitchen? Then the door is the issue. Uh, Being able to bus and wash was the goat. Well, look, if I have wellies, I can do all the serving if you guys get rid of both doors and have a fucking quad, but quad counter. As well? Like counter but up here, no, counter down here, and then... No, but then the problem is you'd have to bust dishes, and I think that's hard and bad. Well, I actually have to, No, I actually have to pick them up and pop, pop them over here into the... Like return to you guys plating when you drop the burgers. I'm worried. But I want you to live. Okay, your here's what life. I'm trying to say: is like we're we're not gonna be able to expand the amount of tables we have. We're already at our limit, <laughs> so we need to find yeah. a way to rearrange this restaurant. And I think if we move all washing to top of the kitchen, so it's bottom half cooking, top half washing. Mm -hmm. And and I have wellies and everything's just cummy out here, and I'm just doing what we did in the Burger Fuckers episode. Is that crazy? Love where where is your head at? 
It's just the door I'm worried about with Ludwig. Having to bust and come all the way back in here. No, there would be no door. He'd be in the top right. Fucking Is Ludwig here? He, we have to have we have to have two people out there. I don't think one person can do the whole thing. Can they? I mean, we did it the first time. I did all the... Yeah, it's just a different shape. Because if you're plating... I think, I think Lud's not listening. <laughs> he might be I'm ready. Powerful. No, you're not ready. We're, we're talking. No, I, I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can clean and do anything. <laughs> Yeah, but what do you want? Wait, you, you hear what I'm we're worried to do? about this. I'm worried about this. I don't like it. It's a bit fog. <laughs> hear me out. All right. This is a bar table right here on this the door. The dishwasher kind of sucks. Yeah, use dishwasher as counter that I can just drop dishes into. Fuck, how do I do this? What are you doing? Just putting us next to the door. I'm trying to. Oh my god, he's having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. There it is. Uh, you can drop dishes, wash your dish rack if you want. Oh shit. What does he have? What's... Yeah, bring that out. Trevor, got it, got it, got it. Put this up here. Put that back on the door. You can even put it inside. Yeah, all right, so here we are. So, like, yeah, this is pretty good. The whole outdoors is going to be... You can do two in the top. Yeah, you're just right. Remove that. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, there's a plant in the way. You can, it just replaces it if you grab A. Okay. Hmm. Remove the third. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, the bottom what, one, yeah. What's the fucking button? Hold X. Yeah. Hold Oh, uh, whatever it is. Oh. It's O. Oh. Okay. I, are you sure you could do everything, even with wellies? All I have to do is just run around and drop plates and bring plates back, right? And call yeah, orders, put, yeah. You can put you can put four plates in here. And I can drop... This is actually... Can we make this easier on me? <laughs> like, put it... I don't know. Here. No, because then you'll have to grab... No, it's hard. Oh, sure. Which one's easier for you? You gotta just plug in a controller. Yeah. Right, <laughs> this has two This is not hard. If this is hard, we're gonna have bigger issues. Uh, It's just not highlighting for me as easily. Okay, let's do this then. The best one we ever did was where I could literally just insta drop plates into a fucking auto feeder. So we gotta figure. Here, do that. There you go. Oh, that's gang. And the the mess does not matter because I'm wellied up. Yeah, yeah, we can serve them. Okay. Uh, I respect. I'm down to try this. This feels kind of hype. All right, boot it. Uh, okay. Let's make sure you grab your brush. And make sure you grab your wellies. Can we gotta research anything? Oh, fireplace? Yeah, no. you gotta research. No, you don't gotta do anything yet. No, you gotta say fireplace. Oh, never mind. Alright, yeah, it's the wellies. Alright, I'm ready to boot it. It's lead. Ooh, this is interesting. This is all interesting. Okay, so now I'm back to plating. Yep. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, it's rainy. Do not call. You could probably call. Burgers, you can pre-jack, which is why I like this strategy. Can pre-jack. Hmm. People get so. If uh, and Lud, if you have free time and there's a mess in the bottom, can you can you stage it? I can clean your cup. <laughs> uh, that has been a hero nightmare. <laughs> oh, come alert, come alert. I got it, I got it, I actually got it. Oh, you got come alert. Oh, so fast. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, wait, uh, okay. I can see where how you, how you feeling? be a lot to bust. Yeah, I think you have a very hard job, Adrian. I think we have very little. See where this would be difficult. Now, if Sykuno joined, <laughs> yeah, maybe. they could also bust. You guys can serve the bar then, table by guy. Then I would bust. Oh, yeah. Wait, can we serve the bar table? I think so. Yeah. Oops. I mean, with this many tables, it's actually not that bad. Right, but we're going to need more tables. Yeah. I 
we'll get my steps in if this is a real job. <laughs> Dishwasher is not God a dish rack. Damn. That was pretty good. I actually don't feel so bad about it. Uh, fine, if we have fine, more tables, it'd be a problem. But All right, I can only do one more day, and I actually do have to bail. Oh, you have to bail right now? I got a dip set rip set. I can do one more day. Oh, okay. Let's add broccoli and go crazy with it. <laughs> add, add broccoli and go crazy. I'm down. <laughs> if we lose, we're fine. Ludwig gets to go. If we win, then Ludwig's uh, bitch made. Sick. Uh, okay. <laughs> what, what is burgers and broccoli that's such a <laughs> weird big two baby burgers and brock b and b love burgers and brock oi, oi, oi. we still buying the fireplace we can't we didn't even make enough money <laughs> okay do we have to cut broccoli before we do anything add broccoli and water to pot and boil no it's easy um you guys need plates or counters table? or anything? I'm always there down for that. Uh, just replace the table, and we just don't need we don't need another table. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Easily clapped. Where's your dishwasher? Oh, come in. Come in. Why don't I do this? And then okay. I it might make it harder for. Can I serve both. Is that is that where he wants to put it? Yeah. Oh, put. Oh, you're trying to serve there? both. I could, I could, I could serve take them? and serve both. And then put the dishwasher in between their tables. No, put it in between. You could actually serve both. No, in between. That's such a terrible, like, seating arrangement <laughs> in real life. <laughs> right next to the... Uh, uh, I will also the need to fucking little open, dish. dirty dishwasher is next to your table. <laughs> um, Are we going to bump at the sink, Lud? Because I need to get a little bit of water. You need Wawa? Hey, any of you boys trying to play League of Legends sometimes so we can practice for... I'm yeah. down. I'm down. Playing. I'll play tonight. I'm check. down to play later tonight, actually. I'm going to do Get I'm Smarter, and then I'm down to play Probably out, league. but... Uh, this could work, Sans. No. Don't you just want to put it on the wall? That's just safer. I need to clean with it. Yeah, but you put the plates there. Oh, this is going to be such a... Cubby. Just put it right here, and then clean from the left if you're cleaning. Like, clean from this side. And then I can grab it, too. Yeah. Everyone's in chat is pogging at League of Legends. They're going fucking crazy. Are, Are they? League? I thought they were no, saying H-Rock yeah. Magic. League, League, League. I'm going to project two burgers. Oh, oh, no like no shizot. <laughs> Can you get the Can you get the I make double Brock? Brock. I don't... He wants Brock. Oh no! Instant loss. No, Brock's coming. Brock's coming. Brock's coming. No, Chill. but he, he wanted it instantly. No, he already gave order. Oh, you, you fucked us. Well, no, he wanted it after I clicked him for the bird. Oh, so Bro. Oh. oh. Hey, GGS. We tried. <laughs> We're not made for more than plain. Wait, what happened? He must have told us. There's, there's no way you gave crazy. him a burger and he said afterwards I'd like I some did. Brock. He wanted Brock as a dessert. <laughs> a dessert Brock? He Is that true, yes. chat? He Did wanted he want a dessert, dessert Brock. Brock. If that's dessert, dessert Brock, then it's he no one's fault. He wanted a dessert Brock. It's no uh, one's fault. That's crazy. It was All on right. the plate with the burger. He pre-jacked plane. That's not true. You pre-jacked plane. I got a dip set, rip set. Yeah, right. that's fine. I just want to be clear that we got scammed. I just feel like we could have had he one floor of broccoli. He wanted a dessert Brock, bro. <laughs> he didn't want a dessert Brock. He, he wanted, he wanted it. a dessert Brock. He said, I would dude. like Brock, please. He finished his plain burger. burger and said for dessert had like one floor of broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> He's a regular person, as everyone does. You ever been there? Oh. All right. Boys, this was fun. Dipset, ripset. Peace out, gamers. Later, gamers. Dipset, ripset. GG's lud. Uh, Chat, I feel dumb from that. What's the solution? <laughs> Anyone have any solutions to get smarter on a certain weekend day? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Did I ever get smarter Saturdays? Um... Theme song at one point. Hey guys, sorry I didn't get to talk to you because I was fucking talking with the boys in the kitchen. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're doing well on this fine Saturday. Get smarter Saturday smiley face. Uh, how are things? There's a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about that I probably won't even get to talk about on Marketing Monday because I have to do a real official Marketing Monday. 
Um, did you guys see the rumor about Amazon buying EA? Interesting. Apparently confirmed that they are either withdrawing their bid or not going to bid. But the talks were very real. Um, from my understanding and research, uh, EA is worried about the <laughs> rapidly uh, consolidating economy we find ourselves in where bigger and bigger players are buying up all the developers. And EA, formerly the biggest big bad developer, is actually kind of small fries, small potatoes compared to the trillion dollar megacorps, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, etc. So EA uh, is shopping themselves around to three of these megacorps, um, Amazon, Apple, and Disney. Now, Disney's actually fucking small potatoes, too, compared to those other two, but they're still pretty big. And I think... Oh. Hey, babe. Um, I think the reason Amazon was the most interested is because of the following. Uh, because of the following... Uh, this is the Steam chart for Amazon's new world. <laughs> I guess it's flatlined and not bad, but from a 900,000 all-time peak to 16,000, uh, new world has just not been successful. That was the biggest investment Amazon made into games. They've spent hundreds of millions now on a gaming studio, Amazon Games, and it has produced no successful games. So at this point, they're thinking, fuck it. We're the most, you know, we're a multi-trillion dollar company. Let's just buy EA. So it's a very real possibility. The downside and the fact that it probably won't happen is that uh, um, I don't think it'll get passed. I think a government would actually block it. I think Amazon is already fighting like three different legal battles on acquisitions. They're buying Roomba and they got FTC block. I, I don't think they're going to be able to get a fucking, uh, you know, 80 to $100 billion, <laughs> whatever. The, yeah, I don't know what it would cost. It would probably cost, I don't know, 60 to 100. Uh, um, for EA. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, specifically because antitrust is like so specific about if you are already a competitor, buying out your big competitor. It's just, uh, it's just, I don't know that Amazon could make game studios fail and then buy up <laughs> EA, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I know they're talking about it. All I want is for them to make the Sims packs cheaper. If you sell your soul to Jeff Bezos, I think he'll do that once he buys it. I can't see anyone chanting EA. They just get so much backlash. Is it worth it? It's not. I mean, EA has EA has been called the worst company by gamers for fucking 15 years, and they still sell a gazillion dollars of product. They, the EA and Madden, everyone makes fun. I mean, FIFA and Madden get made fun of every year, and they, they make a billion dollars. Like, gamers don't have any backbone. I've mentioned it over and over. Gamers have no spine. They complain just to complain, and they don't do anything. So that's not really a problem. And Amazon certainly wouldn't worry about that to get access to some of the biggest franchises. Also, Amazon is making a massive push into sports rights. I am going to talk about this on Marketing Monday, but I'll give you a little hint. The, I mean, I've talked about it already a little bit. Uh, Amazon is spending, all the tech companies are spending huge amounts of money to purchase um, the rights to broadcast sports. Um, and so if you could combine that with access to, you know, FIFA Madden, Bada bing, bada boom. Suddenly you've got a real virtuous cycle there. It makes some sense for sure. If you can't build it yourself, acquire. Uh, I think it'll get blocked though. Um, the NFL Thursday game being only on Amazon is bullshit. Well, get ready for a fucking crazy world, dude. Get ready for the Thursday game to be on Amazon, the Friday game to be on fucking Apple. <laughs> uh, Sunday Night Football being on fucking Disney+. Plus. <laughs> Just get ready, dude. They're, the, the, the tech company... Uh, sorry, there's a Friday game. Whatever. Sunday and Monday. Um, uh, 
And all the games on Torrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Bowl on Peacock. <laughs> the Super Bowl on Peacock would be crazy. My dad finally admitted to me that he was wrong and streaming isn't a fad when he saw Thursday Night Football on Amazon. <laughs> is your dad going to admit cars aren't a fad? <laughs> what is he? What, that was the fucking line. It's He's like fucking literally 10 years too late. In 2012, that would have been old to say. <laughs> Does he still think phones are a fad? Amazon's doing something, something similar with the Premier League? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste all my whole talk, but we're talking about it on Monday for sure. Uh, should be a good marketing Monday. I am probably going to take Sunday off and go whole hog on really working on it. Uh, it is required by my new sponsor, and I'm very excited. And so I have to do it. I have to do it on Monday, and I'm going to do it on Monday, and I want to make it a good one. So um, we'll see. Um, who's the new sponsor? Well, I don't want you guys to pick it up yet. It's probably a code or something. Um, it's Rage Shadow Legend, AMC Plus. <laughs> anyway, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm I'm um I'm in a good mood today. I had a good I had a good day. Walk the dog in the sun. Uh, internet. Oh, hey, wait. can someone confirm to me honestly? We haven't had a single F all stream, right? So far, all stream, there's been no, there's been no Fs. Yes! 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 Oh, I hope it holds. I hope it holds. Dude, it was getting so bad. Earlier streams this week, it was like, you guys were here. You were, I mean, some of you were there. Not all of you because it was fucking... <laughs> understandably miserable. I was getting like 10, 12, 15 Fs a stream. No, I didn't jinx it. You guys are fucking, you're capping. I'm actually only asking as a formality because I have a fucking bar open that tells me if the stream goes down. I have a little uh, tracker. <laughs> you guys are, I, 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 I was asking as a formality, dude. We're not having an F. No way. Wait, what? You're trolling. Now I can't tell. My my, it had, it had the tiniest flicker, and I can't tell. I, you guys are trolling me. <laughs> Why, dude? When do you guys ever not troll me? Is there a world where you guys can just not fucking troll me and just stop saying back say I? So, I'm so pissed, dude. I'm so pissed. You guys, this is my moment. I'm very happy. You don't understand how stress has been making me. It's been making me so stressed. The internet thing. I was I I was mad. I was mad on the phone. I was nice to the technician because it's not his fault, but I was like, I just kept reiterating, like, dude, I'm paying, like, the extra deluxe super package, and I'm not getting anywhere close to my download or upload speeds. Spectrum is the fucking literal devil. Uh, I know that you're a nice guy, but you are literally working for Satan. <laughs> I told him, literally, what you're doing right now is equivalent to fucking working for Satan. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> all right. No Fs. No Fs. No Fs. Uh, Derpy Duder, thank you for the eight months. The city of Mississauga, Ontario, Canada is the most expensive city in the world based on average salary. How the fuck am I going to grow up? Well, you'll grow up based on time. <laughs> you grow up. <laughs> time keeps moving, bro. You're going to grow up. I'm not muted. Oh, my God. You guys are trolls. You guys are trolls. Uh, but you're going to be... I mean, you could also move, right? Once you're 18. What is Mississauga? Am I saying this even close to right? All Canadian spam, yep. If I am. And yep, if I'm close. And yep, if I... Maybe didn't get it, but you believe in me. Mm, cost of living. 
Cost of living in Mississauga. It looks like Mississauga. Like Mrs. Agua. <laughs> like a cool mascot for like a water company. Hey, I'm Mrs. Agua. Come get my delicious Agua. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There could be something there. <laughs> Mrs. Saga. Mrs. Saga? Oh, it is Mrs. Saga. I think you should rebrand it to Mrs. Agua. <laughs> and then you're, yeah, and then have like a giant like teardrop as your mascot. Um,. <laughs> Uh, Canada rise up, bro. Canada ain't rising up for shit. Rise up your fucking housing prices. <laughs> Actually, how are they? Let's see. Uh, Toronto real estate. Let's find out. Toronto real estate. Where is Toronto real estate headed this fall? Economists say prices will continue to drop by as much as 24%. Oh. <gasps> Oh shit, the market's in free fall. But more importantly, the prices were already so high. You can buy this incredibly skinny house in Toronto for a cool $2 million. <laughs> oh my God, get on it boys. Look at this house. Sheesh. It's like you're living in the that um the Lion City. You're living in Neo in Saudi Arabia. A miniature version for a cool 2 million. That's so bananas. 2 million dollars for this. What could you get for 2 million dollars in like Ohio? Let's see. <laughs> Ohio Zillow. Let's just see. Let's sort by high to low. For $2 million, you could get Wow. You can buy like half the state for fucking 12 million, I'll tell you. That. <laughs> you can get like a thousand acres. Uh for two million though. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at this one. You can get this four bed, six bath. <laughs> uh, I feel like in Canada this might fucking bankrupt the country if you try to Um, so you, you, yeah, you could get this cringe or you get this, Ooh, unique, interesting. Uh, four beds, six bath. What are we, it is a weird ratio. Wait, you're actually right. Why is there four bedrooms, six bathrooms? That's odd. It is big. That's also in the middle of nowhere. Um, just Ohio things. I guess they love the shit. Born to shit, forced to wipe is what they say in Ohio. Why did Chicken Fox say there's only there's one for shitting? What does that mean? Of the six bathrooms, you think one is for shitting? <laughs> what, that's your solution? That seems like a terrible ratio. What the? <laughs> so that <laughs> one for each day of the week. I like that. It's not right, right? Because there's still a seventh day. The Lord's Day. Nobody shits in the Lord's Day, though. I got it. So you shit in one bathroom Monday through Saturday. And then on the Lord's Day, you hold it in. I like that. That's Ohio. That's Ohio living, baby. That's big Ohio living. Derpy Duder, thank you for the eight months. Um, Fido, thank you for the prime. Thank you for all the subs today. There was also a gifties that I fucking straight up missed while I was playing that good shit. Let's put on... um. You know what I never do is have any sort of... Mm, I don't want that. I need like a... I need my like uh, uh, a really low-key 
low key background song for when we're just shooting the shit. I need like a like Lincoln Park. What I've done. <laughs> So anyway, guys, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I put that song, I put the shit out of that song on my iPod. <laughs> on my iPod, that song fucking got many plays. Uh, JID review? I mean, I can't, I can't listen to a full fucking new album. I get DMCA destroyed. Uh. iPods wear fresh. Oh, how did JMook do? What happened? How did JMook do? He lost the axe. Sad. 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 He's in losers? All right, good. Can still make it. Um, What else? Okay, so anyway, we're going to do Get Smarter Saturdays. Uh, we have, as you know... Been making technical evolutions in the world of Get Smarter. Not only are we getting smarter, but the show is as well. For you see, where's the link? Da -da -da. We now have the new dashboard, Get Smarter Saturday submissions. If you drop it in chat, it'll just get popped right in. Coconut drums, everything is terrible. And now it has submitted by video length. Video pop out. Uh, times it's got everything, dude. Napoleon's penis, the history. Where is it now? I don't, I don't really want to know where Napoleon's penis is specifically. It's not. <laughs> doesn't seem that interesting. Um, it has a pause button. Yeah, it's got everything. It's uh, shout outs again to. If you want to be referred to as something. Um, what did he want to be referred to as? Flynn. Shout outs to Flynn, aka Ludafu Tutu. Harder to say that. Uh, for uh, making this fucking awesome submission page, it's really really cool. It's uh, I think we'll be using it into the future. Um, let's get a little smarter here and watch a fun, interesting video. What are we thinking? Perfect moments in bad movies. That kind of seems interesting. Perfect moments in bad movies. There's a perfect story in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. But it's not Spider-Man's story, or Peter Parker's, or Eddie Brock's, or Venom's, or Mary Jane's, or Harry Osborne's, or Gwen Stacy's, or... Look. To cut to the point, that's a scene that on a literal level doesn't have anyone in it. Because the scene I'm talking about is three minutes long, has no spoken dialogue, I remember this scene. and is almost entirely CGI. It's pretty good CGI. 27 minutes and 12 seconds into Spider-Man 3, there's a scene <laughs> called The Birth of Sandman that is simply one of my favorite uses of special effects of all time. Yeah, it was pretty good. I don't have to do much to catch you up on the film to this point. Would you believe a man could have the powers of a spider? <laughs> but the important... Bro, I... Can I... I... <laughs> this is a broader problem. I don't know why every YouTuber who does video essays about content requires a recap. It's like they follow a formula that someone did in 2012. I feel like we're all caught up now. I feel like you could cut seven minutes out of this shit and just... Show me the thing in the title. <laughs> it's like is, you're you're padding time, but like there's no reason to pad over ten. I, I... There's this guy named Flint Marco, and Flint Marco is this kind of petty criminal who escapes prison and is on the run. But wouldn't you believe it? He's got eye punch, kid, which makes him sympathetic. He breaks in to see his kid who is sick, which makes him even more sympathetic, according yep, to math. That is true. His kid gives him a locket, but then he's kicked out by his mean ex-wife. 
and then Flint Marco falls into a big sand turbine, which gives him the power of sand. Is he a and criminal? He and Spider-Man fight a lot, and then ultimately Peter forgives him for a retconned murder of Uncle Ben, and then all is well, until he's dragged back into existence 16 years later to meet more Spider-Men. Right. I describe all of this to you to say, eh, it is a perfectly functional... Wait, so why was he bad in... In the most recent Spider-Man movie. If they bring him back and he was fighting... What, didn't he end on good terms? He wasn't. He was more sad and tragic. Super villain origin well. story. But one that doesn't have the wild energy of Defoe's Goblin. Or the faded dignity of Molina's Doc Ock. Marco slash Sandman was reportedly one of the characters that Raimi really cared about when making Spider-Man 3. They say in the commentary that he was the first image the director... Spider-Man 3's biggest problem was too many villains. If you're going to have Venom be a villain, make him the only villain. Focus on him. Give him some time to breathe. There's no reason to have fucking three different villains you're trying to make these stories happen. It was forced by the studio? Did they force Venom in? And if so, just go all in on it. <laughs> Not enough. I I mean, literally, I think legitimately everyone points to like Emo Parker as the bad thing. Emo Parker is goofy as shit, but it's people kind of like it more as time goes on. I don't think that's the downside of the movie. It's like a it's like a weird, funny, rememberable, charming thing. I think it's uh oh, Raimi wanted to be Stan Man and then Studio Force was Venom. Wasn't there also a third villain though, or well, maybe it's just Parker when he went bad. I feel like there was also a third villain in that movie. Yeah, yeah, Harry, Harry Osborn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, way too fucking much, dude. Way too mind, much. Before even starting on the script, but he ultimately feels sidelined by the movie. The plot to Spider-Man 3 was heavily affected by studio execs pushing to include fan favorite characters, and ultimately, I think the final product feels like a bunch of individual pieces of different movies rather than something cohesive but, but existing amongst all of those pieces is that three minute special effects scene. And I'm worried this. Okay. Okay, good. I was worried this entire fucking thing would be about this one scene because I thought it was perfect movie. I thought it would be like a lot of moments <laughs> and I'm worried it's going to be all about one moment. Finally, I can tell you why it's so wonderful. Actually, sorry, one more thing. I'll be showing lots of clips from it, but I can't show the full thing in order here or include the music because I'll get shot down by YouTube. The whole clip is on YouTube, though. I've linked it below, so maybe check that out before this section. So the scene in question starts with such so we can't a even watch macro close-up shot that it's not immediately clear what we're looking at. <laughs> Boulders, maybe? Scales or something? But the shot pulls back and back and back until it's clear that each boulder was an individual grain of sand, a surreal reminder that sand is actually just tiny little rocks. And we watch the grains melt into tides, moving like liquid, a process almost reminiscent of geologic eras, different sections building up and eroding away. And out of that primordial heap rises, well, not a man, <laughs> not even really the silhouette of a man. Sort of is. But because our brains are so tuned to finding those person-shaped patterns, we can see shoulders and arms and a hollow skull. The shape collapses and the pile is still for a moment before another form, undeniably sapien, rears up from the <laughs> sand, almost Gollum-esque formed from the earth. The shape takes a breath. the only recognizably human sound in the whole sequence. Wait, this is the it guy that did Fear of Cold, right? I is now I'm getting reminded. This is where he did uh yes, I I his voice is ringing back in my head. Okay. Um I like that one. I like that one a lot. This one I'm a little uh, <laughs> thrown by forward and seems like it may collapse into nothing once more but instead the shape rises continuing i would love to do a parody of this where it's the fucking pixar opening intro with the lamp <laughs> and i'm just talking about it dead seriously describing the fucking power of every fucking motion of the lamp the lamp springs down 
coiled, full of energy and anticipation. It moves forward trepidatiously. We don't know where it's going, but we know where it's been. <laughs> to assemble itself, it pulls arms out of the sand with bulky mitts The lab the is end. undeniably sapient. <laughs> we don't know what it wants, <laughs> but we know it has goals. Holds its head between them in quiet horror. And then, a since unseen part of the pile, perhaps unearthed by the creature's shifting tides, a locket propped quietly upright, an arm's length away. It reaches for the locket, and this is when the it becomes he, because now the pile is undeniably Flint Marco, fueled by the same motivations as his terrestrial self. He reaches for the locket but it cuts through the sand, far more substantial than this amalgamation of a man. Sad. It's a small, pitiful moment. So the sand redoubles his efforts, stretching out his arm again, and in the same way the grains cut geologic eras into the pile, his arm seems to go through millions <laughs> of years of evolution in seconds, from clumsy mitts <laughs> to long, delicate fingers. He plucks the locket out of the refuse. <laughs> This action, this success, <laughs> gives him the strength to move forward. He rises from the heap, still made of sand, but somehow now separate from it. The Sandman stumbles once more, an echo of his first collapse, but now the setback is only momentary, and he strides forward, each individual grain now invisible within the confines of Marco's almost human body. This is, I think... A perfect scene. <laughs> no, the dick riding crazy though. <laughs> Come on, man! I, you know I was on your side at the beginning. It's a cool scene. Holy moly, that was that was wild, dude! It was like fucking three overworked CGI guys who had to crank it up. They said, "Make the Sandman get up." <laughs> It takes us through a complete plot arc, one that's simultaneously incredibly personal and almost a shorthand for the entire <laughs> human experience, from unconscious unknowing to horrified sentience to determination and ultimately self-actualization. This is not shorthand for the entire it is also, human I must experience. It is also, I to force from composer Christopher Young. Bro! The strings give the scene its emotional through line. I don't think it's a perfect visual effects driven scene because the VFX are perfectly photorealistic. They're certainly not. Almost two decades since release, it's easy to see some of the cracks in the artifice, particularly with the slightly off texturing of the individual grains and some of the movement of Marco's body. However, it speaks to the scene's direction that this just doesn't bother me. The effects are attempting to accurately depict sand, but that's a secondary goal to telling a story. I'm more than happy to let photorealism take a backseat for the sake of effective storytelling. Actually, if you'll permit me a real interpretive leap. <laughs> We've been permitting it. We've been permitting it. What are you talking about? We've been permitting it. All right, we, we, we collectively permit it. There's a way that the lack of photorealism actually helps the scene. Mm. This shot here of the locket sitting in sand is, I think, the only real shot of the scene. That is, this is actual photography, not CG. It looks different from everything else in the sequence. The lighting a little crisper, the grains of sand a little less chunky. And look, I know this is reaching, I know, <laughs> but this locket is also the thing that grounds Marco in the real world, the object that transforms it into him, his tie back to humanity. And so for this thing to be the one real shot in a CG world, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's intentional, but it is thematically pretty <laughs> elegant, right? Yes, right? yes, yes, King. In the modern era oh, new, of blockbusters, new, new. Wait. it's hard to conceptualize the effort that goes into special effects. While still beyond the abilities of almost all of us, more classic effects Wait, like map go back to the sand? miniatures and puppetry are at least understandable. They're physical objects made with tools we recognize. 
but I think one of the more unfortunate symptoms of effects simply being done on the computer is the landscape of VFX feels flattened out. Since CGI is inherently less tangible, more removed from real life than something like miniatures, there's almost this sense that the computer is a magic box where everything is equally possible and equally unspecial. This isn't. I do kind of get this feeling. Last night I was playing with Dolly, or I was it was like one of the Dolly clones, whatever. I got access to it, and I was just messing around with it. I was trying uh, different prompts. I was trying to see if I could make like a thumbnail in there. I was like, HBO Max, but it's on fire, and it's a boxer, and he's punching himself. I was just trying stuff, and then I started trying all sorts of weird things like corporate dystopia, hellscape. Uh, man on the moon, but he's flying, but he's also eating a banana. But I was just trying things, and uh, and it was like super fun for ten prompts. And then I was like, <laughs> then I was bored. <laughs> and then I was looking around and seeing all the other people doing it in the same Discord, and I was like, eh, it's all, you know, it's all, it all, it's kind of the same. It's all, it's all like, okay, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was interesting. It was like, True, uh, of course, there was so many Effects options that I wasn't computer, impressed. Still take an enormous amount of human effort, an effort that often goes unappreciated and unfairly compensated, as many special effects houses have said. True. I could tell you the true workload of this scene, a team of at least 30 people working seven days a week for six months to accomplish these three minutes. I could tell you that the technology to do this kind of thing apparently didn't exist when they began planning out the sequence, or that Whoa. the VFX supervisor said it's the hardest shot he's ever done. The scene is massively technically impressive. Every bit. This looks like a guy who was overworked. <laughs> Bro, he looks fucking dead tired in the interview after the movie came out. I think this guy fucking lost six months of his life. He looks fucking bleary. He's ever done. The scene is massively technically impressive, every bit the equivalent in effort to the more practical techniques of classic Hollywood. But that alone isn't why I Dude, love it. Come on. Instead, it's the fact that this level of come on the most labor intensive effects of the film went into a sequence that's so opposite what we expect in a movie like Spider Man 3. In a script that Move I think on! from a lack of cohesive authorial voice, this scene practically jumps off the screen. It is so beautifully specific. A single idea executed to the It's a good level. scene! To spend so much money and so much time on a sequence with no this fights is or masturbatory, dude. no I... recognizable actors or quippy dialogue couldn't be the result of a note from studio executives. It's a sequence where I can see the painter's hand, or rather, the dozens of hands of a unified team of painters all working together towards a singular goal. <laughs> this reminds me of that Squidward now, video, because oh, yeah, here we go. Lack of authorial voice is a criticism that e see. Trinity says, it's my favorite scene in the movie. Much like Sandman, part <laughs> yeah. of the reason this- I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. Bro, I was I was on I was on the same page for a second. I was literally on the same page for a second. I was like, you know what? That was a good scene. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And there was there was ten minutes left in that movie. On that video, by the way, that I, I'm flashing forward. I let me just make sure. Where can be with some effort more. Entire film, Pirates of the Caribbean. There's one more movie I've spent a truly unhealthy amount. Wait, at the last second, in the last two minutes after the sponsor, you do a final of time thinking about the special effects of not because they're profound or revealing, but because they are almost obscenely impressive in the pursuit of something completely absurd. Pirates, and that's huh? basically the entire film Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End. At the time, Pirates 3 was the most expensive movie ever made and I still yeah, feel it was like quite it expensive. spiritually deserves that spot, even though other stuff is It deserves that point. spot. <laughs> it's just so much movie. However, my ramblings <laughs> about that don't really fit with this script, nor would the stuff I want to highlight work at all within you. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> what, 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 oh, that was such an odd... That, was, that whole fucking YouTube video could have been a minute and a half. Oh, thanks, babe.
Chevy cat. Meow. He's purring. It's toots. Chevy. Content cat. Wait, not a content cat. Wait, he's a content cat. He's a machine gun cat. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> I give you content. Yeah, give me two. What a cute patoot, Chev. Very handsome cat, really. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, as amazing as that video was, I would prefer to see something else. So let's see what we got here on our Get Smarter Saturday dashboard. Why Snowpiercer is a sequel. No, we've already seen them. Every Zelda is the darkest Zelda by Jacob Geller. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. A 40-minute Jacob Geller video on Zeldas? I can't do it. I couldn't. I, you couldn't. Mm. Couldn't do it. Mm. Couldn't do it. Mm. Nobody will win the streaming wars. Could be interesting. They are just dumping money at it. Darth Jar Jar, we've watched. The Secret of Monkey Island. I love that game. Um, Smash Brothers' newest progeny, the story of J Mook. 33 minutes? He's only been a top player for like f five tournaments. <laughs> that seems. Man, I don't know. You know, brevity is a, a fucking powerful. I might watch this, but let me see. It's actually great. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. I love J-Mook. I wore my J-Mook jersey to mini golf. Player interviews. Oh, that's sick. It was more so just appreciating the game in a different perspective because I feel like growing up, I was I, w I was pretty competitive for in terms of video games, but to see that one of my favorite games also had that competitive side, I feel like that alone drove me to... J-Mook! You know, I've kind of thought of this as a as a main hobby, you know, throughout my whole life. I've always, like, gravitated towards melee, towards competing, towards... The, the value I get from like competing and going to tournaments has changed me for the better. And so I uh, thought about it more so from, from my perspective where it's like, I'm young, I still have a whole life ahead of me. And mm -hmm. worst case scenario, if I don't like this, I'm spending a whole year traveling around the world, playing my favorite video game, you know, for fun. It's, I feel like a lot of people would, you know, want to do what I'm doing. And it's a, an amazing experience that I'm really grateful for. Oh, thanks. Jonathan Mook, happiest melee player. I honestly don't necessarily agree with him. I think I'm glad he thinks about it that way. But, you know, melee is a very difficult game to be a quote-unquote pro for. There's, like, very little money in prizing. You have to travel all the time. Um, often far away from home to go to these different tournaments. And they're very competitive. And if you don't get, like, first, you get almost no money. It's tough. But I think he, I think he's just excited to do it. He just seems like he's got a great attitude. My name is Jake Dorado. I am 22 years old, and I'm a professional melee player for FlyQuest. I remember I played a lot with my brother and my older brother and his friends. He always got his friends to go play Smash, and I was always the little brother of the group, just kind of you know do some like cheesy stuff here and there, try and make them frustrated, which I, I I found joy in. So Smash has always been a very like connecting game for me, connecting to people, you know, I started with my, my brother and his friends. It was about the time when the Smash Brothers documentary came out, and that was the first time where I really saw a glimpse of an entire layer, like this game that I knew my whole life has suddenly just a whole competitive layer that I had no idea about. That alone was enough motivation, and like I immediately pursued, you know, learning like the inner mechanics of the game and learning. jmoo has got to be the youngest player that could claim to have played the game when it came out, right? He was the younger brother. Didn't know what he was doing kind of playing it. I think if you get any younger than him, you just couldn't have played it as a kid at all, right? Like that then it's then it's not even on your table. Stuff they'd like, have wow, a different like console. I, I played this game my whole life and I had He's no 22. idea that L canceling existed. To to see an, underneath another layer is you know was really eye opening for me. But yeah, it was most most so the more so the community and realizing that I could find that through my own scene. Once I watched the doc, I was like, 
I immediately just looked into like, okay, where's the closest Smash scene from me? I wanna, I wanna get involved. I wanna learn the game. I wanna learn who the best players are. I wanna, I'm just here to learn. And it kind of drove me to go to my first tournament, which was in fall of 2014. I remember my family drove me up to, it was like a, an hour. I'm 22 and I'm melee kid. I don't mean like you can't get in the melee. For like a, I mean, there's oh. like fucking 17 year olds that play Mario 64 speedruns, right? <laughs> it's like, they, they didn't come around for it. I'm just saying like to be able to have played the game when it when it was new. Um, like Frisbee, like fundraiser. It's a very like small tournament, but I knew a lot of people there. And I remember going there and I immediately fell in love with it instantly. The tournament felt like a second home where I was just so appreciative of realizing that there are so many different people, like different backgrounds, different ages, you know, all coming together just to appreciate one thing. Yeah. Sheik! Sheik to me felt more in sync with what I wanted from the game. Yeah. Which was A, movement, cool. and two, being able to flexibly move around my opponent in a, in a certain way that allows me to like, get my heads while also staying free. That's why I play Sheik, right here. I started felt The edge guards, I thought it was so sick. Because I, I never really played a game competitively like Melee. And I thought it was so cool that you could like, I don't know, I feel like a bullfighter. <laughs> Sheik to me feels like you're the bullfighter, and then the other character is the bull, and you like they're like fucking pushing you around, and then you get near the edge and you go ole, and you just fucking kill him. I always thought that was so sick. I thought that was so fucking sick. Like you just fucking, like they do a hundred million damage to you, and then you just fucking ole him. I started Falco and Marth kind of switched back and forth between those two. Marth had a lot of range but it didn't feel like i was able to navigate or express myself fully so i switched to sheik for that purpose and i've uh, been using her ever since one person that i was heavily inspired by was kirby kaze to put melee into words yeah, he's great the way he did was nice guy. really impressive you know people he had guides he, and stuff he did that at the time but he was essentially that person for sheik his his take on the character yeah, he had all the he guides expressed that through his words through his through his <sighs> gameplay i really so took inspiration from that early on yeah, so the thing with JMook is that, like, oh, I, I almost wish that players were stocks because I feel like if JMook was Bitcoin, I'd be like, I'd be retired, right? <laughs> Anyone who's actually watched JMook closely, like, could just tell. If it wasn't obvious, um, it's possible maybe you just haven't heard of him before, like, weren't looking at, like, certain things or whatever. But, like, if you just watch JMook even his, in his, like, older sets, it was just very clear he was going to be a top player. We were talking about this, uh, me and Jake, before the interview. I was like, yeah, no, there was a tournament where you molly walked me twice in a row. It was at like, this comic book joint, and he just like he just destroyed me. Okay. Boom! Yeah, let's go. Let's they found go. the footage, huh? That's sick. It was supposed to be a free tournament for me. Like, it was in upstate New York. We were just traveling for, I think, like some college thing, and he just came out of nowhere, beat me. And I was so like angry about it that I was just, like, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what's the next tournament Jake's going to. The first time I heard about- Oh Jake, shoot! A famous, at least back home, a famous set against a Marth player where he just, to put it frankly, stunted on him. Like it wasn't your classic sheet gameplay. He was just so, I guess I want to say like energetic. Are you saying a Marth player? <laughs> I guess we don't talk about La Luna anymore. Uh, yeah, he beat the moon, and the moon was a much higher ranked player. Innovative, and like the way he played, he was doing things that like no other Sheik has like ever done. There's a famous Twitter uh, Twitch clip called "Daddy" of him just like zero to deathing uh, the Marth on FD in a way I've never seen in my life. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my I, I don't know. They might talk about it, but there was a tournament, uh, some tri-state New York tournament. And um, I watched the VOD of it the day after. And it only had like, I don't know, 450 views or something. <laughs> and I saw JMook in it doing the most insane edge guards I've ever seen. Like some crazy needle edge guards. And I DM'd him that day. And I said, if you ever need a flight to a tournament, I'll pay for it. Because <laughs> I was like, this kid's, this kid's doing shit with Sheik nobody else is doing. And that clip was just on Reddit and Twitter, and nobody had heard Can of you, this guy, like outside of New York. And he was give hitting an example of what he does. Also, I'll show huge, you something. Really cool combo that I'd never seen before on FD, and he beat the moon in that set. So it was like a big upset for like an unknown player at the time. And he also wasn't from New York City, which was like an interesting part of it. Like he was a player from upstate New York, 
which is a lot more alienated from like where a lot of the talent in New York typically is. I remember, I, I have a tweet from that time that said, JMook is so fun to watch, holy shit. That was when I said this guy's like on my radar because he made Cheek look cool, which I think for me particularly is a difficult thing to achieve, <laughs> uh, even though I'm trying to get better at appreciating all parts of the game. A little bit of a fun fact, when oh. I started the King of the Cube series, I was actually hanging out with Atrioc, who actually gave me Sheesh. the Sheesh! And Atrioc was saying that the Sheesh. he wanted to see on the first iteration of King of the Cube. He still hasn't been on King of the Cube yet, which might change by the time this comes out. But uh, it was Jamek. Atrioc was a big Jamek fan, and this was- Yup! Yup! Who's that guy? Fucking head of the game, dude. I got my JMook jersey. They sent me an HRAC jersey. We're, we're right or dying. We're a JMook family around here. <clears throat> like, you know, middle of 2021. Because, like, he was really flashy, right? He had a really cool style. He didn't go to many tournaments because he was busy with school, busy with his job. But he was definitely the sort of player that I think if you were, like, an aficionado, you kind of knew who he was. And, you know, IBW used to talk about You could just lot. tell, and dude. I think it's kind of funny because, like, people think of him as more new school. But he actually beat IBW at IBW's first ever tournament. Um, so he's actually, like, more old school than IBW. At least, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to come back oh by Jake. Goodness. Jake just pulled that off. Out of oh Holy cow. I didn't know I was in this video. <laughs> I had no idea I was in this video. He didn't do... <laughs> Bad by any stretch of the imagination at Smash World Tour, and he definitely had some like pretty impressive, I would say, highlights. This is like one of his first few tournaments that he's gone to, like first big tournaments. That, again, that doesn't happen. DMC them. Really <laughs> yeah, I am gonna have to do a takedown request because I didn't get permission. So it's like, yes, it's a good video. Yes, I'm glad to be included. I will have to get my lawyers involved, and I will need a revenue share of everything it makes. Obviously, I'm not trying to be that guy. But clearly, like, it's trading on my, my IP and my trademark and my it's an infringement. So um, I will be trying to sue them for everything in the worst. But I do love the content. I think this video is great. I'm happy to react to it. I just don't want you to use me without sending me all the money. Runs. Maybe some people beat one person. Or, like, maybe. maybe Can we copy strike? strike? Yeah, I will be. people is, like, you should be happy about, like, leaving uh, the tournament with. But, uh. When I saw that, I was like, yeah, it's over. He's going to go on a tear. If, I don't know if you saw his Instagram, but he posted a very inspirational post about it. He, he was very um, happy about his run. And then at Smash World Tour, I got to sat, sit down and set up with him, and he just put me to sleep. It was a quick three out, and I'm like, yeah, this guy's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I, I kind of knew what I was getting into there. But oh, the such a sick edge guard! I was like, this They've guy some classics, though. extremely, extremely uh, good, Manning, but Jamie. the result didn't really speak to that in that way until, like, Genesis, right? And that's when it, it got crazy. That's when everyone Genesis, figured out. Genesis, to me, felt like an anomaly. I mean, la my last major was Smash World Tour, but before that was Super Smash Con 2017, which was almost five years ago. So to me, it was more so my chance to finally be in person, go to the event, like play against the best players in the world on CRT, where I was, I mostly had a breakout, like a mini breakout, like online for a little bit. But to me, I it wasn't the same as- That was his tournament, that was his big one. And experiencing that for the first time in years. JMook at Genesis was unreal. I genuinely think it was a once in a lifetime thing where someone who had that perceived If you'd have won the tournament, it would have been- To reach that far into cried. the biggest tournament. I would have cried like the birth of my son. You know, of the year. That I have is, I don't have. <laughs> I, I can't understate how insane that was. And I'm sure everyone shares that sentiment who kind of has played this game for a long time, right? I couldn't attend Genesis because I was I, I hurt, had hurt my back. So I was just like, laying on my floor watching tv watching the stream <laughs> and i'm like oh wow this is I, was I visited slime when his fucking back was he he, he was laying on the floor <laughs> playing Elden Ring like this <laughs> he had a fucking gigantic i just thought fucking one of the biggest he's ever seen like his entire field of view was Elden Ring and he's playing i was, I was blown away my roommate Aiden starts texting me. He plays Sheik. He hasn't talked to me in four days because he's been gone the whole time. He's like, Jmook is the only person that nears there. He's the only, just unsolicited. <laughs> and I, I respond like, I know, I know. It was crazy. Is that maybe just beginner's luck? Or is it like, no, he's a real deal. And like, you know, if you just look at his gameplay, like 
you can tell it's not beginner's luck at all. He's just really good. And yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This has never happened in Melee's history that just some rando that was like, like outside the top within 20. Uh, I don't know. He's like, he was right outside the top 20 in Blur's top 100 rank. And then he just <laughs> explodes out of nowhere in the top five. And it's like, huh. Yeah. That's Who that? Crazy. They have the 22 months. The scary thing is that he just might two, stay two. in top five rather than like, you know, maybe teeter outside of top 10. Plop's gonna have to do the mango to no, he's oh, a threat, dude. Yep. There's nobody. I, it's so it's so rare. I, I give you understand if you don't play melee or watch melee, it's so rare for someone to go out, come out of nowhere, and get to the finals of a tournament. That that's all, almost never happens. Actually, I don't think it really ever happened. I mean, maybe way back in the day. And then from there to do it again <laughs> is even rarer. You know, just like to just. To not be in the top five and then be in the top five is is uh, a really a slow process usually. The upset, yo, there it goes. Yeah, wobbles, I think but over with the wobbling. Years, because I lived in a small region and I couldn't travel as much compared to other players, I had to make every single event count. You know, when I had the time. So when I do show up, I want to make sure I'm the best person I can be on that very day, on a given day. So I think it's it's the combination of good habits Ooh, that built over the years in terms of mental preparation for tournaments, and so that once I get there, I'm I know that all I have to do is just play. At Genesis, right? This was his first tournament back. There was a crowd of people with JMU shirts. That's not like that's not an accident, right? Like a lot of people, I think, felt the way that I did. Was just very inspired by him. Not all of them were Sheik mains, like myself, really included, right? He's just a badass player. So he's so got a mean Sheik. It's though. just really cool to see that he's doing well. It's the posture, bro. It's the posture. Falcon with none. I am so impressed, Jay Mook. Oh my the god. The needle edge, the needle edge guards to keep Falcon off stage. And Jay Mook soaking in the crowd a bit there. Yeah. Peach. He had to play Plop and IBDWs like Fox. He had to go against Zane Smart. Like those are the killers. That's a true testament to a fantastic player is someone who's able to like play so many different matchups and still like push through. Look at that posture. Up, up the time in that bracket. Bro, what? Where does this come from? What what twenty two year old melee degenerate has a posture like that? <laughs> Who grinds melee all day? Decides at twenty two, I'm gonna get into this fucking game as old as I am, and I just happen to have fucking amazing posture. It's so it doesn't make sense. I think that's why Jay Mook's so interesting. It's like I don't I've never seen someone who just happens to be like a fucking giga chad slash I'm gonna play a game that's as old as I am <laughs> slash come out of nowhere. It's just crazy. It's weird. It's 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 like people have like hot days and so it's really easy to just credit runs like that with like oh he was just having a hot day but it was it was different you know like i think he was just able to tap into like a godlike mental state that like a lot which he always like actually actively works towards which just makes a lot of sense right because we see it we see the fruits of that labor yeah, he's got good mental so when people were like yeah like he's got a lot of pressure now i was like i don't really think he's gonna drop the bag here I'm like he's <laughs> he's worked way too hard to, to let this go I'm sorry to Zane who won Genesis, but I feel I mean, like Jay the Luke's only player I know that has, and it's weird because sometimes he has bad mental, but the 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 goat of mental is actually Mango, because when the pressure gets really high and everyone's screaming and it's on stage and it's like last hit, Mango plays better and everyone else plays worse. Maybe Hbox, Hbox too, but uh, it's almost like Hbox just, <laughs> you know, he almost like I don't know, he plays Puff, right? So it's different. It's like he he can afford to like. Turn up the heat. Uh, Armada, no. I mean, Armada Armada grinds you out. Armada wins 3-0, dude. I don't think Armada's that great in, like, last thought, last hit, clutch it out. I think Armada... Armada was, like, the guy that would be overprepared, so he'll just beat you. Like, if things get dicey, that's where he gets worse. He's better when he... Um, but, but what I noticed about... Because every other up-and-coming talent in Melee... You can almost see that, like, here's what happens. is like, they'll get fucking crazy good, right? They'll practice, practice, practice. And in friendlies, in, like, you know, not tournament sets, you'll see these guys are fucking cracked. They're beating on Mango. They're beating on uh, Armada. They're beating on whatever. They're, they're really good. And they'll get to tournament, and they'll get shaky. They'll get nervous. They'll get to their first finals or their first semifinals or whatever, and they'll think, ah, uh, you know, and they'll play a little off or they'll play a little sloppy. But J-Muck didn't do that. He played extra good the farther he got, which is crazy. I don't know. It's just unique. He plays like he's a, a seasoned veteran, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Story kind of, in a lot of ways, 
not save Genesis, but like really, really helped make that tournament hype, but also just this year of Smash, right? Like, I think JMook doing really hey, well Maisie. really set the tone for, for like Melee's comeback in 2022. It was very... Thank you for the Prime Watch T. You said, hey, Big A, love the content. Can you make sure Jeff gets his share of the Prime? Don't worry. Jeff will make sure he gets his share of the Prime. <laughs> Twitch... <laughs> Twitch is very good about taking their share of uh, of all the subs. Don't worry about that. It's surreal to, to just like put myself in that chair and, and act like I have been there that whole time. Because the truth is I was not expecting to make a run like that whatsoever. I was there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Enron hat too. Look at this. Look at this. Look how happy I am, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Listen, my wedding was the best day of my life for sure. But I don't know if I can find a picture of my wedding where I'm smiling that big. <laughs> it's never going to be close, dude. It's never going to be close. I'm anti-masking too. Look at me and Scar just fucking mask off. And, and act like I have been there that whole time because the truth is I was not expecting to make a run like that whatsoever. Some guy at work was like, he said he liked my Enron hat and I said, are you a coffee cow? And he said, aren't we all? That's not real, right? That's not a real conversation you had with a coworker. You you hit him off rip with "Are you a coffee cow?" and he said, "Aren't we all?" <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's actually kind of badass. <laughs> That's kind of badass. <laughs> Damn, you were you were off rip. You fucking ran. You hail married. Are you a coffee cow? You'd look so crazy if you hadn't heard of the stream. You'd look like an absolute loon. I actually think that's badass, dude. <laughs> it felt um, what is it like imposter syndrome? I think that's what they call it, where it's like all these people say you deserve to be here, but it's like. It's only it's only been like one event. It's been like one like breakout performance, and who knows if I'm even gonna be that person. Giga Chad. Or hell, like even a year from now. Oh so for God. me, I kind of displaced myself from the person that people thought like. Wait, should... actual F? Actual F? Are we back? Oh Lord. It didn't take the stream out, right? Yikes. Get into Summit, you know. My biggest battle oh. in Smash has been to overcome my self doubt and to not exactly. <laughs> indulge in these like these moments of like insecurity where i feel like others deserve it more than i do when at the end of the day i'm at my best when i'm just like playing the game and enjoying every moment of it the deadly captain falcon josh man mango he was at summit pretty much immediately after genesis a couple weeks after and I do think that probably a lot of people would have expected him to maybe not perform quite as well as he did at Genesis. Some people would put that, would attribute that drop off if it did happen to pressure, which is more than understandable, right? You're coming yeah. second at Genesis and now you're at your next big event. I'm scared thinking about it. Thinking about it, I was getting like the sweats. I was so nervous <laughs> for him. So the thing with J Mook compared to Sheik players and other players in general is that he feels like a very complete player and just one who hits every criteria in every category. When certain players, they have like a really big run or whatever, maybe two, they get tested and you see weaknesses and they might slump for a little bit and then they'll catch up or whatever. With yeah. JMook, I just don't really see that happening. At least not like, I don't see him falling too far below what we've seen in the last two tournaments. Nice. This is a great set. The 3-0 comeback by JMook. Oh, this is really rough. Easy clap. Wow, and that is just resolve from Jamie there. Just so cool, calm, and collected. Went down two. Oh, oh, yeah, here they come. He's gotta do it. Here right. they come. He is not. We'll do push ups, yeah. Stop, stop it. it. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, he's Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.
<laughs> he has the micro stuff, right? Giga he will go for these super specific situational ultra SDI oh. rear recovery things that will like lead into a 50-50 when normally like other Sheik players or whoever would just die and he will get a stock off of it. He has really good macro sense. He will get these just like really brilliant up tilt timings that will just lead into Boom. a stock. Because he was in my pool. He, had, he went to game five with I think everyone. He went to game five with myself, Mech, and yeah, uh, game Man five, three. Mango in the pool as well. Um, the only one he lost to was, I guess, Mango. Is this a 3 0 comeback if he nails this? Mm, nah, he's still in. He's still in. Oh, he's still in? Yeah. Why did oh he do? Oh my god, that's actually crazy. Yeah. He's still living. You're dead. Back hair, back hair. Oh, double oh, tech. Oh, he just didn't want to do it. Mango that's popped off. Bad. That was interesting because, you know, like, it was still like J Mook was new. You know, J Mook only had one good tournament, and then there's a second thing. And Mango usually doesn't pop off when he beats somebody who's, like, lower ranked. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. It was already a big deal that Mango was popping off when he beat you because Mango didn't pop off a lot in general. It was like a, it was like, oh shit, this guy's, he's pop off worthy. He almost beat Mango. I mean, he really, <laughs> he had Mango like right. He's popping off on the new that guy. Was one of the closest sets I've ever seen. It's a respect. It's not respect. No, it's a sign of respect for sure. Yeah, like Mango is Being generally pop off versus H box or Armada. Or, you know, yeah. is pretty cool. Like, it's people who are not well versed in the game maybe don't think it's tech chasing. Is Bro, aim here to fucking ruin JMook's reputation. Here's how I'm gonna make a fucking hot take here. A lot of Sheiks can do the tech chase, all right? A lot of them. A fucking lot of them. Uh, Captain Face Roll can do it. Smart can do it. The tech chase is not what makes JMook special. JMook has fucking insane up tilts, insane edge guards, insane needles, okay? His movement's better. He does the fucking sick walk. That's what makes him sick. But people that don't understand Sheik are like, oh, he does the tech chase. Tech chase is already very He's not even the best tech chaser. I swear to God. That's not his thing. Eamon's out here fucking trashing my man's reputation Most with the nerd shit. Thing, especially if it became like standard and everybody hit it all the time. He also, yeah, he also holds down like a demon. He also has the insane uh, SDI. ASDI. But seeing somebody finally do it that well is incredible because it's so difficult. It's so hard. Him being able to do that for one, I think is crazy. This is like bad just marketing. Being able this is bad marketing, Aiden. Any grab into a stock. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. I think the other thing that makes him really interesting and cool is the way he uses reverse aerials. He's able to incorporate reverse fair and yeah, he's really uh, which is fair. pretty a pretty small hitbox into his combos in such a cool fucking way. And then also he adds in there and up air in a lot of places that I don't see and any down other air. Sheik added into. Like he'll just extend combos in really, really interesting ways with like the tip of his feet, with moves where yeah. a lot of people would choose to true. try and like tilt or fair to try and extend or end the combo just because like that's enough damage. Like this is the only thing I can secure, but he'll find a way to like squeak in one of those other areas. He's a bit of a squeaker. Just keep it going. That isn't down air. I've noticed like, not that he doesn't down air, but I think a lot of Sheiks have used down air to like continue their combos in like interesting and cool ways, but he's using nair and up air in interesting, cool ways. And I really, really like that. The other thing is definitely his edge guarding. His edge yeah. guarding his needles and the way he like reads people off the edge is so incredible. It's like, cracked. Watching the way he converts stocks off stage is so unique. Give me a clip. To him. I want to show you guys. The way he squeaks in needles or finds a way to Look convert at that. Oh, so, so if you guys don't know, when Sheik's in the ground and she throws a needle, you can barely even see the needle. It's like an incredibly small hitbox. Uh, and the way he squeaks. When she's on the ground with the needle, it goes straight. It goes do 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 do. But if you hop and throw the needle, it goes angled down like this. So look at this. Like, needles. like he hops, he waits. Or, or finds. You can't even. Fucking, it's almost too fast to see. Unique to him. It's almost too fast to see. In. Look at this. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow mo, dude. Look at this. Needles. Look at the timing. Tosses the needle to hit him right as he's about to hit the ledge. Look at the needle. Oh my god. They had the fucking timing on that. The fucking angling on that. It's fucking cracked. So the needle hits him. It stops him from getting to the ledge. And then, the, and then Fox is like, fuck. And then he just falls down. Pops him with the edge of his foot. Trades. Uh-oh. Back to the ledge. In way 
plays that and then it rolls up. Sheets. Look at that. That's so, that's so cracked. That's so cracked. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Down there. Oh. 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 That's game. He finds ways to like kind of maneuver his way in and like these small spots to make sure he gets well, I don't want a plus leaves, minus because so no it's to only good in motion. It's just over. And I really, really <laughs> like that about him. Yeah, I love you, favorite. I definitely favorite that in this scenario. This is what you wanted, Phil. Yeah, this is yeah. it. I need some sloppy. Oh! 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 O
Are you live right are, now? I, <laughs> whether I was live, not, or in the hospital with my family, I would call you like this. This is a very important, fucking serious conversation. Your, your dad is on his deathbed. You're yeah, if, if, if my dad's right on the respirator right now, I'm taking a break to do this your, quick your call. Dad, this your is. <laughs> I just, it, right you know, no, I'm not saying you don't believe in J-Mook. I'm saying you're implying in this, this quote directly is that me and Age Shrug looked at each other and we both said he's not beating Zayn at Summit. Oh, okay. And I will make a, I will make an addendum. I will make an addendum. You know, whether or not people, other people can hear this yeah, right now. Okay, great. Uh, it is true. Yeah. The way I phrased that in the interview was poor. Because yeah. You did believe that J-Mook would win and I did not. I love you. And I love you. My my dad's actually having a really hard time. Now I have to go, but thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Love so you so cool, much. Man. You're great. I actually, actually had a trip in like the middle of nowhere with my girlfriend right now. Don't know why I picked that. <laughs> 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 well, we're all busy, so I appreciate that, though. Have a good one, Aiden. Bye. All right, bye. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I told you guys. I told you guys. <laughs> Just want you guys to know that I told you. Everyone's saying, oh, my God, exposed. I want you to know that you're a piece of shit. Uh, I've been on the J. Mc doesn't lose twice train fucking forever. Uh, no longer cringe. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. That Aiden. I'll come back. He's always and been I honest. Look back at my computer screen at like the end of game five, and I'm like, holy shit, it's happening. And I I run down the stairs like a kid on Christmas to Atrioc. I'm like, he fucking did it. He fucking did it. Like. That was sick. Oh, that was sick. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's dead. No, oh. he's not. Oh. Well played. Hey, what an adjustment from Jennifer. Right? It's a huge adjustment. Yeah, he was dominant in that right. match. It's, it's just so fun being a Jamie fan right now because he's like, he doesn't. There's no reason for him to exist. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's like you kind of expected the melee scene to stay pretty much the same with the same players and Sheik never to have a real good shot. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no. It, Nobody in your bingo car was like, yeah, out of nowhere, a 22-year-old fucking Giga Chad, perfect posture Sheik player who only plays Sheik is going to come out of nowhere and dominate. Like, no, that was never in 2022. <laughs> what, what, what was the fucking chances, dude? What was the fucking chances? Don't disrespect the J-Fox. I am disrespecting the J-Fox. Um, Zane before pandemic? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're a Marth fan, I guess Zane is kind of the same thing. Like, Zane just comes out of nowhere. and But he didn't really come out of nowhere. I mean, I don't know. I think Zane is the most out-of-nowhere top player we've had in a minute. Um, Yeah, 21 years after the game comes out, let's just have this fucking Giga Chad kid come in and, and dominate with she A character that, like, I don't know, just wasn't expected to do this. It's just cool. Happened so consistently. Like, every Roy time Mains, I have an Chad. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Lingus. <laughs> Roy Mains. Um, I wanted to tell Linkus something, but I forgot. Oh, Linkus, when are you back? Are you traveling or something? I want to get you and a Spectacore back together for a re reverse emergency new Hitman horse. Because I think the last one had so many lag issues, it might not be able to make a video. So I wanted to do another one with the new rules that we are creating. I might have to do an emergency new horse. You got home today? Maybe even tomorrow. Maybe even I get a spectacle tomorrow. We do a reverse emergency midday Hitman horse with new rules. So I can still get a video. Because I think the last one's not going to make it. Um, But we will still credit uh, Spectacore as the winner, obviously. Um, And he actually had a sick... Let me... I'll talk to uh, I'll talk to uh, Spectacore. It's like... I take tomorrow off for Marketing Monday, but we can do like a we can do like a midday, like an early Hitman horse, and then knock it out. And then I'll Marketing Monday all night. He can't be quite there yet, and then he just gets that win or does it anyway. And I think that's what's so impressive about J Mook so far is his performances and his level of improvement. As much as you could hope out of a melee player, he seems to exceed it somehow at every turn, and I think that's really incredible. His immaculate tech chasing, so consistent. He's good at. Other matchups like Marth, I mean, he's beating me and Zane now, so it's like. I forgot I lost the plot.
Flip is fucking good. People... I am forgetting it. Introducing our newest competitor. Oh, there you go. I knew that like he was a very likely candidate like a month in advance where like my general manager was like, yeah, we're thinking of picking up a second melee player and like who would you recommend out of all of them? And it's like, you need to pick up Jane Book right now. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like, if you don't pick him up, like Someone else he's will. probably gonna improve more. You, you gotta scoop him right now. They reached out to me after after Summit. They contacted me and and here I am. It's a very it's a very surreal experience, experience to be wearing a, a jersey and representing an organization, you know, just because they want to see me play the game, you know. Yeah, I'm excited to see Is him. the FlyQuest uh, guy in here in chat? He comes in sometimes. FlyQuest, do you around? Any shot? Probably not. Uh what I want to do is I want to go do some live content. Um, at a tournament where JMook's at. I want to do like something. Um, and I want to start with FlyQuest about it. Let's see if we can partner up. Um, pop off and because like everybody has a question. It's like, dude, what's the best Jay Smash Mook? org? Second at Genesis. There's not really any Smash orgs, it, but it's like, there's no man, Smash only orgs. It felt I don't more think. like a vision <laughs> like in the near future. I would not have thought that would be. In 2022, I'd be sponsored by an organization for just playing melee. A 14-year-old JMook would not be, you know, picturing this right now. Yeah, I guess Cloud9. They've sponsored Mango for the longest. Panda? Yeah, I guess Panda is a fighting game only thing. Well, for this tournament, it's pretty much just no, they have other games too, right? Possible, despite my two performances, there are still top players that I haven't even, haven't gotten the chance to play with at all. You know, so I'm hoping to squeeze out as much potential out of this tournament as much as I can. You know, perform and you know represent Team FlyQuest, play my best, and you know, let's see what happens. So there is some question marks though. Like there's some of his spreads that are good. And now it's time to see if JMook's also good at like the rest of the spread. Because like every top player ha has holes. No matter how good they are. Thunder still have the 18 months. The question we have for JMook. You said, you said almost a year. But you've subscribed for 18 months. So you, it's well over a year. <laughs> Thank you for the 18. That's a year and a half to be clear. Thank you so much though. Do appreciate it. You're not very... <laughs> There's 20 months in a year, bro. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> if you want to say almost a year, fine. Congrats on almost a year. I don't, I don't, it's, it's fucking your fucking... <laughs> I just want to help you out because it's really not. It's not. Hey, Luke, is how good is he versus Jigglypuff, more specifically, H-God. When I'm thinking about players that might give JMX some trouble, Hungrybox definitely comes to mind. And yeah, I just think that... No, enemy number one. Things are going on there. H-Box has always been incredibly good versus The problem Jigglypuff. with Hungrybox versus JMX is that Hungrybox is a bigger chain. That's the biggest problem. His chain hang low. It's heavier. It's because of his years of success. He bought a more expensive and heavier chain. And so when they fucking go head to head, it's like the, the, the chain is just a big factor. I just think that a couple things are going on there. Hbox has always been incredibly good versus Sheik. It's just a pretty good matchup for Puff. It's a matchup where when you have to be under the stage of Sheik, you're probably going to eat a rest unless you're like very, very doing, doing a very particular like mix up or something very tricky. On the flip side, of course, like she can't really edge guard Puff that same way. Obviously, Puff just has too many jumps. Oh, I know that. That they've had close sets online, but I do know that Hungrybox is up. I do give think Jmook a big Jmook chain. I was thinking about giving Jmook an Enron chain, <laughs> but uh, I feel like it might not be good. <laughs> uh... What she needs to do in that matchup is be very mobile, use the platforms to kind of circumvent the fact that she doesn't have the best aerial mobility unless she's bad looking flag west. Nah. And unfortunately I do think that Jamek is the kind of player who has that tech skill. I think he's gonna be able to figure it out, but I do kind of expect I hope it, I eat my words on this, but I do kind of expect that Jamek is Thanks Random Corrupt for the sub. Sorry I missed game it. Game one Jamek first H box. 
Yeah, there's that crutch I'm talking about. It's not just Monk has moved over the 15 months. So Almost so one month, he said. Sean, they with the prime. Dolphino, they with the 28 months. God damn. This, I believe, will do it. Yes, covers it. We're going to game two. I think the immediate crouch off of a whip from H box. Oh. Oh! That's a really good conversion right there. Jamus with the lead early on. Almost one month. On this entire set. Dash attack, a move that we see so often in other matchups, but not in this one. And it takes a lot of control to not just whip it out every time. Strong hit opener, and Jamus is nickel and diming him across the stage. Uh oh. He just DIs that one out. Jamus with the set lead right now. Breaking them apart. He wins this okay. set, loses the final. Going right? to game five, ladies and gentlemen. H box, the solid seed on that one. Thanks, Nyaja49. Thank you, Fat and Sassy, for the two months. He's not giving it to him. He knows what he wants, and he's just defending brilliantly. Hella control by Mook to not whip it out there. We are approaching percent. Oh, oh no, oh, you oof, hate oof, this. Oof, oof. Oof. We have just is Liquid Hbox or is it Cloud9 Mango that is the longest running esports player and team combination? I think Mango and Cloud9 is the single longest time an esports player has been signed to an orc ever. But isn't HBox close? Isn't he like number two? <laughs> HBox was cursed before? I think they count that. Because curse turned into liquid. They merged. Curse became TL. It wasn't like it was a switch team. Uh if curse counts, it might be HBox. Yeah, was Curse before or after? I know Mango's the I think Mango's the longest, but I think number two is is H Bucks. Who's longer? T1 Faker? Is T1 Fake no, is T1 Faker longer than Mango? Yes, right? Actually, yes. Is T1 Faker the longest running? Faker? That's so sick. I love Faker. <laughs> I love Faker. I'm a big Faker um, fan. But Amsa, you know, he made his name in the scene, beating people like Mewtwo King That's right. at the time. He... No, FaZe Banks doesn't count. He's not a player. What is FaZe Banks competing in? Fucking blunt rolling? It's... <laughs> no. It's not... <laughs> it's not FaZe Banks, dude. It's fucking... Uh... No. Scump's not still on Optic. Faker's been out for 10 years, and he's not even that old. Faker is like a 10-year veteran who's got three world championships in the biggest eSport, and he's like, isn't he like 25 or something? How old's Faker? He's probably even younger than that. I swear to God, he started so young. He's 26. Okay. He's 26. That's crazy. That's fucking amazing how long he's been doing it, and he's still, he's 26. He had teammates that were like 31 at some point. Jamus played kind of shaky at the beginning. Scump left Optic a little bit in the middle. Streak broken. Uh oh, Snapchat friend streak broken. Strong hit in the right direction for the Nair, and that's probably going to do it. Yeah. Amsa very happy with that win, obviously. Jeez, the scraps between these two. Yeah, they are absolutely duking it out. That is. Dude, that one will. Yeah, that will. Oh, yeah. Isn't Faker playing Gen G tonight at like 1 a.m. for another title? All right. Advantage J. Luke has to hold on to it. Really like the way it's in an play. hour? Shit, I might watch. Uh, will I get fucking banned if I watch? What if we just peep in and out? Situation though, really slow on the get up. Beautiful option. That would be a great way for me to get back into League of Legends Amsa to watch a little Faker. Anyway, so quickly, the last time I liked League of Legends, I was so game. inspired by Faker. What an uphill, he's the he's the thing know, I love most about League is is watching right, Faker play mid. Going over Pokemon Stadium. See the change of scenery, removal of that top platform might be enough to help James out. Oh, that got weird. Okay, got really weird. 
Opportunity for Jamu Kalpor. Can he take it? The shield drop up air, not quite enough to do it. Next one will probably kill, though. <gasps> That's it. 3 0. Opsa clutching it out against Jamu, one of the quickest rising players in the game. You start to miss law until you play it. Oh, I know. You guys have been well. I've. I have done so much League of Legends in my life. I've played all the different phases of League. <laughs> I know what happens. I know what coming back is like. I know the game. I know that I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> but I am going to enjoy getting kills for Team Clint. It's 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 not just like a... It's not about enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? It's about the team. It's about the brotherhood. It's about the squad. It's about the lineup. Okay? If I show up and it's the off season and I've fucking got out of shape and I'm not ready, it's bad for the team. It's family. Overall, it was more or less how I normally play. I was I wasn't playing exceptionally well. I wasn't playing, you know, terrible. So it was it was, it was like a solid medium, kind of like like understanding like. Bro, he's been at top five you know, every tournament he's attended since Genesis. Especially playing he just, the crowd. He just became because, a top five player. You know, Genesis was. He just decided one day I'm gonna do that. Crowds when my first time, my first time performing. Thank you for the one year, Axe Flame. This is like kind of like a, an insight into how. I will be performing under pressure, you know. I have to understand that these, like, that I won't exactly be, you know, do, having these crazy runs. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of like good, good way to like put myself in my, put myself in my place. And obviously, like, Amsa, you know, knocked me out. I'm um, happy I didn't get upset. There were a lot of upsets this, this tournament, so I'm happy that I at least got to make it this far. You know, to, you know, to be seated third and also mm -hmm. my first time, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. being sponsored. You know, there's there's a lot of like a lot of expectations, you know like coming into this event. So I'm glad that that didn't really get the better of me. And I was able to, you know, not really, not exactly interact with those like thoughts of self-doubt and, you know, can I actually, you know, do I actually deserve this? Do I actually, can I actually like, you know, hang with the top players? Honestly, I don't have too much practice Boom. against like Luigi versus Yoshi. So those matches in particular, I was very like concerned about. So it was more so like, like against Luigi, for instance, Eddie Mexico. Is this Steve from Mexico. Stranger Things? I yep. don't have as much Luigi. You know what's so crazy is that Jmook is a full-time melee player and still finds time to act in the show Stranger Things, as like a pretty successful character, Steve. It's actually, I don't know how he fits all this into his schedule. It's crazy. I'm proud of myself for being able to like overcome that. Like, you know, thank you for that. 16 stage. months, you know, Ducky. Like, Hbox, you know, we've played, we've had a lot of like online sets. That was our first. What like, can't set he do? He's an insane. Set. He's a multi-generational talent. Even when I'm not playing my best, I can still like. My B game or my 6 or 7 out of 10 can still get me to where I want to go. Loved it. It was a great experience. Great experience. I mean, Bulba Vancouver has been is signed and playing to, on EG since you know, 2012. Come this far west of Canada, that. it's so it's been, you know, great experience. Get to meet meet everyone. You know, also, you know, my first time being sponsored, you know, FlyQuest. So overall, I'm like, you know, more good. Do you think playing games is bad for your overall health? Probably, but why would you stop? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Games are like one of the coolest, like if you're going to, you know what I'm saying? People always say like, I wish I was born a different generation. The best part about being born in this generation, like being alive right now is that we have sick games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the best, that's the best thing we've got. We've got sick games, sick ways to watch games. Uh, <laughs> you know, it would be, it would, I would hate to waste it, to waste this time period and not get into fucking all the sick games that are available. Um, is gaming a bubble? In no way. No, 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 no. Gaming is just getting more and more important. It's gonna get more and more fucking uh, powerful and, and important. Uh, well, you could be reading books. <laughs> Freaking time. You can read books in the Renaissance, dude. Yeah, if you're playing, so if you're live now, you play games. Like Gamble. And you can already see like the, the stage lending itself a little bit better to how David wants to approach this. Because Josh Man can't do as many lasers as staying back as he was doing. God, oh, that's so three sick! <laughs> three needles? Wait, watch that again. Just watch that again. How David wants to approach this. Because Josh Man can't do as many lasers. Knocks him off. Jumps up. Needle one. Pop. Expects the jump, by the way. Predicts the jump. Hits him with a needle. All right? Then runs off this into the fall. Another needle. Pop. That's two needles. Then runs off this edge. Another angled needle. And he's dead. And then he gets back. 
cracked! Oh, oh my god. He just recognizes his angle so quickly. Second place. HBox has been the fucking I'm wall, dude. In Toronto, and then afterwards, it's kind of up in the air. But overall, this summer, I'm just looking to travel to as much as I can. You know, I have the sponsorship. I have nothing else to do. I, you know, I quit my job. You know, I'm out of school. So there's really He's there's all no in, reason baby. for me not to just travel the world and go to as much as I can. Uh, I just want to thank all of my fans, all of you at home, who my friends, my family, everyone who knows that I can do this. And I just want to say I'm very thankful for you guys. For me to be here, to be traveling around the world, to play my favorite video game for a living is is you know it's You're the dream you know i'm very <laughs> excited that i have this opportunity and i just want to thank all of you for cheering me on despite you know despite my doubts. you're welcome yeah i guess i just want to give a shout out to all my friends and family over the years you know who you are my friends and family i've saw you know everything you know even when i was like 14 or 15 realizing that this is something that i've you know really wanted to to, to do to really you know push myself and you know be in this chair right now to my friends to my mom my brother, my dad, all my- I'm dropping out of school and work to play Melee. I've never played the game before, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be great. Good luck. <laughs> People used to do that for League of Legends. I remember because I was, I was extremely active in League and I would read all the forums and read the Reddits. And, and there's people that were like, yeah, I'm gold in League. I'm going to drop out and go pro. <laughs> but like not joking. They're like, hey, yeah, I've, I've, I've already played in my free time and I got gold. So if I, get, if I go full time, I'll be challenger. No problem. And it's like, bro, you- you need to be fucking top challenger before you even think about quitting. My close friends, my closest friends who I've met through Smash, you know, at my first tournament, I want to give a shout out to them. And, you know, I love you all. Yeah, so sad. That was so sad. Does anyone have the clip of me watching this? I feel like I collapsed in my chair. He did get ranked third, which was crazy. I think he's the biggest jump in the rankings list ever. Am I correct on that? I think JMook is the biggest jump ever on the rankings list. He went from like whatever low rank he was to rank three. Was he unranked? I didn't know he was unranked. Wow. Yeah, biggest jump in the history of the rankings list. That's uh, of all melee. No one's ever come out of nowhere to go that high. It's crazy. Do you watch Pro League? I used to watch all the time. Uh, this is an awesome video. I'm glad I watched it. What's the org that made it? Patreons? Check them out. Check out their Patreon. What is it? What is their Patreon? Action Esports. Check them out. Action Esports, Patreon. That was a sick video. Very well. Very well done. Very well done. Um, uh, the Mookster really been mooking lately. Absolutely. After spending all my time on the internet, I've decided to quit it all and become a pro basketball player. Keep me in your prayers, believers. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine we see Vicaro from the chat room fucking dunking on LeBron in, in six months. Just imagine. Do you put in that work? Do you put in that grussel? I believe. Please wear a fucking uh, glizzy hands hoodie or something while you're doing it. Man soul. Oh, this is, the, this is the clip. Bro, this is me when I saw. No! No! <laughs> Well, I was miserable, dude. Game ten? God, that was so sad. Oh, that was two X speed. That's what the problem. Um, sad, sad. All right, hey, wait, wait, we got more videos to watch. Um. There it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Get smarter Saturdays. What else we got? 
Tattooing close up. Aunt Sally's awesome big ass apple pie. One minute and 23 seconds. What? Damn, that's a big ass apple pie, Aunt Sally. <laughs> the editing is so powerful. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick could never, dude. Zinjo, take notes. Eric Sinchi, take notes. This reminds me of the Sandman scene. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure that we got too much smarter on that, but I'm glad you submitted it. Powerful stuff. 20-year-old virgin room tour. I don't know how to start this. All right, come in. <laughs> I um I wanted to I'm gonna like, see how much it was you guys' chat. Let you invade. Sure, that's Reagan. I love Reagan. Like, like anime. Reagan. We're all sitting down. Anime. Nothing to do. Do anything with these. Uh, the glossary book of spells. Star versus the. Like she does art. She's got a productive hobby. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. You can't have a productive hobby. You have to be completely unproductive with all your time. Yeah, it's also, it's also was a little bit too clean. Um, the most overpowered Catan setup possible. Shark Tank pee pee poo poo. The interstates for can animals commit crimes is funny. <laughs> the Black Lotus weird laws. Capitalism is destroying us. Building a Mars base is a horrible idea. Hmm. Who owns the Statue of Liberty? How NVIDIA won graphics cards? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Real estate tech, a crumbling house of cards. Hmm. Hmm. The time we nuked five men to prove a point. Fear of cold, we've already seen. Um, very serious business. Interesting. I think we've already watched that, but it looks good. The consequences of reducing the skill gap. Oh, I've already watched that too. It was good too. The world of Riot's MMO is already done. What does that mean? Is it? Have they announced something? Um, everyone reacts to this video? All right, skip it then. How one company destroyed an entire country? Shell destroyed Nigeria? Uh, it's just League of Legends lore. Okay, I got it. Why Shrek 2 is a perfect sequel. <laughs> Love is toxic. Gen Z is doomed. <laughs> this seems... <laughs> I hope it's parodying that kind of stuff. Uh, the casino chip forgers who scam Vegas for millions. That's interesting. 47 minutes, though. Um, the rise and fall of Half-Life. How Amazon's shipping process worked. 
Games that saved the best for last. God damn it, Jacob Geller. You have good titles. But I don't know that I can stand 26 minutes. Um, can we watch the pie video again? Hippie here says, just pick something. All caps, breathless. He is so concerned that I don't pick something soon. This is like your typical Netflix night. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys are submitting them. We got to pick something. What is this? From hacking $4.1 million to prison, the IRL money doubler. The IRL money doubler? I just wish they were. God, I wish people could keep it under 20. Mm. Spider-Man 3 making a masterpiece? <laughs> this is perfect. Look at Donkey Dude. A nice four-minute video on the whole movie. Instead of 20 minutes about the sand scene, he's got a nice four-minute on the whole movie. Well, I could sort by length. Wait, I can actually, right? Sheesh. All right, let's see if there's anything interesting here. Oh. Uh oh, it's gonna keep fucking resetting though, unfortunately. Making Hitman 3's best level. We've already seen that. Um China's TikTok crisis. What is China's TikTok crisis? God, it's another one of these. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> I have got to put uh, Xi Jinping in a fire background. Hi, this is the most common thumbnail I see on YouTube now with my fucking viewing habits. It, it is like the... It is just fucking YouTube gold. You just put <laughs> Xi looking kind of like at the camera and then fire in the background and people fucking go crazy for it. I feel like I have to see it though. I have to know what January the January 2019. 23 year old Jennifer Chen is traveling back home to China to celebrate Lunar New Year's with her parents. She had just sat down with her family to enjoy a New Year's. Can you guys believe the entire nation of China, one of the most rich and powerful nations on the planet Earth, a nation that has grown exports over the past two years, is going to completely collapse in two weeks? <laughs> we're like, we're like, we're like 11 days away from the complete collapse and they just won't exist. The government will be completely... Isn't that crazy? Wow. It's almost unbelievable. It's almost like you shouldn't believe it. But thankfully, it has to be true because it's on YouTube. Uh, the collapse has begun. <laughs> Meal, when she heard a knock on the door... It was the police. They had come to... This vid is mad. It's kind of fear baiting. Ugh, all right, fine. I'll skip. Come to a... Let's see. I just want to see how many they got. <laughs> hey, they're sticking to their schedule. This is 20 days apart, right? The fall's in 47 days. The fall's in 27 days. All right, so we're 23 days away. We're 23 days away. Same face, all of these thumbnails. I told you. You think I was joking? But the, he's not even the only one doing it. Look at like, uh, didn't Graham Steven? What's up, you guys? Yeah, he's got <laughs> China's economic class. Yeah, right here. Look at this. 29 days. Xi in a downward. Yeah, I mean, it, it, everyone's just fucking, they just put <laughs> his face and something bad in the background and... It's just like the most common shit. You're, uh, he's, it's like 10 YouTubers all doing this. Um, Why do you watch this shit? I mean, you do see, I have watched like a little bit. I've watched almost none, dude. I'm not fucking spam watching it. But as soon as I want to see, and then immediately, like I watched this one, and I immediately knew it was a, it was fake. Like I immediately knew like there was wrong information. Because they had the fucking tank scene that was proven false. Um, all right, I don't want to watch this. Uh, all right, let's see what else you 
It's insane how many subs and views they get. Yeah, they, yeah, they do really well. Nuke vid was 10 minutes. You think? All right, we can watch that. Why we nuked five people to prove a point. Five people. Five men. All right, here it is. Let's find out. To prove a point. What's the point we're proving? On July 19, 1957, five U.S. Air Force officers and one photographer volunteered to stand a few miles behind me. Next to them, a sign that said Ground Zero, Population 5. In the next few minutes, a two kiloton nuclear warhead would detonate 18 and a half thousand feet directly above their heads. Why would these men volunteer for such a demonstration? And what happened to them? Hmm. I wonder, I already love the intro. It got to the point and where it's only a 10 minute video. Do you think he will give a history of nukes? <laughs> I, I, I don't know how this guy's going to approach it because this video seems like appropriately paced. Will he jump in to a history of nukes right now? Before they were banned internationally in 1963, most above ground nuclear weapons tests were as much spectacles of nuclear supremacy as they were actual tests. Mushroom clouds kilometers high, X-ray driven fireballs hotter than the sun, light intense enough to vaporize a vehicle's paint job. But in this incredible archival video of five men that was pretty standing quick, though. underneath that a was pretty quick. explosion, we see something else. Instead of destruction, not much more than a synchronized flinch. A few moments earlier, 65 miles northwest yeah, of that's Las Vegas, an F-89 interceptor had launched a two kiloton nuclear war already in the new directly shit. above the heads of Colonel Sidney Bruce, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Ball, Major Norman Bottinger, Major John Hughes, Don Luttrell, and George Yoshitaki, the unseen cameraman. These men were ground zero population five for a successful test of the world's first air-to-air -air nuclear weapon. How interesting. These men volunteered to get nuked to prove a point to you. In the background was the growing struggle between two great powers to shape the post-war world. In the middle years of the Cold War, but before intercontinental ballistic missiles would render them tactically disadvantageous, Cold War America was most worried about a surprise nuclear attack from fleets of Soviet bombers. Anti-aircraft technology at the time wasn't equipped to handle dozens of relatively high-flying, fast-moving planes. So in the August of 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower appointed MIT President James R. Killian Jr. to lead some of the nation's top scientists, engineers, and industry professionals in an effort to counter this potential threat to develop strategy and technology that would okay. make this aspect of the Cold War a little colder. 307 meetings later, a panel of 42 experts produced a 190-page document entitled, Meeting the Threat of Surprise Attack. During their four-hour testimony to the U.S. National Security Council in 1955, the experts argued that the most effective way to meet a thermonuclear-equipped adversary in the air was with nuclear weapons also This is the, the movie air. Oppenheimer, yeah. Indeed, the report recommended that nuclear weapons should be the main defense against possible air attacks. Wait, what? The reasoning was simple. A single warhead of significant tonnage should be enough to- The recommendation was if there's a fleet of bombers in the sky, nuke them? <laughs> I guess, I, guess I would like to see this point Soviet proving as well. Flying in bombing formation. The council was convinced that same year, development would begin on the McDonnell Douglas Air 2A gene, McDonald's, a one McDonald's nuke. nuclear warhead that could be fired air to air. But there was still a problem. The public. Rightly sensing that Americans might not want nuclear bombs detonating above their heads yeah. even in defense, of course. the Killian Committee also recommended that an upcoming demonstration of the genie technology be promoted to citizens as an advertisement of its safety. <laughs> a nuclear bomb publicity stunt. <laughs> they just needed some volunteers. <laughs> Two years later, July okay. 19th, 1957, 
F-89 pilot Captain Eric William Hutchinson fires a 1.5 kiloton nuclear warhead powered by a solid fuel Thiokol SR-49 TC-1 rocket engine. Nerge. The engine runs for two seconds. Now traveling at over three times the speed of sound, the rocket flies for another 12 seconds. Hutchinson executes a dangerous high-G maneuver to ensure that he escapes the 1,000-foot blast radius. And then, the genie was out of the bottle. Okay. There it goes. Oh, they got footage of it. We felt a heat pulse. A very bright light. Damn, that feels a so stupid to volunteer for. Red. The sky looks black about it. It is boiling above us there. Okay, but people aren't... It's not even just the fucking, uh, you know, instant vaporization of being in the blast radius. It, isn't it going to, like, fucking cause huge radiant fallout? Isn't it cancer, radiation? Like, isn't that the fucking risk? How is a nuclear weapon dangerous? It may surprise you to... They all got radiant and valorant? That's fucking sick! <laughs> Holy shit! We can make all of our soldiers better... By detonating nukes above them all. You get easy rank up. ...that what most people imagine to be the most destructive aspect of a nuclear weapon, the ionizing radiation and subsequent fallout, is in reality the smallest fraction of a detonation's colossal energy output. Okay. And ionizing radiation only makes it so far in air as it collides with the atmosphere's atoms and molecules while fallout is of most concern when an explosion vaporizes a large amount of additional material, like terrestrial rock or sea coral. Therefore, a relatively small nuclear weapon, like the Genie's W-25, detonating at an altitude six times higher than the highest building on Earth, did in fact pose very little threat to anyone on the ground. Fireballs would rise into the sky and cool, any minimal fallout would spread out as to become mostly harmless. <laughs> okay, what is mostly harmless here? Minimal fallout, mostly harmless. Like, what is that? <laughs> when your mom gets cancer, that's <laughs> what is that's not mostly like. What is that? What does that mean? Mostly harmless that you've got a nuclear detonating above. Warhead carrying Soviet aircraft, on the other hand, would find it physically impossible to escape deletion as a missile moving at Mach 3.3 instantly transforms into a 1,000-foot-wide sphere of air hotter than the center of a star. The same year that five men successfully stood beneath Shot John of Operation Plumbob, the United States started producing some 3,100 Genie air-to-air -air rockets Shit, and attached them to interceptor aircraft at 31 bases across 20 states. The genie would remain in service for almost another 30 years. And secretly, the only nuclear weapon that could be launched in response to an attack without presidential authority. Oh, interesting. Thankfully, the only genie that was ever fired and detonated was at Ground Zero, Population 5. By the late 80s, nuclear strategy changed. It had to. Intercontinental ballistic missiles could now quickly strike nearly anywhere on Earth, yeah. and a single one, like the Russians' R-36 warhead with a 25 megaton yield, could glass an entire city glass and spread city. deadly fallout over half a coast. That's more than a little Gone damage. Gone were the days of relatively slow fleets of bombers that could be stopped with unfocused nuclear fire. <laughs> the age of mutually assured destruction was here. And we've it's, been living it's crazy that people still think like we should nuke someone. <laughs> it's crazy that anyone out there thinks like we should, you know, people that say we should solve problems with nukes ever. Like we should nuke Russia or, you know, anyone that says that is so fucking stupid. Like <laughs> the, the weapons are so far beyond uh, whatever we could contain. You know what I'm saying? It's It's the end of fucking humanity. It's so... It's so ridiculous to think about using nukes. ...atop the insane geopolitical knife edge that replaced the genie ever since. As for the five men at Ground Zero, they were right. Or at least what they were told before they volunteered was right. Time and distance is what saved them, what made the test a suitable PR stunt. Exploding outwards from a single point, the intensity of a nuclear bomb's pressure wave 
ionizing radiation and scalding heat decreases exponentially with the square of the distance traveled. A warhead like Genie's with a 1,000-foot blast radius wouldn't be three times less intense three radii away, it would be nine times less intense. And therefore, with over 18,000 feet between them and a genie out of the bottle, the men would hear a shockingly large noise eventually, but feel little else. Mm. And by presumably not spending very much time in the area of any potential fallout, long-term health effects for the men were extremely unlikely. Indeed, records show that every single one of them lived very long lives afterwards. Some lived well into their 90s. Oh, wow. Donald Luttrell passed away just eight years ago. Well, we are talking about people that were in a ground zero location for one, you know, hour or whatever during the explosion, then left. Not like detonating it over or near a place people lived and they stay. <laughs> and then there is fallout and then there, you know, it feels like it's more. It's not the kind of time you might expect afforded to you after standing directly below a nuclear blast time and distance that is a long life though Until maybe next. what he's trying to say is that not only are nukes not bad for you they might even be good for you. they might be healthy <laughs> it might be like we should detonate nukes more often so we could live longer and healthier lives because to be honest the average life expectancy is like 75 and these guys live to be 90 so if we just do if we use these unused genie nukes a little radiation might give us that juice Plus, we may get superpowers, <laughs> which would be awesome. That was a great video. It really got to the point. I loved it. Ten minutes. Easy, easy clap. Jacob Geller could never, dude. <laughs> Jacob Geller talking about that same thing. I wish he would do a video on that. I would. I Is he on Patreon? I will donate to see Jacob Geller do a video on that, <laughs> that same situation. It will be fucking six hours long. Fear of Cold is a Pog video, but I just, he doesn't, he's, brevity is not his strong suit. Um, the economics of K-pop could be interesting. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Use the link in the description to watch my class and thousands of others with a free two-month trial. Visiting Japan feels a bit like taking a trip to the future. Robots serve and deliver your food, vending machines. Don't know about you, but I would like to get Nuke to be the Hulk. You realize the problem is that we don't know that that would happen. <laughs> I just want, I want to be clear that we, we're all aware that like you're, it's unlikely that that would be the outcome. Do you know what I'm saying? So when you say don't know about you, the reason I wouldn't do it is because I'm not sure that I would become the Hulk. We have the documentary, The Incredible Hulk. I, <laughs> Machines sell everything from umbrellas to puppies. We do have the documentary. Whisk you around the island at 320 kilometers an hour, and its median age of 47 points. Be careful, Aatrox. He might Hulk smash you. Well, he hasn't done it yet. Three, the second highest in the world, warns of the global aging soon to come. There's one way, however, where Japan is stuck in the past. Walking around Tokyo or Osaka or Kobe, you might notice something odd. A strangely high number of music stores. Compared to the U.S., Japan has 40% as many people, Why is this about Japan? but nearly double so the number far. of music shops. As a whole, the Japanese music market is the second biggest in the world, but unlike almost any other. In most parts of the world, streaming has replaced physical sales. In 2015, for example, 66% of U.S. music sales were digital. In Japan, it's, it's way higher than that the now. Opposite. 75% of sales were physical. That's crazy. Japan still does heavy physical music buying? Only 18% were digital. This oh. is due in part to the country's stringent copyright laws, licensing restrictions, and rental culture. But there's another reason CDs are still loved in countries like Japan and South Korea. K-pop. Korean pop groups have offset losses from piracy with glossy, premium, collectible CDs, usually sold to fans who will never play them. Instead, CDs are sold as merch, often with different covers to encourage buying interesting. several, and sometimes act as lottery tickets for a chance to meet your favorite singer. Very What's interesting. What's so interesting about K- They turn CDs into a gotcha game. Wait one second, I have to go to the bathroom.
That's actually very interesting. No, it's not Yep Coke. It's not Yep Coffee. <laughs> it's Yep Triscuits and Yep Cheese. Uh, I'm actually liking this video so far. This is actually pretty interesting. That's a clever idea to sell, to turn C. Because the thing is, so you guys know the music industry uh, peaked in like the late 90s, early 2000s at the height of CD sales. That's the biggest revenues they ever had. And ever since then, they've had a big decline in revenue. Like, the music industry is just smaller. It doesn't make as much money. And they've had a recent boost because of streaming, but it's not nearly as big as it was in the late 90s. And so finding a way to still sell CDs, like a physical object for, you know, 16, 17 bucks, is uh, it's really clever. It's a smart marketing idea to turn it into, like, a collectible. Um pop as a business is that almost everything from the very beginning is manufactured as a consumer product. Artists aren't found but created, sculpted for maximum reach over many years in a factory system, and their international success is no accident. K-pop is a deliberate government-funded project aimed at growing South Korea's global power, making it in the process. South Korea needs to grow some fucking bitches, dude. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Uh, South Korea just has the lowest fertility rate in the entire world <laughs> as of uh, they got two years in a row. Uh, 2022, 2021, they're literally having no children. They are having absolutely no. Yeah, yeah South Korea is worse than Japan. They have this rapidly aging population with no children coming. Uh, Highly political. The 1988 Summer Olympics was a turning point for South Korea. Like Japan's 1964 and China's 2008 games, it was a rare historic opportunity to change the country's image abroad. Harsh censorship laws and restrictive TV network monopolies soon opened up, giving way to a new generation of artists. Four years later, in 1992, the Korean government's Culture and Tourism Institute began looking for new over. I lived in Korea for eight months. I love Korea. I think it's an awesome country. I think they have a lot of cool things. The biggest flaw they have, I mean, is they've got like a corporatocracy that's even worse than here. <laughs> There's like a few mega, mega, mega corps that just own everything in Korea. Like they're completely untouchable. They, they, they have incredible power over the government and everything. Samsung's one of them. They, they, they are. They are monopolies over everything. There's like almost no competition. It's like their biggest, I mean, because they have, they have incredibly clean cities. They have um, really innovative stuff. They have high scoring math and science. They have, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot going for the country, but it, it's definitely choked for the average person by the fucking absolute monopolies.
for these markets. But rather than waiting for demand, Korean entertainment. I do want to watch T1 vs Gen G, but I'm afraid I, I might get DNCA struck. We could try to sneak it, love maybe. Into Cantonese, but I think I'll get in trouble. Which sent to the Korean consulate in Hong Kong, where it was offered free to a local TV station. Soon, Hong Kong and its neighbor Guangzhou were as. One of the scariest things about Korea when you live there is that um, if you ever get into any debt, sometimes you'll get invited to play in like this game where everyone wears jumpsuits and. Uh, they turn like children's games into like this murderous TV show for the rich. It's one of the, it's like, it's, it's pretty common and it's actually really, really scary. It happens all the time in, in Seoul. Um, yeah, there's a documentary on it. You can check it out on Netflix. It's really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for more that happened to you no, 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 demand bro. spread to Taiwan Vietnam <laughs> Japan and further into mainland China which established diplomatic relations with South Korea that same year the media called this mass cultural dispersion how you or the Korean wave the next turning point came after the 1997 Asian financial crisis when manufacturing industries across South and Southeast Asia saw huge losses in response, President Kim Dae-jung turned to the entertainment sector, hiring a PR firm to launch a new national image. The cultural budget increased 600%, and a new Ministry of Culture was formed, including an entire K-pop department. The second Korean wave came in 2012 with the explosive viral hit Gangnam Style. Overnight, the whole world became curious about <laughs> Korean music, dramas, fashion, and language. And while it wasn't truly representative of K-pop as a genre, it was useful for one big thing, proving yeah. a song that didn't need to be written in English to succeed in the West, later confirmed by hits like Despacito. No one could have predicted the, the success two greatest songs of, of all time. Style, but the rise of Korean... Gangnam Style, Despacito, Baby Shark. The three songs I want played at my funeral, dude. Just fucking bangers all the way through. Everyone's, everyone's having a good time when you play the three greats. Mo Bamba number four. <laughs> Entertainment in some form was inevitable, engineered for, in fact, by the K-pop formula. The difference between it and other genres is that K-pop is reverse engineered based on consumer preferences. Where most musicians start off practicing in their parents' garages, driven only by a passion for the art and eventually get discovered by a record label, K-pop groups usually begin, rise, and change directions from a conference room. There are Pog. four big labels, Marketers. YG, SM, JYP, and Big Hit Entertainment. Although, again, the word label is slightly deceiving. These companies aren't so much agents as product designers. They create and shape every aspect of their groups. First, they begin with recruitment. Because K-pop singers are as much public idols as musicians, the composition of personalities is very important. Companies look for a set of distinct yet cohesive personalities so as to appeal to as large a fan base as possible, while not generating unnecessary internal conflict. Some labels turn recruitment into a reality TV competition, ideal for creating fan loyalty and dramatizing personalities. In 2012, 4% of the entire South Korean population tried out for Superstar K. That's its crazy. Most singing competition. Other companies recruit That's so high. personalities like appearance because the next component is training. Potential stars, sometimes as young as 11 years old, go through roughly five to 10 years of arduous preparation. A training schedule might be as follows. 5 a.m., wake up, practice choreography, go to school, get out at 3 p.m., practice vocals until six, language lessons until nine, and then exercise until 11, leaving an hour to get home before the train shut down for the night in Seoul and five hours for sleep. <laughs> Still, after all that, after sacrificing all other... God, imagine sleeping for five hours. Fucking lazy. It's like, you heard out of Grussling or what? Did they just not Grussling in Korea? It's like, it's great. Five hours for sleep? Also, where's the games? You're not even getting better at any video games. So you're, what, what's the point? You're... This is literally... <laughs> when is eating time? Uh, yeah, good question hobbies and dreams after learning english or japanese only about i wonder why no one's having kids <laughs> k-pop stars complain of long miserable hours low pay and unfair seven-year contracts which include clauses forbidding them from talking publicly about relationships and or requiring they maintain a certain weight 
Labels, in turn, argue these stipulations are necessary given the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of dollars and years they invest in each trainee. The Bro, it's actually fucked. The seven-year contract especially fucked because they do it and they, they train them till they're like, what, 18, 19, whatever? And they're ready to be stars, right? Then they lock them into a seven-year contract. By the time they're 27, their era of being like a teen, you know, pop star is over. So they cast them aside <laughs> and they go back to the next people and seven years, they're paying them pennies during their, their most famous era. Like when they're in the peak earning potential, when they're global superstars, they pay them almost nothing. And then they have to kind of remake their career when they're like older and then, and uh, when they can go solo and they've already been locked into seven. It's crazy. It's, it's, uh, it's super exploitive. The third ingredient and perhaps most important is localization. Because K-pop is so diverse, incorporating everything from pop to techno, rock, and hip-hop, it's hard to define what exactly it is. One of the not saying some of them do keep going. Like some of them are so famous and so successful that after the contract's over, they can renegotiate at a much, much higher rate and get paid, you know, celebrity status money, and they're doing good. But that's the exception, not the rule. Most of them, uh, most of them trained all their youth for you know seven years of spotlight. <laughs> that they make no money for. You unifying characteristics which sets it apart from, say, Japanese pop is the way it caters to an international audience. Group names generally consist of a short, easily recognized English word or acronym, TWICE, BTS, EXO, or AOA. Another common strategy is to have at least one Chinese, Japanese, Thai, or Taiwanese group member. Songs and their extravagant music videos are often produced two or three times in Korean, Japanese, and Mandarin, with English words sprinkled throughout. Yeah, it was so funny living there because the, the chorus of every song is English. <laughs> like, I, I would do karaoke nights uh, sometimes when I was in Korea, and it's like everything was English, dude. It was like, it was not, and then all the signs in Seoul were in English and Korea. Like, it, it didn't feel, it was very easy for me to get around without knowing Korean. I studied a lot of Korean before I went, and then I got there, and, like, it was not a problem. Almost everybody knows English, in Seoul, at least. Um, yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't tough. In addition to being hugely profitable, this international focus provides Seoul with something even more valuable, although intangible. While soft power can't be precisely measured, it tells a nation's story in a way no amount of tanks or factories ever can. K-pop is so political because it paints such a vivid national image. Thus, why South Korea brought the girl group Red Velvet to sing for Kim Jong-un in Pyongyang last year. Separately, in 2016, the U.S. began deploying a defense system in South Korea against potential North Korean missiles called the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. Soon after, South Korean products began disappearing from Chinese shelves. Although never explicitly announced, China's government effectively banned K-pop. Tour groups were forbidden from traveling to the South, and previously welcome K-pop groups suddenly found their performances canceled, or visas yeah. denied. Music videos were even blocked from the internet, as groups- China does a lot to try and curtail other countries' uh, culture and soft power. They famously, you know, America's biggest weapon for soft power, uh, like culturally, has been Hollywood. And I'm going to talk about this in a further marketing Monday, but obviously they've done a ton to like try to limit the scope of Hollywood, especially in China. But they haven't been very good about um, exporting their own. China hasn't had a lot of things that have hit in the rest of the world, music, movies, etc. But I, I feel like it's a matter of time. Just given how much money they keep dumping into their own movie studios and music industry and 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 TikTok. TikTok is TikTok is the big one, but it's not, it's kind of weird because it's just a platform. Like all the content on it is not created in China. Um, TikTok is their biggest success story globally. Um, Genshin Impact games, games, game, actually games is a great point. Actually, I take it back. Really, I wasn't considering games when I said that. They've actually they've actually done amazingly well with exporting games. Genshin Impact is an absolutely perfect example. In fact, I think a lot of the biggest games of the future are maybe not made in China, but they're owned by Tencent. <laughs> uh, is it Riot Chinese? I mean, Riot is an American-based company. They're based in Santa Monica, California. All their employees are there. Um, but they are owned by Tencent. Yeah, they're owned by China. Um,
Discord is owned by China. I don't believe that's true. Discord is not. Discord might be invested by Tencent or something, but my understanding is Discord is a independent uh, company. They they have not actually sold anybody yet. Turned to Hong Kong and Macau concerts until the ban was relaxed in 2017. It's another example of China using its large consumer market as leverage, not unlike the recent NBA controversy, both proving the unwavering fortitude of Chinese patriotism, stronger even than the support of a Kobe Bryant or BTS superfan. Finally, the last step is to sell every millimeter of unused space. Extreme fan loyalty translates into extremely effective paid endorsements, product placements, and sponsorships. The quintessential example of the formula's success is the seven-member boy band BTS. Their Twitter account generates four times the engagement of President Donald Trump's. They appeared on The Ellen Show, gave a speech at the United Nations, and contribute an estimated BTS for president? billion US dollars a year to the Korean economy. One study estimates the country gets $5 back for every $1 it spends on K-pop. It's now building an entire themed district in the capital, with a concert hall, recording studios, museum, and K-Star Road, similar to Hong Kong's Avenue of the Stars, or Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Some say K-pop is too commercialized, too scripted, too fake. But while some artists invent People touching like origin stories, K-pop is honest about its motives. Profit. Like professional wrestling, yes, it's exaggerated and mass-produced. And So I went to a Blackpink concert. Yeah, that's right. Didn't expect that from me, did you? I did. I went to a Blackpink concert with some friends who are more into it than me. And uh, it was insane how commercial it is, though. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I mean, listen, they're talented. The songs are catchy. But it's insane how commercial it is. That concert literally... It opened with like a five minute uh, Audi ad. <laughs> like everyone's in the crowd screaming and then the, the fucking lights come up or the lights go down. And then this is like at the forum in LA. It was like a big fucking. And then it fucking opened with like this fucking incredibly long Audi ad of them. And it was like obvious they weren't driving the cars. So it was like a green screen, I guess. Or, you know, it's like fake. It's like. They're like in a set of a car turning a wheel and then it would cut to an Audi like spinning through a parking garage. Then it would cut back to them like driving the car. And it was all five of them driving Audis through a parking garage. And it just kept cutting, 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 cutting. Five minutes long. And everyone's just losing their mind. Yeah! Audi logo, Audi logo, Audi logo. It was, it just, it was five of them in five different colored Audis just driving. It was crazy. And I was like, all right, is this, this is the opening to their, their first U.S. concert? And there was, like, commercials throughout the, the concert. The concert was full of commercials. Uh, there was big sponsor banners everywhere. I mean, it was just very, very... I mean, it's, it clearly... But what's just funny is, like, the, the table's been flipped because, you know, it used to be so common to call musicians sellouts, right? But nowadays, it's, like, almost like if you don't sell out, it's like, what's wrong with your music? Like, did no one ask? <laughs> Are you broke? Does no one care? Do you have no fans? Like, if you don't have brands on your shit, it almost feels like your fans are... The fans want you to have brands. They're like they cheer for it. They're like excited. It's just it's so it's it's crazy how different it is, you know. Yes, its fans are aware, but there's something respectably authentic about how transparently manufactured. Oh, was it Kia? <laughs> That's funny. Damn, they must have fucking spent a hell of amount of money on that, and I thought it was Audi. <laughs> Audi spent zero, and they have my brand loyalty for life, dude. Black, pink, forever it all is it may be fake but very real is the joy it brings millions of fans around the world behind every great k-pop idol is an intense motivation and need to learn new skills if you want to learn how to it's definitely reliant on genre sellouts are still frowned upon in like punk spaces okay well punk is like so <laughs> so like at its core anti-corporate and anti-authoritarian it would be insane to see a punk artist like fucking shilling for coca-cola <laughs> Fuck the system! <laughs> Buy Frosted Flakes! <laughs> Actually, it's a gangster song. <laughs> I actually want to make that real. That's fucking powerful. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> actually, he's exactly like that. <laughs> How to be more productive. 
Sorry, that's Skillshare. Uh, that was a good video. I like the I like the length. I like it was interested. Economics, K-pop. It's a very interesting subject. The whole music industry is a very uh, interesting industry to follow. It's rapidly changing. Lots happening. Um, becoming more global. I, I want to do a marketing Monday on it, but I I need to I need a lot more planning. Um. It's punk to sell out now. Accelerationism. I heard about accelerationism. It's it's the, it's the most insane concept. It's the idea that like you should fucking spray aerosol cans and just do whatever the fuck you want because you're gonna accelerate the collapse so you can rebuild from the ashes. And it's it's like it's just an excuse to do whatever the fuck you want. It's there's no it's not even a philosophy. It's just an excuse to do whatever the fuck you want at any time with no. It's the most like. <laughs> horrendous outlook on life it's <laughs> uh lck it's very dubious yeah um hmm. someone submitted what is this? A 60-minute video called Get Smarter Saturday with Atrioc. What is this? This is just an old Get Smarter Saturday. <laughs> you just, well, that's what we need to get to. Oh, my God. Save me some time, dude. What if I can just pull up a VOD from fucking 2020 and we just watch me watching videos? That's sick. You might think it's a lazy thing to do, but I think it's more like accelerationism. Kind of like bad ass. Because I'm accelerating the collapse of real content. Mm. Let's watch the video of me reacting to Jacob Geller talking about the sand clip. <laughs> that could be fun. Elden Ring, it's complicated. Three minutes long. Little do you know, Atrioc, the semitone genius. Little do you know how I am. Promise you don't have a This is a song. Awesome. We haven't done Little Do You Know in a minute. That's because my fucking my uh, stream deck broke <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> and I never, ever fixed it. And so we lost all our buttons. We lost our sheesh button. We lost our Little Do You Know button. We lost our millionaire timer countdown button. And we've had to make do. Um, Pepe hands for real. We lost many great warriors. Yeah. It's crazy because that means I actually, actually have to react to things. <laughs> like I have to like think of what I want to say and then say it. When normally I could just press the sheesh button and everyone would omega lol. <laughs> Or I could just press little do you know when it's like a fake sad moment and everyone would fucking seven. It was like a very simple, it was an easier concept of streaming. Um, the story of TF2 Strangest Player. This is... I've heard this is good. It's a little long, but I've heard it's good. Been a six month investigation. I have collected hundreds of gigabytes worth of Jeez. footage. I've spent countless hours scouring the internet, but I think we did it. I think we found the strangest TF2 player of all time. Let me show you. Germa. <laughs> On the 6th of January, I uploaded a video called The NPCs of TF2, which was a short compilation of all the wacky people I'd come across whilst playing TF2. Around 8 seconds into this video, there's a clip of me waiting for a health pack to respawn when all of a sudden, I notice a demo man below me who is perched on the side of Hightower's cliff shooting soy. up at a gap in the floorboards. Now this isn't how most people play TF2, and I did think it was quite bizarre at the time, but it didn't go any deeper than that. I clipped it, I put it in my video, and that was that. A few people commented about how the strategy this demo was using was actually 200 IQ, but besides that, I didn't really think too much of it. Okay. Fast forward 18 days to the 24th of January, where I was playing a game on Moss Rock when one of my friends noticed that a Huntsman sniper on our team was taunting after every shot they fired. <laughs> so, like any sane person would, we began to follow them oh my God, and investigate what Tom Fullery they were up to. They picked up a clean kill with the Bushwhacker on a flanking demo, and then, well, then something quite spectacular happened. 
Surely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This random sniper decided to pull off a 360 Huntsman shot whilst falling to their imminent death, and it actually worked. This absolutely blew me away. Actually and you may actually recognize this clip because it featured in a video I released later in January called The Auto Bounce Atrocity. Now, it was really funny, but That's again, I honestly sick. didn't think too much of it until I saw the comments where people were pointing out that this Huntsman sniper who just pulled off the frag of their life was the same demo man we Holy saw. Holy shit, the video. Bing that, Soy. And gentlemen, was when Bing Soy officially came onto my radar. I don't know what it was exactly, but this discovery got me really interested in Bing Soy because the way he played the game was unlike anything I had ever seen before <laughs> and I wanted to know more. So the following day, I got to work. I started by creating a new text chat on my Discord called Bing Soy Signing, <laughs> where people could submit any videos or screenshots they had of his unusual behavior. And to my surprise, we started getting submissions oh my really God. quickly. The first video <laughs> was sent in by one of my admins, Corey, who discovered Bing Soy on Badlands spawn camping in a way that I have never seen before. Yeah. It's just air blast. <laughs> it's just oh, it's oh. Like what? Forcibly air blasting someone into water so you can pyro shock them? <laughs> that takes ingenuity. Another clip from Corey also showed Bing Soy. Uh, oh my god, he's a fucking giga chad. Teleporter. Another one of my admins, legs, found Bing Soy on the map altitude, where he repeatedly shot at a wall with his shotgun before backpedaling off a cliff. <laughs> Later that game, Legs also found him peering off into the mountains at the edge of the map. He's just which, thinking. I mean, fair enough. Giga Chad. It's a, it's a pretty scenic view, but why? What compelled him to do this? This juxtaposition between Bing Soy's genuinely shit. impressive plays and creative strategies to, well, this... <laughs> really dumbfounded me. I was so intrigued by the enigma that was Bing Soy, and I had so He's many questions that needed answers. So on the 31st of January, I decided it was time for me to suit up and get on the ground myself. My investigation began in the beautiful rainforest of PL Borneo, where I spotted Bing Soy playing engineer. At first, I didn't see anything too out of the ordinary. I mean, he just seemed to be playing some pretty stock standard engineer, but later in the match, he swapped to heavy, where I began to notice some oddities. Rather than holding down mouse one to continually shoot like a normal heavy would, he seemed to really like tap firing with the Tommy okay. Slub as if he were peeking an angle in CSGO. I also noticed that <laughs> Bing Soy had quite the affinity towards taunting, because he was whipping out that stock <laughs> minigun taunt after literally anything of any significance happening. <laughs> he's taunting! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> the investigation continued on to the next map, Mountain Lab, where things got a lot weirder. I kid you not, but for an entire 60 seconds, Bing Soy was absolutely determined to do this jump, which I am 99% <laughs> sure is impossible. He did find a little ledge on the rocks you could glitch onto, but ultimately it was to no event. <laughs> no, he almost made the jump from the. Holy shit, I love Bing Soy! He's a Giga Chad, dude! This is what gaming's about! Also seemed to be very paranoid as he was firing projectiles at literally everything on the map as he returned to the front line. And we also got another glimpse of his Huntsman Sniper gameplay where he would randomly shoot arrows through the floorboards. Things started to get really weird on the next map, Badlands, where Bing Sui was playing Flog Pyro and for the period of about 15 minutes did nothing but, um, well... <laughs> Whatever this is. I don't know if Bing Soy <laughs> thought there were gang stalkers hiding in his walls, but he seemed determined to engulf every single surface of the map in flames, and God, was it just bizarre to watch. I ended up on his team when we swapped to Badwater, and it was more of the same. Except this time I was pocketing him, meaning he was actually racking up kills, and he also started taunting directly in front of the enemy team's spawn door, which is just alpha as fuck. You, you that have is to respect alpha. that. This rampage really. on Pyro was followed by some scout gameplay, except not the normal kind where you're, uh, Shooting, uh, more the kind where you drink bonk to go invincible and then proceed to taunt directly in front of your <laughs> enemies. Next up, we landed on Snowy Coast, where things seemed pretty normal until... Uh, Holy oh, shit, the Bing, Bing Soy is difference. trying to shoot through walls as heavy, which if you didn't know, is impossible. <laughs> Ultimately though, I think Bing Soy finished off the day with perhaps his most daring strategy of jumping off the edge of the map, using the base jumper to float, and then trying to kill gamers as he slowly creeped towards his inevitable death. That one, uh... <laughs> that one didn't go too well. So look, that was just one day of observation, and we saw Bing Soy cycle through at least like 10 wacky strategies. There was also some more footage sent to Bing Soy sightings in my Discord by Corey again, and yep, that's him doing his strange little thing. So look, after a full day on the field, we did- I mean, I wonder if he's a content creator, like in China or something. Wait, or if he's just alone, just playing like this for no one's entertainment but his own, it's actually fucking crazy.
observe a lot of strange behavior. Uh, that much was for sure, but unfortunately I wasn't really any closer to understanding why Bing Soy played like this. But that was about to change. Check Billy Billy. Yeah, what if he's like, he's got 10 million viewers and he's just random discovery. shit. Discovery. Bing Soy had a YouTube channel. Now it hadn't been oh! active in two years, but he had quite the backlog of TF2 content here. Bing Soy Team some Fortress. Minecraft videos in early 2018, but that <laughs> soon turned into some pretty damn good TF2 frag movies. I mean, take a look at the most recent upload, Cliff Enforcer, which features a lot of insane huntsman kills, similar to the one I put in my Sheesh! video. There was also a bunch of pyro related stuff here, a class which Bing Soy appeared to be actually very good at, judging by the quality of the frags he was getting. The channel basically proved to me that Bing Soy is far from being a noob, and in fact, it I actually, actually kind of goaded. He's really good at the game. It's just that he voluntarily handicaps himself with these wacky ass strategies <laughs> and I kind of have a respect for that. I guess the only sad part yeah, about the too. discovery was that the channel seemed to be inactive for now. Sad. Which was unfortunate, but it actually wouldn't remain like that for very long. Oh. See, a week or so had already gone by since the formation of Bing Soy sightings at this point, and a cult of personality was starting to emerge <laughs> around Bing Soy, and he was growing quite the reputation amongst not only my Discord, but the wider Australian TF2 community. People were taking note of him when he was in games, sending messages in text chat, and now they were finding his YouTube channel and leaving comments there too. So, uh, on February 6th, with a growing buzz around Bing Soy, I decided to once again suit up and track down Mr. Soy. This day's investigation first led me to Landfall, where Bing Soy was experimenting with a new strategy on Heavy. Rather than using his favorite tap firing Tommy Slav tactic, he was instead making use of the Buffalo Steak Sandwich and Holiday Punch, meaning he was hunting down <laughs> enemy gamers to secure some taunt kills. Unfortunately, things weren't going all that well for Bing Soy with this strategy. Yeah, to top things tough. off, I actually managed to get an accidental telefrag on him whilst I was observing. I telefragged him. <laughs> we did continue with the taunt kill attempts as we moved over to Viaduct, uh, but again, it didn't seem Holy to land any success. Things did begin spicing up when we swapped the process, though, as he switched to demo with the sticky jumper and lock and load. On the first rollout to mid, I ended up dying pretty quickly, but that did not matter because it allowed me to spectate Bing Soy, only to discover, uh, this. What is he, he doing? He just doesn't look at the map the same way I do. I thought I usually <laughs> look pretty vertically, but he looks more vertically. After this, he played a little demo night and began taunting after the kills I was getting, which was some nice moral support. But other than that, uh, not too much else occurred. We did have some more footage to Discord, however, where funny. another one of my admins shop found him spawn camping on Swegen in yet another peculiar manner. So look, it wasn't the most fruitful session of stalking Bing Soy, but that didn't matter because yet again, my Discord had made another very important revelation. Not oh. only was a Bing Soy website discovered, but I happened to feature in it. The homepage oh! of the website had a nice SFM banner where we could make out a few things. Firstly was the background, where we can see Bing Soy included some of his favorite loadouts like Huntsman Sniper, Lock and Load Demo, as well as his fabled spawn camping pyro shot. Now okay. the next thing to note was the foreground, where there are four figures. The engineer on the left represented Brattles, an Australian TF tuber who also runs a really popular high tower server Oh my god, Fun, this is so is deep! Bing Soy's favorite. Now the next figure here is a soldier with a black painted Miami Knights Tyrant's helm, which of course represents myself, and this did come as a bit of a shock to me. <laughs> to my right was my admin Corius Pyro, who had not only submitted some of those clips I showed before, but it also Holy started shit. to form a bit of a relationship with Bing Soy. And finally, the one who probably doesn't need an introduction is Uncle Dane on the right, and he is featured on the banner because Bing Soy really likes the Uncle Topia servers, so he thinks it's a better way of playing TF2 compared to casual. Now it didn't end there either with the website, because in the about section there was a subheading named Special Thanks where he stated, Special thanks El Maxo has shown the TF2 gaming world that Bing Soy is something more than <laughs> What? This was absolutely <laughs> wild, and one of my- So I wrote that in third person. My friends actually said something <laughs> I was thinking. We need to seriously consider, is Bing Soy an ARG? <laughs> <laughs> With how everything was panning out so far in the investigation, it really seemed like Bing Soy was some manufactured alternate reality rather than a real human being. It was discovered that Bing Soy had a bunch of Who other would channels do on that? YouTube too, one of which featured an animation he created that has over one- Bing Soy? Winnie the Pooh is dummy thick? Bing Soy animations? Wait, what is going on? There's, there's so much more to this story. Why is there a million view video called Winnie the Pooh is Dummy Thick? Let me see if this is real. Wait, what the fuck? Winnie the Pooh. I'm, I'm Googling this. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is Dummy Bing Soy Animations! Oh, mother. I'm 
so stuffed with fluff, I'm dummy thick. <laughs> and the clap of my ass cheeks alerted the bees. <laughs> what, the <fuck? laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what is this story? I must know more. What is going on? That is not the turn that I thought this would take. <laughs> wait, where the... Dude, where the fucking video go? Wait, 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 wait. Well, oh, I was watching it in the tab. Okay. Feels confused. I was honestly in disbelief at what had transpired thus far, and it turns out that was only going to continue as four days later, on the 10th of February, Bing Soy Team Fortress returned from a two year He's hiatus back. with a fresh upload. The video was titled Requiem, but there was something a bit strange about this upload because the first 42 seconds showed this cryptic message of a happy stick figure progressively growing sadder <laughs> and sadder. What? <laughs> Why? What? What's happening? I still have what? no idea what to make of this introduction by the way but at the time when i saw it i was definitely starting to believe that the arg theory may hold more weight than i initially thought the description also read something good can come from something bad which was again really cryptic and i'm not fully sure what to make of it the rest of the video featured some very cool pyro frags on high tower but that mysterious ass Bro, intro there is no way it could be an arg that's the thing there's no way what what company of any scale to do this would set their ARG up in random fucking TF2 player named Bing Soy with a two-year-old account inactive of actual TF2 highlights. That's so much... Nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. that that's, that's, that's insanely... There's nobody with that kind of commitment. They would get the budget to hire someone to make TF2 highlights, upload them for 100 views, and then wait two years? ARG's alternate reality game. It's like... Uh, it's like when companies make these fake, you know, internet sleuth hunts that lead to like, oh, you should buy the DVD commentary. <laughs> you know, it's like it's that's what that, you know, for Halo 2, they had one. Um, there's no shot. Somebody did that for Bing. Kind of that, that, that for me. I will say, though, that I've never seen a company do anything like that. Comment, so, hey, we've got that going for us. Another four days later on February 14th. It had seemed we really pulled Bing Soy out of YouTube retirement because we were blessed with yet another upload. The video is called Uncle Topia One Life Huntsman. The reason I love this video so much is the timestamps, where Bing Soy detailed literally <laughs> everything that happened in the video. This right is fucking two second timestamps! <laughs> breathe! 34 seconds, breathe! <laughs> One minute retreat. One minute, two seconds. Rome watch point. Holy fuck! Literally everything that happened in the video. This ranged all the way from retreating at one minute to breathing at 34 seconds oh, and all man. the way to reflexive shot, shoot or die at two minutes and four seconds. In a video spanning just over two minutes, Bing Soy managed to include over 40 timestamps, <laughs> which I honestly think is a cool idea that feels pretty avant-garde when it comes to TF2 content on YouTube. Now, I will admit that from this point forwards, the flow of the Bing Soy investigation came to a grinding halt on my end, so I moved on to some different video projects. So it was really my discord that carried the movement over the next two and a half months. No Zero, a fellow Australian TF tuber, found him on March 12th taunting and zapping his way to the front line with the short circuit. Uh, the following day on March 13th, ARG, he caught dude. a fake Bing Soy who tried to join the discord, or at least we think they were fake, because a Mr. Fake Soy seems Bing to be a pretty elusive dude who rarely communicates in games, so seeing him join my discord felt a bit unlikely. In late March and early April, there were a bunch of screenshots of him in game, and then on the 3rd of April, No Zero made his own video compiling his interactions with Bing Soy and to be honest with you, it's bloody beautiful. Uh, we got to see more of his pyro shark, more of his taunting, and more of his affinity towards jumping off the map. So look, <laughs> at this point, it had been a while, but on the 22nd of April, I decided it was time for me to return. So I once again put on my boots and picked up my camcorder because we were going hunting. It's always been two months since I last watched <laughs> Bing Soy. There he is. See? <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like it's a rare tiger or something. Like See his website. <laughs> I think he knows what's up. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <All right. laughs> He's so odd. <laughs> Taking a break, a breather. 
He's, there he he's comes! In. He's in. He's in. <laughs> he... I think he did something. Let's see what Bing's up to. Wait, what? Oh, he's got the bind set up. He wants the good spawn. The big so What's what? What is he doing? Is he, he's getting himself low so he can escape plan in. <laughs> God bless. Again, uh, more of the same wacky strategies we were all accustomed to, but at this point, I really wanted to get deeper with Bing Soy and understand the mentality behind everything oh, yeah. he was doing. Later that day, though, my Discord discovered a fresh upload on the Bing Soy channel called Uncle Topia Caber Bobba. And as the name suggested, it was a cool montage of him going around harassing inferior enemy gamers with the sticky jumper and Caber combo. The interesting thing about this video is that it actually went on to get some attention in the algorithm. At the time of writing, this video has almost 10,000 views which is the most successful video on Bing Soy's channel to date. He actually does some really cool work with the demo system in this- Imagine it is an ARG and like... <laughs> fucking Honda has spent 60 million dollars on this. <laughs> and so far all they've gotten is 10,000 views on one TF2 highlight and they're like still waiting for it to take off. <laughs> it's been like a fucking six year project. Shit, this will take off any day now video and playing around with all the camera angles, so it's good to see that his channel was starting to get some more attention. We also continued to get some more sightings, as on the 12th of May, Var from my Discord noticed he had a Game Banana account and had created a new hit sound and a custom model for the Sticky Jumper. On the 29th of May, Digger Darby Dude, this guy found has so him his way around the best map in the How game. How is Bing Sui able to create animation with English language and edit his own highlights and be goaded at TF2. Game CP Steel, and on the third he's a renaissance, he's a no Da Vinci. Zero managed to pocket him with the quick fix all the way behind the enemy team on Upward, where he did the classic demo base jumper sticky strategy over the wall. I ended up running into him on the 12th of June on Steel, where he was doing some strange exploration of the cliff face around point E. I also managed to score a high five with him on the next map Upward, where he went nice. and redid that strategy of shooting stickies over the wall to the first spawn area. My absolute favorite Bing Soy sighting happened later that month on the 28th of June, where we got a dual perspective of a beautiful moment that unraveled. Oh! I don't think I've ever seen someone flick faster in my life oh! after to get a kill, and boy was it something. As the investigation <laughs> entered July, it the actually Bing started to pick up some momentum yet again, as I found myself running into him on Uncle Topia quite frequently. Things kicked off on the 1st of July, where I found him taunting on cooldown with the Scorch shot, absolutely determined to get a kill with it. Oh, he's doing what I do, where you shoot the other way with it. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> 10 days later, on the 11th of July, I was playing with people from my Discord when, yep, you guessed it, Bing Soy was playing on Uncle Topia. He continued to sticky trap our spawn and spam pipes out at seemingly nothing. Eventually, he did come out of his shell somewhat and started playing around as Pyro and Huntsman Sniper. It was during the session and at this point in the investigation that I finally mustered up the courage to send Bing Soy a friend request in Steam. <laughs> given how the vibe was pretty chill. Oh, that's insane. You've been fucking cyber stalking him for six months? <laughs> You've high-fived him 14 times? Send a friend request. People shy, dude. On the server, I thought it was more likely he would accept. However, it seemed that he ignored my invite for the moment and instead- He changed his profile picture. Why? Bing Soy, he always does this. Which is something he actually did way back on the 31st of January whilst we were playing on Badlands. Oh, he changed it back. He changed his profile picture. Doing this and- I <laughs> what? He changed it live! <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I don't know what prompts him to do this, but hey, he's a free crazy. man changing his profile picture and doing whatever he wants. It was pretty late at night at this point, so I decided to get some <laughs> sleep, but one of our Discord investigators named Sleepy actually decided to stick around with Bingsley, which led to some very important developments when I woke up. Now, the first important development was that Bing Soy accepted my friend request on Steam, which Pog. marked a nice progression in our relationship. The second part, which absolutely blew me away, was Bing Soy's profile picture. Now, you remember that he changed it mid-game to this weird distorted close-up of the sniper, but the original one he had selected contained some secret messages within it. You can see that in the foreground is Bing Soy's character <laughs> sitting on a bench in this kind of cosmic spacey setting. What Sleepy discovered, however, is that in the background were three different drawings. We can see that the drawing on the right is a light bulb, which represents my admin Corey's pyro loadout. In the middle is a little cube, which represents yeah. No Zero's profile picture. And most interestingly, on the left is Bing Soy's drawing of an actual photo of me. Yeah, that's right. It's a photo I used on Discord for a month or two. 
photo ID. He's stalking on my second back. Child. That's also still my current Twitter profile picture. You can see the necklace. You can see the beanie, and you can Holy see the thumbs shit. up. Holy so shit! This absolutely blew me Bing away. Bing Sui is in your house. Aware of this information is because investigator Sleepy managed to ask Bing Sui a bunch of questions whilst it was just the two of them on Aquatopia late at night. And you can see in this transcript that Sleepy asked, "Are there any TF2 YouTubers you enjoy watching?" And Bing Sui responded, "Look at my profile pic." Sleepy then followed up with, "Are those three in your profile picture the only YouTubers you watch?" Which Bing Sui responded to with a no. So Sleepy asked, "But are they your favorites?" Which Bing Sui responded with yes. Mm. Uh, hello, uh, hi there. This is Editing El Maxo here, and I actually have to let you know something that I've learned since I wrote the script for this video. Uh, you see all these the lovely questions Sleepy prepared and, and Bing Sui responded to in this text document. Well, they were actually sourced in quite an unbelievable manner. Um, we know Bing Sui isn't big on communicating through text or voice chat, so to get the answers to these questions, and I kid you not. Sleepy spent almost two hours in the middle of the night going around Koth Lakeside having Bing Soy either shoot at letters on signs or draw them with bullets <laughs> or just cause resistance to spell them out, which Sleepy would proceed to tramp. What the fuck? He asked him yes or no questions and he would shoot the no sign? Wait, that's fucking crazy. What is going on? I don't understand it. This guy clearly speaks English because he understands the questions. I'm so confused. The depth of this story is so much more than I thought it would be. And scribe in text chat and Bing Sui would shake his head if they were right. It wasn't just like typing out messages. He had this whole process and I had no idea about it when I wrote the script for this video. Sleepy has the full one hour and 47 minute recording on his computer, but he sent me through this small section to prove it. And oh my God, what the fuck? I had no idea Sleepy went to such length to secure some answers from Bing Sui, so I included <laughs> the full transcript. <laughs> you were shooting letters. Sleepy guess action. Action speak louder than words. And then he nods yes. That's fucking cr Oh, you can't see it over my face. Wait, you, you have to see this again. You have to see this again. Bro, look. Look, 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 look. No idea Sleepy sent me through this small look. section to prove it. And and oh my god, what the fuck? A. I had no idea sleep. A C T I O. One more time. Action. Action. Speak louder. He's literally. Sh it's like it's like the character in Breaking Bad. It's crazy. They're going letter by letter. That's so insane. On signs in a video game. He went to such length to secure some answers from Bing Soy, so I have included the full transcript in yeah, the description. It's like Hector Salamanca. And a big thanks to Sleepy again because that is dedication to the cause. But God, finding this out the next day sent me spinning. We were now even deeper into the Bing Soy rabbit hole, and I was all for it. It was at this point that I knew I had to make a documentary on this because the story so far was too goddamn yeah, interesting it's insane. to pass up on. Sleepy wow, also collected some more footage of Bing Soy whilst I was asleep, and it uh was some of the strangest stuff I've seen so far. <laughs> the next day, whilst I was playing on Bomb Blitz, I came across Bing Soy yet again, hiding in a bush as Huntsman Sniper. You may again recognize this clip because it featured in my last clip dump and marks Bing Soy's third official appearance in an El Maxo video. So look, it was clear at this point that the way Bing Soy played TF2 was strange. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone could deny that, but we still didn't know why. What fueled the man behind yeah, the mask? I don't know. Well, we could theorize, we could come up with some wild speculation, we could continue to observe him and maybe edge just that little bit closer to an answer, but why would I do that? If I wanted to know the truth, I had to ask Bing Soy directly. You have so to. I conjured up this grand message with five <laughs> questions in it. Number one was what compels you to play the game like you do. Number two was what is your favorite unconventional strategy to use. Number three was do you have any long-term goals with TF2 or your YouTube channel? Four was have you enjoyed the increased level of tension? you've gotten in the past six months and five was what piece of advice would you give to the tf2 community i didn't really want to poke and prod into this video is probably life, like, but i did want to get a better idea of the level of things is going to be way higher now tf2 i wasn't fully sure if we'd get a response this video is viral. given how private bing Sui seems to be but given sleepy managed to ask him some questions i was praying we would get some form of response and so i waited and i waited and i waited but I never got that response from Bing. Sag. I tried this last ditch effort of investigating him whilst he was on Upward, and just as you'd expect, he was on his favorite pick, Huntsman Sniper. He was getting kills. He's he shy, too shy. A lot, and hey, he even went for a game winning shot whilst he fell off the map to stop the enemy team from capping. But that was it. So I sat there, I reflected, and I had a sort of epiphany. 
Because I think Bing Soy can teach us a lot about TF2. You know, <laughs> we don't always have to lean on what's meta. We don't have to keep going back to the loadouts which we are most comfortable with. We don't always have to obsess over the objective and sweat our asses off. Sometimes it's good to get out of our comfort zone True. and try and unlock that we've never used before. Unless you're on After my team, then you better try. For so long, I think we subconsciously lock ourselves into these rigid play styles and fail to experiment and push the game to its limit. You know, I get that you have 20,000 kills on your strange sniper rifle, but maybe on that next life you could take a note out of Bingsoy's book and give the Huntsman a go. Or maybe the next time you're on demo, you could swap out that iron bomber you love so dearly and try out the lock and load. And hey, it has been a while since you used the holiday punch as heavy, hasn't it? So you know what? Maybe Bingsoy isn't so strange after all. Honestly, I think he encapsulates the beauty of TF2 so well. So look, maybe Bingsoy will respond to, to, to my message one day. Maybe he'll provide me with all the answers I <laughs> wanted and will reach a nice and clean resolution to the enigma <laughs> that is Bingsoy. But honestly, I don't really want him to. I don't really want him to. Want him to. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. where things were supposed to finish. I had a poetic ending, all thought out. What the fuck? One day, I noticed a Steam notification when I got back to my PC. What the fuck? Soy, and he had sent me a link to a Google Drive folder. I did record a live analysis of discovering this folder with fellow investigators Corey and Sleepy, which I will weave in at times, but it was honestly a mess, so I'm just going to do some post-commentary to explain everything that happened after this point. The Google Drive Bingsoy gave us contained four files. The first was a file named El Maxo's Questions, which as the name suggests, contains those questions I mentioned earlier in the video. The next file, called Readme, is unfortunately only for my eyes as directed by Bingsoy, but I will say what? that he gave me express <laughs> permission to use everything else he sent in this folder in the video, so don't worry about that. What Next up was a folder hell? named Main Images, which contains the bulk of what we are going to be analyzing, but before I get to that, I want to discuss the contents of Other, which contained three images. The first was a drawing titled Stick, which contained a stick figure drawing of my soldier with his tyrant's helm, along with my little dog Mackie on the shoulder. <laughs> I also presume that it's Bing Sui on the right, but what I found a little distressing is the straight expressions on their face, which don't suggest much happiness, which is a little sad. The next image was called Sticker, and this contained something similar to those visuals we saw in the intro to this video, Requiem, which was no, a little distressing so because someone who seems to be isolated from a group of people, but we'll talk a bit more about this later. The final image in the folder was called Stickest, which seems to be an MS Paint drawing of someone approaching a house in the woods. I'm not sure how to interpret this, and the only thing I could really recognize was a TF logo in the window, so if you have any ideas as this to what this may be, so be sure to in the comments. I will admit that folder was quite cryptic, and I'm still not fully sure how to interpret it, but the most important stuff for us is in the folder named Main Images, in which um, Bing Sui um, has not written his answers out to my questions, but instead drawn them. We can start with he question drew one, the which answers? what compels you to play the game like you do, and here was his response. The first image which depicts someone pouring a liquid into a glass, we deciphered to mean experimentation. No fucking way! He answered in the form of drawings! Wait, what is- Which confirms our belief that Bing Soy likes to push boundaries with the strategies he uses. The second image depicts a little astronaut on the moon with a flag, which we believe to mean a sense of accomplishment. Maybe <laughs> Bing Soy wants to be the first person to popularize these strategies and make them more well known. The one thing we weren't sure about was this what is to be so a little play button on like the moon. This. So perhaps he wants to grow his YouTube channels with these different types of strategies? <laughs> we weren't 100% sure. The third image we jokingly deciphered as genuine yeah, insanity. Uh, yeah. With the Maybe eyes, like we no didn't sleeping, realize it at yeah. the time, but as famous YouTuber It's Feckin' Raw from YouTube channel It's Feckin' Raw told us is that this was a drawing of a character from the game Encryption. Now I'm not going to act like I've ever played it, so I'm not actually sir. sure what that symbolizes. The fourth image seemed pretty obvious, and we think this means Bing Sui wants to level up his intelligence in game with what he can do. I mean, it's no surprise, but by doing all these wild strategies, Bing Sui is definitely going to have a more broad knowledge of TF2 and how it works. And finally, the image I found most interesting was a little Bing Sui on scales. It seems that he thinks that there is more negativity in the TF2 community, as symbolized by the uh. broken. Uh, he wants to bring the positivity. To wacky play style to bring more love and positivity to the community, which I think is really admirable. That's crazy. So, How did he create these? The answer why Bing Sui plays the game so differently is because he likes to experiment. He wants to be the first to succeed with these strategies. He's insane. Kidding, I don't fully know about this one. He wants to level up his intelligence. And finally, he wants to bring more positivity to the community. The second question I asked him was what was his favorite unconventional strategy to use in TF2? And the answers are a lot more direct here. At the top left, we can see the classic Girardi and Bushwhacker combo, which I will admit I personally don't think is all that unconventional. The bottom left is a strategy we have seen a lot of. Yeah, history, Huntsman and Sniper. That is the Bing Soy trademark suicide Huntsman. 360 no scope off a cliff. Finally, and what was one of my favorite pieces of art he made for this is the Pirate Shark. 
which of course means that one of his favorite unconventional strategies also happens to be Pyroshock. The third question I asked him was if he had any long-term goals with TF2 or YouTube, and this one was interesting. The first image here is easy to decipher, and it's clear Bro. Bing Sui really likes YouTube and wants to see his channel grow, which yeah, I can definitely relate to. The second image was a little complex, so we'll take it bit by bit. The middle of it is an information sign, which we assume means that Bing Sui wants to put out some educational content about firstly, it... demos, because as we've seen, he's Crazy. actually really good with using the demo system. Secondly, video making in general. Thirdly, we weren't too sure about, and the fourth one kind of looked like a strategy or maybe movement yeah, maybe we weren't entirely sure about that the third image was a wholesome one uh, as we can see is a love heart in a little film reel with my tyrant's helm no zero's icon uh, yeah, light yeah, bulb, yeah. and uncle dame's ng which may mean there's a video coming out or maybe even some potential collabs so i'm not sure <laughs> whether it seems pretty he seems like a good the guy if he's a real person which he seems like he is Bing Sui's different this is so this is so unique main area i've screen. never heard of anything so like this maybe this means a central channel is coming or a crossover or maybe even a Bing Soy cinematic universe, which would be very awesome. Bing Soy cinematic one, universe. He has goals about growing his channel, making some educational content, a potential <laughs> collab or video with some other creators, and perhaps some more crossover with his animation and music channels. The fourth question Marvel I asked could him never, was what were his thoughts on the increased level of attention. Marvel better watch the fuck out if the BCU. Months. And this answer was both BSCU. but also saddening. The first image relates back to one of his drawings in the first response, where he feels that the TF2 community has more negativity than positivity, and he wants to balance it out. Now after this, it actually tells a bit There's of a story demons. with the timeline of images, starting with Bing Sui on the left being found by myself, No Zero, and Corey. The attention from us, and I assume the wider community, prompted Bing Sui to blow the metaphorical dust and webs off his camera, or in this case, his YouTube channel, and started uh... making videos again. You can see he did this cool little drawing representing his Kaba video, and was surprised by the amount of positive attention it received. This has led him to being surprised by all the people who recognize him in the game, and has also made him a lot more stressed about making videos, as it's a time-consuming process, and uh, don't worry Bing Sui, I, I definitely Holy shit, they literally now, the deciphered this. Image, we can see that Bing Sui sees all this new attention as a double-edged sword, because he is grateful for it, and uh... having his work Scene, but he's also stressed out, which makes sense after gaining a lot of eyes on you so quickly. The next image this I wasn't also art. sure on, so this is powerful. Sleepy and Corey there is it. more insight into a psyche of a human being in this than fucking 200, 200 fucking minutes of the Sandman, dude. This is actually so well done. Their live analysis. I think it's like he's showing that he's going towards the future, and while the future is uncertain. He feels, he feels as though like he's, he's avoided sadness or something similar. Yeah, because I know previously with TF2, he like he did quit for a bit. Yeah. Um, because of the community, so it's like new. Yeah, many paths community. lead to sadness, Whilst but he's not. Um, he's dodged he them thus far. Could be. It's not the negative. Community. Yeah, this is like right. this is art. <laughs> the next image shows Bing Sui by himself around a group of people, showing that he feels isolated and disconnected from those around him who he placed here to it. Sad. Makes me sad. One thing I've wanted to avoid in this video is otherizing Bing Sui, which I get I can't completely avoid given the bizarre nature of how he plays the game, but it does break me a little that he feels this way about the community around him, and that's something I definitely want to fix. The final image shows this giant magnifying glass with an eye staring down on Bing Sui, which links back to the idea of the yeah, it's got to be tough when everyone's like Bing Sui, do something crazy. And he's like, <laughs> you know, maybe he just wants to play the game that day. Maybe he actually wants to push the objective that game and doesn't want to fucking <laughs> bounce off the walls 12 times or like look at the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rest all the attention on him and having everything he does watch. The final question I asked Bing Sui was if he had any advice to give the TF2 community, and it actually appears he doesn't. I found this interesting because he perceives there to be a lot of negativity in the community, but maybe he doesn't see it as his role to comment on and give advice to everyone about, as he may just see it as his own personal goal for him to do his best on to improve the state of things. The final two images in this folder was this cool bit of art from Bing Sui where he features his new little logo for his Team Fortress stuff and a little wow. thank you which I am honestly honored to receive. I decided to make this my desktop background because it looks really Really sick, and I am really thankful to have discovered Bing Sui, who has taken me on such a wild ride for the past half year. So that's everything. I didn't expect any of this, and I wrote a script as if he wouldn't respond, but to my surprise, we actually got some answers. I think the way Bing Sui plays TF2 is great, because it's easy to fall into these rigid playstyles we've become accustomed to after many years of playing, and he breaks that entirely. Whilst I will admit that even sometimes I can't comprehend what he's trying to go for with his strategies, that doesn't really matter, because he's just a dude playing the game how he wants to, yeah. picking up some video worthy clips in the process so look uh, to tie this all together i want to give you the ending i wrote to this it's funny that i agree with this in this video but when i play league of legends in two days <laughs> if my support picks something off meta i'm gonna scream <laughs>
I'm gonna fucking screw. I'm gonna break my keyboard. I'm gonna. Wah! I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. You better fucking stick to the fucking script, all right? You're no Bing Soy. <laughs> Documentary. Assuming Bing Soy wasn't going to respond, because I think it actually ties everything together really nicely. There was actually one question Sleepy asked Bing Soy during that late night session, which I purposefully left out earlier, but I do want you to hear it now. He asked Bing Soy, "Do you have any advice for other people? What's something you'd like to convey?" To which Bing Soy responded, "Keep an open mind." So maybe, just maybe the next time you see a cliff and there's an enemy just across from you and you happen to have the Huntsman equipped, why not go for that shot? I think it's what Bing Soy would want us to do. Thanks for watching. That was a fantastic video. I enjoyed that start to finish. It was way, way more intense than I ever thought it would be. All 30 minutes were deserved. I, di I didn't expect that at all. That was crazy. I've been rarely so surprised by YouTube content. Uh, check out that channel too. Uh, the guy's name is El Maxo. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a fantastic video. Start to finish. 2.8 million views. Wow, 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 wow. The story of Bing Soy is truly one we can all learn something from. Uh, I'm gonna look up Bing Soy's. And then Bing Soy's channel. 53k subscribers now. Bing Soy Team Fortress. He got 133k on his most recent video four months ago. Can't wait for him to come back. Bing Soy and but his obviously his greatest video still remains. <laughs> <laughs> oh bother! I'm so stuffed with fluff. I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks. Alerted the bees. <laughs> I mean that, you know, yeah. He's yet to top that. Uh, chat, that's it for me tonight. That is it for me tonight. Uh, we learned a lot today. We learned a fucking lot today. The audio is from Gavel yeah, Bigger. Um, I give you guys a seven. I can't watch T1 versus Gen Z on stream. I, I will. Riot is very litigious about that kind of stuff. Um, but hey, here's the deal. I expect in chat. Link is confirmed. Uh, we're trying to get an emergency Hitman horse for tomorrow because my other one probably can't turn into a video on account of the internet issues I was having. So I may be live tomorrow, midday, maybe like a 1, 2, or 3 p.m. Pacific with an emergency Hitman horse where we're not going to have to make the contracts. Uh, so it should be a little more fun, a little more fruitful. Um, so, um, and if I lose that one, I will say it got corrupted as well. We'll make, we'll just keep doing emergency ones till I win one. <laughs> okay. You guys got it. Uh, all right. Uh, um, also, you know, what sucked about the last one is the Spectacore won it and his VOD was deleted. Did you ever, Spectacore, did your VOD ever come back? Because my editor was saying we couldn't get your VOD, which is annoying because we needed your perspective as well. It, was, it, was, it turned out to be a pretty bad video. I was worried. So I might have to... Yeah, we have to do an emergency one and see what we can get. Anyway, guys, chat, thanks for watching. It was actually a really fun day of streaming. Uh, all the stuff we did. I'll be back tomorrow probably with some emergency men horse. And then I'll be back Monday with a real big marketing Monday. So take it easy. Take it sleazy. Have a great night. Let's raid somebody while we have the uh, viewers here. Uh, by the way, I want, I can't tell you how grateful and happy I am that we had basically no Fs today. Oh my God. Such a relief to me. Such a relief that the stream didn't fuck up today. It's uh it's really, 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 really. Oh, is Hudat live? Yeah, let's go raid Hudat. Uh, raid Hudat 950. No, there's no, stop fucking trolling me. Uh, check out Hudat stream. Obviously the classic. Who dat the goat? Uh, all right. Have a good night. Bye.